Breezy. What's been going on, you legend? Coming in with these Johnny Bravo emotes. I'd love to see it. Hope we're doing well, sir. Flatulence. Let's crack a like it. You been ripping any farts and breaking any hearts lately? I know you have been. Don't lie to me. I'll tell. I'll be able to tell. We're going to do some Doom Eternal stuff today, um, but we'll do more of a like a, a kind of a tutorial sort of playthrough, if you will. So should be fun. Uh, yeah, so full Ultra Nightmare play, playthrough, all combat. I'm not doing 100%, but I will do all combat. So all Slayer Gates. Um, yeah, so it should be good. So, you know, and obviously ask questions and stuff like that um, while we're going through to make it a bit more interesting. Ah, Bavarian. What's going on? Thanks for the 10 months, mate. Appreciate that. You, ha you can. You can indeed. You can indeed. I was going to be playing some God of War 3 today, but I'm just, I'm not quite ready to get back on that horse yet, Babby. But soon, my beautiful Babby baby boy, we will. We most certainly shall. We shall once again hold one another by the Lake of Naboo. But I uh, appreciate you coming in and dropping the resub, Babby. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You do you. I'm going to do me. I don't know any other any other way, mate. Chill mass, how are we? What is going on, mate? Hope you guys are ready for some Doom Eternal uh, action. Uh, now, let me just uh, check some things here. Um, also today, I'm trying out uh, DLDSR. So, um, hopefully things will look a little bit better. I don't know if it's actually working though. It's kind of hard to tell, to be honest. Bloodshot, mate, you've come to the right place. If you want to learn how to beat this game without dying on the hardest difficulty, I can't wait to offer you what little gems of advice I, cur I currently can. Yeah, Breezy, uh, I'm on leave. So doing some earlier streams. Feels good. Feels real good. All right, let's get stuck into it, shall we? So, all combat today, not 100%. Because 100% is for masochists and savages, of which I am neither. So we're just going to do all combat today. And if you have any questions and whatnot, you can definitely ask uh, what the dealio is with what I'm doing. But I'll try my best to explain as I go along. It's not a speed run. It's just about success, ensuring success today. So, uh, yeah, should be good. Hopefully some people were able to take something away from today. And, yeah, we'll see how we go. Uh, oh, farting. Right, gotcha. Um, what's this skin? This skin's the gold bounty skin. You get it for getting gold bounties in horde mode, I think, in official horde mode. I think that's what that skin is, uh, farting. Yeah, thanks, Toolmas. It's one of my favorites. It's definitely one of my favorites. It's up there for sure. It's the gold. It's the fire. It's just beautiful, you know? It's, it's quite nice. It's good to see that skin getting some recognition. Recognition. Joe, what's going on? How do I stop Hugo Martin? You don't. You just... You just find a nice beachside property, but instead of water, instead of seawater, it's purple goo. And then with global warming, you just let the purple goo come to you. And then... Yeah, there's not much else like you can really ask, right? Yeah, he's on four wheels, Joe. You can't stop him. He's only got one, one gear, one Please, speed, go. Anyone, anyone. Yeah, this looks really good with DLDSR. So DLDSR is set to two and a half times or 2.2 times. So uh, it's basically upscaled, but then it's downscaled to 1080p. So it should look better. I don't know though. It's a bit hard to tell, honestly. Odin, what's going on? What flavor ice cream, mate? And why is it mint chocolate? How is that skin obtainable? I think you just have to get gold bounties in uh, in horde mode, chill mass. Not sure exactly how you do it, but if you just get gold bounties, you should get it. So if you uh, kill the bounty demons before the timer elapses too far, they'll they'll drop a, a gold uh, a gold cat. Good afternoon. Yes, guys. This weekend I will be racing against Snake Socom as well as several other members of the Rad Crew stream team, including Catico. Uh, so definitely chuck twitch.tv forward slash RE race as a follow so you know when it's happening. Um, but I put all the times for my race in there, but there's going to be lots of different races over the course of the 29th of January. Uh, so Resident Evil 7, RE298, RE2 Remake, um, RE3, loads of Resident Evil games. So it should be good. Should be good.
All right. Uh, there's not going to be a whole lot to talk about until I get a little bit further into the game and we start getting some more mechanics. Um, and then I'll sort of talk a little bit more about stuff, you know, like different upgrades and whatnot. There we go. Let us begin. There's not really much to say about this level. There's maybe some chainsaw routing stuff you can do to make it a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, there's not really a whole lot to share at this point. Obviously, uh... Obviously, the upgrade you want to take here is uh, you, you're given a choice. You can choose between sticky bombs or full auto. Um, if you're a Chad gamer, uh, you'll take full... I mean, you'll take sticky bombs. That's what you do right there. You take sticky bombs. Because it is superior in every single way. Full auto, please. So, you know, just hang back here. This is the easiest way to do this room is just hang back and just get, um, <clears throat> just get uh, wall hacks by an imp. Just keep bouncing around. Just get rid of these dudes as quickly as you can. Try not to get lasered by the imps, if possible. One little, one thing as well is, and this is not like, you see that, see how the sticky bomb was blue? So if you land a sticky bomb on an enemy's head, it will cause the sticky to become critical. So it'll do more damage. So just like that. Now, not only does it do more damage to the target, that it landed on but it also does more damage to everything around that target so if you can if you can try to land them on their heads because they'll crit I, I don't know if it works on it works on everything okay so if you can land the sticky bomb on their head it'll turn blue and it'll do even more damage than it otherwise normally would which is quite handy mo what's going on yeah it's not it has its moments it's got some great music i love the second level uh, but, um, yeah, it's a bit, uh, I love the first two levels, but the, the latter half kind of gets me down a little bit. Gets me down a little bit. Hey, Cass, what's going on? Uh, the boss is really easy and uninspired. Yeah, I, I feel like they, um, I feel like COVID really did a number on them in terms of what they could produce um, for the tag two uh, because yeah it is it is really underwhelming now what you can do you can do a bit of a meme here if you really want to have micro missiles if you don't really like full auto that much um, you can just skip grabbing this and you can fast travel back to this bot at the end of the level like before you leave the level right before you leave at the very end just FT back to this bit fast travel and you can you can pick up uh, you can use this bot to get MM if you really want MM if you would prefer to have MM then do that um, I think it's probably better than full auto even though uh, you know the uh, precision bolt is so strong um, but if you're just starting out and you want to give yourself the best chance maybe just uh, give this a wide berth come back later I'm gonna grab it though because I use it for the first level. Six point eight percent. There are two Full auto is only useful when you go shotgun only. Eh. Uh, eh. Uh, eh. Uh, eh. Uh. I don't know about that. Bloodshot probably... Uh, oh, Bloodshot has done the numbers. Now, what you can do here is... Uh, you can just... Um, just get rid of these dudes so they don't hear. Just chainsaw this guy. And what you want to do is don't don't pick up the, there's petrol over there on the other side of the arena. Just don't don't pick it up straight away. Just let that first let that first pip regenerate, and then you'll have two you'll have two pips when you leave this room, which is really useful because we can then chainsaw the next Arachnatron. And you know I think it's you know if you're starting out with the game or maybe you've just started Ultra Nightmare it, this is a good strategy because you might not be super confident about killing the Arachnos without chainsawing them early on sort of until you get the precision bolt the Arachnos can be a little bit annoying so I totally get it if you would prefer to just chainsaw the first two so I let the pip regenerate and then I grabbed the one that was on the ground now I've got two make sure you shoot this bell otherwise chat will lose their minds Get rid of these boises. Come over here. And so just be careful as well, because sometimes there can be imps or soldiers standing next to that spider. 
and instead of instead of chainsawing the spider you'll actually chainsaw one of these soldiers which totally ruins the strategy so just take your time obviously get rid of the turret if you can just use the sticky bomb on the turret get rid of it um now i'm pretty sure all you actually have to kill here is the arachnotron and three soldiers but i'm just taking my time Bisky, gun on get rid of this jabroni Cool. Now, we're getting kind of close to the sub, the little subway tunnel here, so I'll just explain it first. So, with this tunnel, don't actually kill anything in it. Maybe kill one soldier if he's blocking your path, but don't. generally speaking, don't worry about it. You can also grab some armor uh, over here. There's also some up, there's some armor up there as well, but this one's a bit easier to get, so we'll just go and grab that now. Yeah, pretty much. You just got to kill three Potter, and then the gate will break. Um, some of this stuff can really help like knowing some you don't have to be hop and be a god at speed running but knowing a few things can help speed attempts up so just make your way through here I always kill this dude because I sometimes get caught on him just ignore everything here maybe kill this dude and just watch out for the fireballs sometimes the zombies will actually block the fireballs for you which is really handy good to see you how you doing didn't get to see the blade pump runs cursed it's like the doom 2016 berserk uh doll animation cancel thing where you, the berserk ends and then the doll just gets put away the whole runs cursed when you do that um precision bolt this is basically the strongest thing in the game like <clears throat> hands down if not for the not for the utility of it in terms of breaking weak points but just in terms of its raw damage and also weapon swap speed it allows you to do a lot of crazy swaps so uh, not super relevant until you get the uh, well. If you can do PB sticky, it's really really good. Um, but it's it, it comes into its own when you get the rocket launcher. So you should pretty much always take precision bolt. It's just it's just the strongest thing in the game, which is very strange considering how uh, you know underutilized the scope was in 2016. So this was this uh, mod was very jarring for me. And for a lot of players, when this game came out, because it wasn't—it it took a lot of people by surprise. Um, you can use sticky bombs here. You can use the precision bolt. You know, it's all good stuff. I'm just kind of animate. I'm, all I'm doing is shooting the precision bolt and then swapping to another weapon and then swapping back to the precision bolt because that is that can be slightly faster than uh, actually. Sometimes it's better to not shoot the gun you swap to uh, than it is to uh, shoot the gun and then swap back. So again, just get rid of the turret. Always get rid of the turrets as quickly as you can. Get rid of that turret and then swap to the sticky bomb. Empty empty out the three sticky bombs. Then go back to the precision bolt. Dan troll. Thank you for the 15 months. Appreciate the resub. What game is this? Uh, this is the point and click adventure. Uh, by id software called boomy turtle you don't actually have to kill this dude you can just run straight past him unless he blocks you like that just get rid of him usually usually the combo is uh i think if you just precision bolt the turret and then do three sticky bombs and then do another precision bolt and then you can shoot him with the primary fire of the shotgun and then the, the, the spider will go straight into gk so uh yeah Yeah, 100% bloodshot, yeah. I think it, it, that uh, it, PB Rocket is really, really strong. Don't get me wrong. But uh, especially when you combine it with certain movement, like uh, yeet hooking or ballista boosting off of jump pads and being up in the air, it can be really, really strong. But to complete this game on Ultra Nightmare, you don't have to know PB Rocket. You don't need to be a god at PB Rocket. You know, you can do other swaps. You can do uh, SSG Ballista or PB Ballista. And then you can just use the, the lock-on if you want to use the lock-on. The lock-on is really strong in this. It's way stronger than it was in Doom 2016. Just way, 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 way stronger. Nantrol, thank you for gifting that sub to Bloodshot. Thank you so much, dude. Appreciate the support. Uh, enjoy, Bloodshot. All right, this next room. I'm going to spend a little bit of time talking about this because a lot of people die on it. So when you go up here... There will be an imp and a soldier to your right. There'll be two soldiers uh, 
uh, ahead of you, one, one above you, and one on the same floor as you. And then once you get to a certain point, two Kako Demons will spawn. And then when you kill those two Kako Demons, an Arachnotron will spawn, and then a final Kako Demon will spawn. So in total, there's, there's three Kakos and one Arachnotron. Now, what I like to do is I like to try to kill at least a couple of things on the way to the other end of the room. And I'm, I'm running towards a jump pad. I'm going straight for a jump pad. And then what I'll do is I'll sticky the first Kako, and then I'll kill him. And then I'll turn around and I'll sticky, sticky the next Kako. Um, now, I've got two out of three chainsaw pips. That's really important because we're going to chainsaw the, the Arachnatron that spawns. So Kako Demon, Kako Demon. Run to the jump pad, kill the first Kako Demon, second Kako Demon. On the way to the jump pad, pick up the chainsaw fuel. So you're going to see me grab some chainsaw fuel and then Kako Demon, Kako Demon, chainsaw the Arachnatron, kill the last Kako Demon. So all we're going to do is go up here, kill these two jabronis, kill that guy, kill that guy. Just going to drop a grenade there because it's gotten out of control. So I've just picked up the chainsaw. Just get rid of that guy. So a little bit slow to get to that, that one. So I'm just going to let him come out. It's just going to be a bit safer. Sometimes if you're not sure if you're actually going to get the glory kill, then just, just wait for him to come out. Be careful, don't chainsaw anything except the Arachnatron. It's very easy to accidentally chainsaw not the Arachnatron. These imps do keep respawning until this guy dies. So just try to prioritize this guy if you can. And then once you get rid of him, just stay up top here. Interesting. Just stay up top here. Grab the armor. There is also more armor. Um, so if this is not enough, which it should be, there's also some down here. Little secret. You grab that. That'll just give you full armor again. Percy, how we going? Hey, Jester, what's going on? Choco, what's up? Ah, thanks, man. Yeah, it should be fun. I got a 5605 in the category that I'm racing. So that's a little bit quicker than my competitor, but it's going to depend a lot on what happens on the day. You know, like that's how races are. So just get rid of these blokes. Ignore that hentai tentacle. Now, once this dude spawns here, that's basically the area kind of done. So once this dude spawns, another imp, another imp will spawn. He'll run up there. This next bit can be a bit tricky. You've got to sequence things pretty quickly um, because there's a lot of imps on the other side of this. So you'll get to this area, there'll be a gap that you've got to jump across. And usually there's about like four imps or something on the other side. I like to throw a grenade across to get rid of them to make it clear for me to go across. But before I do that, I usually like to kill the two soldiers, one imp, and then get rid of the Arachnatron's weak point. Uh, typically, it's ideal if you chainsaw before you go across because you don't want to be chainsawing once you're across there. So I'm just going to try and uh, chainsaw this uh, tentacle here. Just make sure you've got plenty of ammo because you don't want to be chainsawing in the middle of this. So I'm going to get rid of them. And then there's a dude there that you can't see on the other side of the wall. I'm going to get rid of him. And then I'm going to get rid of the Arachnatron's turret. And then I'm going to grenade the... The... Uh, all the imps. So just throw the go throw the grenade, get rid of that guy. And dead swap the PB there. Nice. Ah yes, that's very true bloodshot, yeah. So if you do glory kill something while you're in midair, then you can you get your jump charge back effectively. Which is awesome. Uh, because it means you can sort of stay up in the air a little bit longer. You can sequence glory kills together. Like if there's two Kako demons in the air, you can sticky them both and then glory kill them both. Um, so that thing I mentioned earlier about fast travel, you can do that now if you want. Once you, I think once you get into this room, you get FT. So I could now, if I wanted to go back and get that other drone and maybe get micro missiles, then uh, I could just, uh, I think I gotta go to barge, right? I oh, know it's city midtown. Midtown, right. So just go back to Midtown. You could grab the full auto uh, micro-missiles now from the bot if you prefer to have micro-missiles instead, uh, instead of full auto. Nice. And that is pretty much uh, first level. It's good to uh, learn a few tricks from doing that level a bit quicker because you'll probably spend a fair bit of time in that level when you're trying to complete this on Ultra Nightmare. It is a painful area. Um... First upgrade, take the armor on this because we'll use this for the Slayer Gate in Exaltia. We'll, we'll get full ammo before we go into the Slayer Gate in Exaltia. Just a little, that's a speed run route, but it can make the gate a lot easier because you can chainsaw uh, one of the um, 
one of the heavy demons that spawns one of the dread knights and just take him out of the equation pretty much straight away which makes things a little bit easier uh, I don't think there's really too much to say here besides the fact that uh, the crystal that I took is the first step towards getting loot magnet which is definitely uh, just in terms of survivability the strongest uh, rune uh, crystal in the game crystal perk in the game just because um, it allows you to be in certain positions and get resources without having to actually go down and fetch those resources. Just skipping these dudes. I don't need to collect that codex. I ain't doing 100%. Hey, B-Nick. So, you want to get really good at using the Precision Bolt in this particular video game. Because it is quite strong. If you're not sure how to do uh, a quick scope, it's it's you just press right mouse, left mouse. Just tap right mouse, and then the very first frame, the very first frame that comes up as the scope comes in, you can shoot pretty much straight away. There's no charge up on this thing. It's just bang. You don't you don't have to wait at all. First rune is going to be chrono strike. Uh, yeah, I mean we can do some different routing. Obviously, I'm going to take air control. But I will definitely explain the merits of the different runes for people who are at different levels of play. Chrono Strike is really strong if you're just trying to get a run done. Like, if you just want to get the game, if you just want to get Ultra Nightmare under your belt, it can help you quite a lot. Hey, Valky. Again, try to, again, try to land headshot, headshots with uh, the Sticky Bomb. Because it'll turn blue and it'll crit. And a crit a crit sticky bomb does way more damage. Loads more damage. And it also does more damage to everything around it. Like those guys, if you did a body shot, they'd probably still all die. You don't have to sticky crit. But just as an example, right? It just does more damage to the, what it lands on, as well as everything around it. <clears throat> yeah, it's just, just like Bloodshot said, Chrono Strike, if, it, if you're just trying to get this done, Chrono Strike is really useful, right? It's super handy because it lets you dismantle the arena. You just you get the ability to play chess in bullet time, pretty much. You just, you see a, a Mancubus pop this thing, bang, bang, get rid of the turrets, and they're just, they're crippled. Helps with Revenants, helps with Arachnotrons. It's really great early game because there's a lot of enemies that have weak points. Um, but I would always take air control, regardless of what level of play I was at. Air control is so strong in this game. Um, being in the air, th this game, uh, you know, a lot of people talk about how God of War, you know, the aerial combat is a really important part of the game. Well, it's much the same in this. You want to be up in the air as much as possible. And if you're up in the air, you want to have control of where you move. And this is just going to let you dodge everything in the game, pretty much. It also makes um, certain platforming sections a little bit easier. Meat hooking has uh, more accentuated movement um, if you know how to handle the way that it moves a bit differently. Um, because the air movement is very, very different with or without. So... Always, always take this first. Um, and then other good runes for survivability include EF, um, but particularly once you have the Meat Hook Mastery. This really comes into its own with the Meat Hook Mastery. It's not, like, it's good, but it's not that good until you have the Meat Hook Mastery. So early game, I would still suggest going with DNC or Blood Fueled, um, because Blood Fueled affects Chainsaw. So, you know, if you're chainsawing something and there's two demons next to you and you get the speed boost from this, it's just going to let you get out of there a little bit quicker. It can be really, really helpful. Uh, to avoid getting squished after you're done chainsawing something. Um, but yeah, top runes, basically air control, chrono strike, dazed and confused, blood fueled, and then EF maybe later on. But EF is really something that you should just think about if you're really good at using equipment and if you get into the habit of meat hooking all the time. Because when you've got the meat hook mastery, that technically sets things on fire. So with EF and the mastery, it actually reduces the cooldown of flame belch, which is kind of cool. Um, but you need to be really good at using equipment, um, very efficient, uh, to take advantage of it. So just grab air control for now. That's the best room, just in general. There is a reason air control is not in battle mode, and it is because it is so strong. So now I can move around in the air. Really, really strong. Like, if there's an enemy throwing projectiles at me, there's no way they're going to hit me. Also, you just want to be keeping flame belch on on cooldown it's one thing i see just some people just don't do enough of is armor pooling so i've got full armor at the moment so i didn't really need to do that 
But, you know, if that Hell Knight hit me, then I would just instantly get all of my stack back pretty much. And it'd be on cooldown. So it's a big thing in this game is just being really active with use of cooldown. So keeping your grenades on cooldown, keeping the flame belch on cooldown, um, just trying to keep keep your abilities on cooldown as much as possible. So I'm just going to flame belch this guy now. Get the stack back. Much better. I usually like to go this side because there's ammo here. It's always good to know where the pickups are in the game. So knowing where in the room all the different items are. Good work. And again, just put Flame Belch on cooldown as quickly as you can. Really, really important to have it on cooldown. Nice. Not too bad. So you'll get into a bit of a groove with where you're with um, knowing when you have access to Blood Punch and you'll just build habits of where you use it. This is a really good place to restack as well. So again, just, just use Flame Belch as often as possible. Just keep that thing on cooldown. If there's an enemy in front of you and you have Flame Belch, just use it. Even if you've got full stack, you should just use it because you'll have pools of armor on the ground. That, like that's not a waste. It's not a waste to use flame belch like that because you're probably going to get hit by something and if there's stuff already on the ground then you'll get it back straight away yeah just keep that thing on cooldown it's just uh thing like you you watch the, if you watch just random people play this game for the first time uh most of the time they just it's just it's always there they, and they never use it and i'm like you've got to use it you, you have to use it on cooldown all the time just keep every keep burning everything um i would recommend taking this uh just getting bigger boom because it's just gonna again allow you to just do it it's such a strong uh, mod in the early game the, the sticky bomb so just grab this very 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 strong you don't have to grab the three pointer I would recommend not grabbing the three pointer. Just take the six pointer, get bigger boom. Uh, because then you're gonna save those those tokens for the rocket launcher later on. When we get the lock on burst, you'll have all the token points that you need. Assuming you've been doing all the combat. If you're doing all the combat in the early game, then you can follow along with this upgrade route. Um, if you're not doing all the combat, then I would just not I would not invest these points. I would just save them for the rocket launcher. Specifically for the um, um Lock on burst, because the lock on burst is really strong. So we've just got dash, which is really, really handy. But one thing you need to learn with dash is that single dashing is faster than double dashing. So that's a double dash. Now I've got a weight, whereas if I just do singles, I can cover I can cover a lot a lot more ground. Um, it feels a little bit slow when you don't have the suit upgrade for the faster dash cooldown. But once you get that, single dashing is. Is it, it's always the winner, but you can feel how much faster it is when you have that faster dash cooldown. So always try to single dash. Just throw a grenade at this dude. You see how much damage the, the crit sticky does? Just takes him out. I probably think... I think if I didn't get the crit... If I didn't get the crit, I probably would have had to PB him or something. Chainsaw this dude. So he should be the first guy you chainsaw in this level. If you're... If you're being efficient with your ammo and you're not missing many shots, um, you should be able to not chainsaw anything and then chainsaw that that last hell knight. Um, he, I've just I've watched a lot of people play this game, and if on this level they do tend to die to that hell knight, he's just a prick. I don't know what it is with him. He's just an absolute asshole. So uh, I recommend just just chainsawing him. Try to try to save the ammo. Use the ammo that's in the environment instead of chainsawing demons. Uh, I get loot magnet. You always get loot magnet first. Just a way 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 better perk than quick draw belch. Um, all right, so we're just going to go and do this hidden encounter over here because, again, we're trying to do all the combat so we can get all of the weapon upgrade tokens. A little trick with this one. Just pop it and then just jump off the side here and the game will death warp you back behind these cacos. Flame belch these dudes. And that's it. You can just... You can let them float over towards you, but it's a timed encounter and... Letting them float over to you is uh, is much slower. 
What was my most devastating death in UN? Probably on Horde Mode 2, to be honest. I got killed by Mancubus Ground AoE Poison through a portal on the last encounter of Horde Mode 2. That was a painful death. Now, if you're really not confident, you can just sit back here, right? Just sit back and try to pick shit off. Especially this guy. Get rid of that gargoyle. Gargoyles are fucked. So definitely kill that guy. Because the there is a revenant who jumps in, but he doesn't jump in until you're like around here or something. So you can use this as an opportunity to clear out the arena. Get rid of this guy. Okay, drop a grenade. And that's it. Because you'll get the grenade damage and the barrel damage and it just deletes him straight away. So now we're back up to three pips. I would recommend holding off. You can chainsaw one thing. As long as it's as long as it's a fodder demon, you can chainsaw it. So there's gonna be a hell knight here. Again, just trying to get those sticky crits. Sticky devil. Exactly, exactly doom cut. You see a gargoyle, you just get rid of it straight away. Yeah, and just put flame belch on cooldown. Try to get into the habit in this game of when it, when you know a, a combat set piece is finishing, like when you know it's down to those last couple of demons, try to try to use that as an opportunity to restack. Because you should be doing that, right? There should only be like an Imper soldier, maybe some other fodder demon floating around in the arena. Use that as an opportunity to get stacked back. Um, that jump is pretty much, you can do it a few different ways. The way I do it is I just jump, dash, dash, and then jump again. So I'll do it again. Kill that dude. So you kind of want, you kind of want to jump underneath this dude's body. Uh, you can, they do have clipping, so you can collide with them and get knocked into the purple stuff. So again, just jump, dash, dash, jump again. Um, and that's, that's, yeah, that's one way to do it. I think there is a different way to do it, but, uh, that's how I do it. And it works pretty much every time. Peepo G. I love that emote. So good. Love it. Nothing really to mention at this stage. Um, it's not really too much to mention. It's probably worth chainsawing one of these dudes up here. Hey, Lupus. Umbra, what's going on? Has that always been there? Is that new? Has that always been there? Jeez. Oh, it used to be invisible. Fuck. I was like, like what the? F you can thank Wreck then. Wow. Okay. All right. How the? <laughs> that like that game that was. That was an issue in the game for so long. What the fuck? That is so bizarre. All right, anyway. Um, what you can do here is, and some speedrunners do this, is you can charge up the heat blast. So take, don't take the microwave beam, right? Okay, big meme, microwave beam, blah, blah, blah. Funny, haha. -ha. But you want to take the heat blast because it's just so much better. So just charge it up because having it pre-charged is effectively like having a shotgun that you, you can just turn around and go bang with. So, build up that heat blast, get it all fully dialed in. Preferably chainsaw after doing that. Try to get rid of this guy's turrets if you can, drop a grenade on him. I have generally found that that revenant, as long as you start hitting him, he, he, he usually he jumps over there. But if you actually shoot him before he does anything else, he'll, he just won't be able to do anything. Make sure you've got full stack before the before you kill that Arachnatron because it's just going to set you up for this Hell Knight. Oh, another big tip as well is if you can, try to play this game with a locked frame rate. So try to play it at like 120 FPS. I know that's going to seem weird, but trust me, makes a big difference. So try to chainsaw this dude. If you, if you, if you only come into this arena with two chainsaw pips, um, there is another canister that you can use. What's going on with the music? It's just randomly going quiet. So, 
there is a chainsaw pick up there so if you only come into this if this if you only come into this arena with two pips you can always get that one and, and pick that up and then you can chainsaw that arachnatron i i generally always chainsaw this one but i know other people prefer to chainsaw that one i guess it's just you know whatever you prefer but you generally speaking um the biggest tips i can give you in this arena is try to avoid this area don't go down here um try to avoid staying over there too long restack before you kill the first arachnatron so there should be some fodder demons try to you know glory kill flame belch those ones and then the obviously the hell knight will spawn um if you can try to use the heat blast on the hell knight um and then chainsaw one of the last two arachnatrons and oh, no, obviously you've got to kill the kako demon but there's not much that needs to be said about that try not to go into the live uh does chrono strike rune slow you down when you use the microwave beam yeah thanks natural yeah it's the same with the meat hook as well the meat hook will do the same thing. Just get rid of these fools. Hmm. Isn't there meant to be two of those gargoyles? Hmm. Oh, no worries, Bloodshot. Ooh. No worries, man. Thanks for stopping in and saying good day. Safe travels. Um, if you pick up that, if you do an animation cancel while picking up that battery, basically if you just swap weapons when you pick it up, um, and then quickly move up. This Kako Demon won't spawn. Obviously, he spawned because I went back, but as long as you just pick it up really quickly and just move through fast, he, he basically won't spawn. Not that it's a big problem. Like, it's, you know, he's not that hard to kill, but just in case you wanted to know, maybe you've only got 5 HP and you don't want to deal with him. Cool. So, racking up those weapon uh, upgrade points, but we don't want to spend them right now. Try and save them for the lock-on burst. Lava is how you get a nice buff. Yeah, you get a buff that reduces your um, health. Very, very useful. Um, if you get here, just jump. Jump again. Dash, dash. Shoot this dude. Shoot this dude. Shoot this dude. Shoot this dude. If you can. A dude will spawn here and here. So just get rid of this dude. Shoot him. Drop a grenade. Get rid of these two jabronis. And that's all she wrote. Pretty much. Don't go in the purple goo, right? So if you're like not sure how to avoid this shit, I usually stand here and just start spamming spamming jump. So if you just spam jump as you're walking towards the end of this ledge, make sure you've got dash and you can just dash straight across. Just don't go in this meme, right? This purple goo, don't go in it. It's not fun. Uh, right, this next bit is kind of annoying if you're just playing the game casually. If you're not doing a jump to get up there and skipping this bit, what I like to do is just load up on armor and get the heat blast fully charged. So probably a good idea is to try and leave one of the zombies here alive and just chainsaw it at the end of this whole encounter because the chainsaw, the petrol management doesn't matter here. You're going to get a crystal that gives you it all back pretty soon. So if you can, chainsaw one of these dudes. Thankfully, I've got plenty of ammo. So I'm just going to save up, get that, get the heat blast fully juiced and then just jump across. Get rid of the, get rid of the turret and don't shoot him. Don't shoot him until he comes down. If you, if you shoot the turret off, but then you shoot him afterwards. If you shoot the turret off and then shoot him, he'll stay up there. Whereas if you just get rid of the turret and just leave him alone, he'll jump down single best way to get rid of that arachnatron just let him come down because otherwise he'll stand up top and he'll just start throwing grenades at you and thanks to the purple goo you won't be able to move at all which equals not much fun so just let him drop down and then uh you know put a couple of sticky bombs drop a frag grenade and then drop the heat blast charge if you can master that sequence you know, uh, heat blast, dropping the heat blast charges, dropping your sticky bombs, dropping the frag grenades. Just really trying to cycle through and keep as many things on cooldown as possible. Keep your sticky bombs on cooldown, keep the grenades on cooldown. Shouldn't be a problem. You should just be able to dismantle that arachnatron and quite literally just delete him. Welcome back, Bloodshot. Uh, again, here, we're going to get loot magnet now. So we put the ammo off until now because it gives us all of our chainsaw ammo back which is really good because that's going to allow us to instantly remove one of the dread knights from the slayer's gate that's coming up 
with this dude just get rid of the turret if you can you can you can wait to get a bit closer you know you could do it you could do it there if you wanted just come down here just let him drop down again drop the fragment drop all of the sticky bombs and just get rid of him you can there's i'm just doing this because it's quicker but there's no reason why you can't just do this uh you know the normal way just go platform to platform that's all well and good provided you can actually do the platforming to begin with I think that guy's dead somehow. Um, you can jump up here and do this jump this way, uh, but you can also just do this. So you need it. I think you need air. Oh, air control makes that a bit easier. It gives you a little bit more height. But if you play this game on console, you can play. You can beat this game on console on Ultra Nightmare. It's very different. Um, totally different because of the controller. Uh, but you can be done. Uh, the, a lot of the skips and stuff you can still do on console. Not all of them, but you can do quite a lot of them. B hopping works on console, especially if you're at 120 FPS. No worries, Ravage. All good, mate. Uh, cool. So this Slayer's Gate, there's a couple of there's a couple of waves to it. Um, one is just a huge fodder wave, so it's gargoyles and uh, imps. Once you kill enough of those, the game will spawn in a Revenant and a Dread Knight. Now. Try to try to uh, save chainsawing until the dread knight spawns. You can you can chainsaw one thing, but it's better if you can just put off chainsawing as much as possible. Now, what I like to do in this room is there's basically a loop that I do, and I'm just going to stick to that loop as much as possible. And all I'm going to be doing is just sticky bombing and heat blasting and sticky bombing and heat blasting until the dread knight rocks up. So, and always, always, always keep flame belch on cooldown. Keep it on cooldown in this room. If you have it use it because there's a good chance it's probably going to burn something because there's so much fodder in this room so i usually like to start out with a with the plasma rifle just primary firing things down just get them out of the way build up the heat blast then i'll swap over to sticky bombs and then i'll drop a, a flame belch and use the heat blast and by then a lot of stuff is stacked up there's also some barrels um try to get rid of those barrels early if you can if you see an opportunity when they're standing next to the barrels blow the barrels up um but yeah pretty much all i'm going to do is a loop i'm just going to be doing a loop and not changing not changing direction. So again, just trying to stick to it. See, see how I got hit, but because I had already flame belched and I, there was armor below me, I could easily just restack straight away. It was not a problem. So I'm just doing the loop, drop and heat blast as it happens. So I just stick to this area here. So we're going to chainsaw this guy, right? This dread knight just chainsaw him start looking for the revenant and just focus on the revenant try to get rid of that revenant as quickly as possible okay focus on this revenant flame belch is back up so just drop it as soon as you see flame belch come off cooldown you use it see how i've just got full armor and i'm doing fine i'm doing really good okay focus on this dread knight try to focus on the dread knight as much as possible try not to let him hit you because as soon as as soon as he hits you it's going to be real hard to bounce back from that so again, like the loop, I'll show you what I'm doing. So all I'm doing is this loop. So I'm just sticking to the top platform here. It's a really good loop because there's plasma ammo, there's shotgun shells. There's lots of stuff, right? Everything's kind of calming down a little bit. Flame belt, just keep it on cooldown. Even though, I, even though I didn't get any armor, there's armor there later. Like if these dudes hit me, I restack straight away. So just sticking to this route here, up top, just killing stuff. You, you might not be doing any damage to the Revenant right now, but I'm building up Heat Blast. So I just go in, drop the Heat Blast charge on this dude, and then just go back to doing what I'm doing. Heat Blast, uh, Flame Belch is off cooldown. So I just use that straight away. And that's pretty much just about it. So yeah, just stick to this top bit here if you can. Now, I'm not going to be able to get the Chainsaw Petrol, but there is some Chainsaw Petrol there. You might have just seen it. If you can get that, that's awesome because it's going to allow you to essentially trivialize the last encounter. But uh, I didn't manage to get it, but that's okay. That's all good. Um, there's no reason to collect any of the hidden stuff here if you, unless you're trying to 100% the game. So we're just going to skip this. 
Oh, skip getting the collectibles anyway. Uh, faster flame belch. Yeah, oh, pretty much exactly what Soviet team said. The thing is, right, you might have the flame belch come off cooldown faster, but if you have loot magnet, you usually don't have a reason to use the flame belch, or you have less reasons to use it because you usually have more stack because you've been collecting things without putting yourself into positions where you take damage. It's just, it's just so much stronger. The, and plus the fact that um, health is a much easier resource to accrue sort of deprecates the importance of uh, armor. Like health is just so much easier to get in this game. You kill a demon, they drop health, you know? So yeah, if you pick up that, you should have three, uh, three, um, three pips. Nice. A little bit of a complicated sequence. I didn't really explain it all that well. But basically, all you want to do here is... Let me uh, just get rid of these dudes. I'll explain what I did there. So, more or less, all you want to do here is... Um, some people will take this portal, so... Some people will use this portal. Some people... I, I prefer to go this way. It's just what I'm used to. It's probably not as good. What is this guy doing alive? Um, but you just want to grab the quad here. And if you have the quad and land a sticky bomb on a Arachnotron's turret with the quad, it'll instantly kill them. Then a Revenant will appear here. Now, this it's always the same. It's always the same. Arachnotron, sticky bomb with the quad. Bang, gone. Arachnotron, if you can... You can kill him with one precision bolt hit, but I think it has to be like a headshot or something like that. But if you can precision bolt him and kill him, then go through this portal. And then the Hell Knight will probably be around here. Maybe if you're fast, the Hell Knight will be down here. And then you just, you know, do whatever. Just heat blast, plasma rifle, whatever. Go back through the portal. Caco Demon will be there. Shoot the Caco Demon twice with the quad. And then it'll be dead. If you don't, if you don't have the quad anymore, then just sticky bomb and glory kill. And then the last Arachnotron will appear here. Chainsaw the Arachnotron. Uh, GG. And then just stay up here. Just stay on this platform here because you'll have you won't you won't get hit by projectiles as easily and typically the demons will just start stacking up at the bottom of these stairs and then you can just kill them all as they funnel in there and then once you've killed enough of them the portal will appear and then it's gg you made it to level three cultist meme oh hey quake angel what's going on and you're popping to say hi hardcore educate <laughs> i'm trying to trying to uh Hopefully people can learn something from it. There's lots of people who probably know a lot of what I'm talking about, but some people, even if one person is able to take something away, that's that's awesome. Yeah, cool. So there's not really a whole lot to explain here. You just collect the items. But I will talk a little bit about uh, Cultus Base. <clears throat> so Cultus Base is easily, I think, I think Cultus Base is where most people lose their runs. It's a big step up. Teach me Java. I haven't written Java for about 10 years and it's been a good 10 years, I have to say. <laughs> Lupus, thanks for gifting that sub to Gamer Man. What's going on, Gamer Man? Thanks, Lupus. Appreciate the support, you legend. Hey, Tammy, what's going on? Um, but uh, Cultus Base is a big step up. I personally think that they should have given us another crystal before going to Cultus Base you know, give us another battery to open up access to a crystal. Instead of completing Cultus Base and Doom Hunter Base and then getting access to two crystals for SGN. Um, because it makes Cultus Base quite challenging. It is really challenging. It's a, it's a difficult level um, because you've got environmental traps, you've got Mancubuses suddenly, and if your frame rate is really high, Mancubuses can be really difficult to, to deal with. So it might hurt, but... I, I do suggest capping your frame rate in this game to 120 if you want a relatively normal combat experience where the AI behave themselves, don't hit, don't aimbot you, don't attack faster than they should, don't slide across the ground towards you, just cap your frame rate at 120 FPS. It'll make your life so much easier if you're on PC. Um, the game is way more behaved at 120 than it is at, you know, 250 plus. 250 feels good, but trust me, the AI, are they don't behave themselves half the time. So I suggest that. 
Um, but I think if you are to practice one level, if you if you have a limited amount of time to invest in learning the run, spend a lot of it in Cultist Base. Just go in, do the mission on Nightmare. Before you finish the mission, reset mission and just do it again. And just do it again. Do it, do it until you're comfortable with it because that level is really challenging. It's a big, big step up from Exaltia um, because there's there's whiplashes, there's manks, um, there's more environmental traps, there's more set pieces that are designed to put pressure on you, like the pit, for example. I'll talk about the pit, you know, with the cue balls and whatnot. It's just a it's, it's just a tricky level. It's like a puzzle that level. Like if you're if you have good mechanics, obviously that's going to be really handy. But it is a level that is designed to trip players up. Again, just try to flame belch as often as possible, even if you don't need to. Just do it. Like, if you have 75 armor, or 50 armor, or what, whatever your cap is, it should be 75 by this point. Just flame belch. Literally just keep that fucking thing on cooldown. Didn't even cap your FPS. It, make, it can make a pretty big difference, Wudinski. Obviously, the game still is relatively challenging, but Mancubuses won't, hit, won't aimbot you with their uh, cannons. Um, Hell Knights won't slide across the ground towards you. Yeah, Cultus Base is definitely the biggest test. I think if you get past Cultus Base and you get to, especially if you get to SGN, it's pretty smooth sailing. It is pretty smooth sailing. So we just got our first suit token. Um, you should look, it should look a bit like this. You should have nine weapon points. You should have one suit token, obviously. But just save these for the rocket launcher. The, the lock-on burst is really, really, really quite useful in Cultus Base. It'll make the, certain things a lot easier. So hold on to those points. You should have invested into the six pointer on the sticky bomb just to get the bigger explosion, but then just put the rest of the points aside. Just put them in the spank bank. We'll, we'll uh, use them for the rocket launcher. Yeah, the peaks and troughs of the difficulty is basically like Cultus Base and then Arc Complex is kind of challenging and then Gladiator. And then, uh, I don't know, probably um, probably doesn't really peak hard again until the last fights, like the last two arenas of Final Sin, maybe. But if you have optimized BFG routing, those arenas can be really, really easy. Yeah, Taras Nabad can be challenging with the Arch Files. If you don't know where the Arch Files are, it can get out of control very quickly. Right, Cultus Base. This level is more of a puzzle than a, than a level. It, well, it is a level, right? But it's not It's not like a... If you understand the, the pattern of how to complete each combat set piece, it can be a lot easier. I mean, the same can be said for the whole game, but this level, because you're so squishy and you have so few options, such a small margin of error, you really need to know... You really, really do need to know how to complete step-by-step -step each arena. So we'll go through, you know, the opening arena with the Revenants, the Rocket Arena, which is a really tough one. Um, the arena before you get into the base itself with, uh, the, with, the, with the mancubuses and the whiplashes. Um, and then, of course, uh, the pit as well. Pit can be quite challenging. The rest of the level is not uh, too bad. And then the Slayer's Gate is a bit challenging. And then the final arena is actually a little bit easier than some of the earlier ones. But yeah, we'll, we'll see how we go. Uh, yeah, but yeah, this, this, this level is basically just the blue balling of the player. And then once you get to SGN and you get the ballista, you're no longer being blue balled is pretty much my take on it. So, just jump down here. Three gargoyles. Just get rid of them. However you please. Sticky bomb is probably the best option. Now, the way I do this arena, you know, it's just a habit. It's just force of habit how I do it now. But I usually will just start plasma rifling the first revenant. And then it's really important that you flame belch four demons in this first arena because that will give you a, a upgrade token. Or your suit which will allow you to get the faster swapping faster weapon swapping which is the first upgrade we should take so your objective is stay alive obviously but also try to flame belch uh four enemies with one one flame belch and the game makes it quite easy so what i like to do is just start nailing this dude sometimes he gets stuck like that don't worry about killing these guys leave them alive in fact because you can use them later on to get more resources if you need to you see how I'm staying up in the air a lot? I'm trying to stay in the air as much as possible and use air control to it. Like, that Revenant couldn't hit me at all. To stay up in the air, dash, all this sort of stuff. Right, so I should have two suit points now because I flame belched all those, all those zombies. So I'm just going to grab Hot Swapper, which is definitely the best upgrade in, uh, in the early game for sure. And maybe just overall, in fact. It's going to allow you to do weapon combos that are otherwise quite difficult to pull off 
If you're on keyboard and mouse, you can start PB stickying now that you've got this and you can PB sticky, sticky quite effectively. Um, but it makes uh, PB rocket a lot more uh, easier. Not far, nah, not, not fast to dash. You want to have the, the weapon swappage patchy. What's going on? Again, try to sticky crit. So see how I got the headshot with the sticky bomb and it killed both of them with the one sticky. Super handy. Once you kill these dudes, this guy will spawn. So just drop a frag grenade. You can do frag grenade, three sticky bombs, bang, 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 and then finish him off with plasma rifle. Or you can do what I did, which is uh, PB sticky, which is, I don't recommend, like you can learn it. It's an awesome, awesome combo. I don't know how easy it is on controller, but on mouse and keyboard, it's really, really good. It's a very, very strong early game combo. Just it, if you, especially if, um, especially if you can land sticky crits, like crits with the sticky bombs, you can kill things very, 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 very quickly. Just get rid of those barrels because you don't want them to uh, actually mess you up. Now, you should be able to avoid chainsawing for quite some time on this level. There's ammo here. There's more ammo over here. You also have the ice bomb. Bear that in mind. Um, now, this level pretty much is how, like this perfectly encapsulates the puzzle level, the na puzzle nature of this level. You've got this stuff here. So you want to take advantage of this, right? This this makes this level so much, this makes this thing so much easier. There's a very specific strat you can do in this room to make this very, very, very easy for yourself. Um, there's a couple of things you can do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kill this first Mancubus. And then as soon as he dies, I'm going to go where he was pretty much. And I'm just going to use the box as cover pretty much. And what that's going to do is it's going to cause the Mancubuses to put, there's going to be a Mancubus here and a Mancubus here. And they're going to start parving down here and trying to come down towards me. And all I'm going to do is use the, the the axes to kill them straight away. So just get get the sticky bomb out. Just shoot one over there. Just get rid of that. Get rid of these guys here. Try to do try to get rid of um, the turrets because it pretty much neuters them. So once he's there, we're just going to do that. And once he's dead. Just hard. You don't have to quick scope. You can hard scope like that. Just get rid of those uh, those turrets and just sit behind these boxes here, and just pop your head up, and just shoot shoot that. You don't even have to pop your head up. You can just sit back here and do that. Now you're probably pretty low on ammo, so before we do the next bit, just come around here and grab the ammo that's in here. But make sure you've got the full heat blast chart. You don't even have to do three. Two is fine because we're going to use that to make this next arena really, really, really trivial. And it's quite useful to use the ice bomb in this next arena. So just grab this quickly. Spankworthy, what's going on? Now, if you can do this, I didn't do it very well. If you can get on the, if you can get to the top of this climbable wall, what you can do is you can look up and just jump and then jump again. Funny game. You can actually get up here which makes this quite trivial. Uh, because we don't have much room, I'm just going to use the heat blast to get rid of the stuff there. So yeah, I'll, I'll show you again how to do that. If you can just, just get to the top here, and then just look up and jump, and then jump again, and you can get up here. And all three of these, uh, 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 whatever they are, uh, I don't even remember, the... Uh, you know, you know those enemies, the ones that have the laser beam cannon things, the replacement for the Hellraiser, I can't remember what they're called. Um, yeah, just get rid of them with the heat blast and then you've got free reign, kill those two dudes and then the spider will probably jump up, freeze the, freeze or frag on the spider. And uh, that should sort of stagger him or stun him depending on which grenade you use and you can just get rid of him that way. All right, this corridor, very, very simple, right? Just sit back here. Just de-risk the whole situation. You don't, you know, you're not trying to speed run the game. There's no need to, you don't have to run through this corridor at a million miles an hour. There's no reason for you to do that. Just, just, just relax. Get this guy to come underneath the blades. Missed. If you miss, that's okay. Just freeze him. And it's all good. But yeah, the, typically what I like to do is just, if I'm playing it safe, just, uh, just get rid of the Arachnatron's turrets at least. It'll just make your life a lot easier. 
But, you know, most speedrunners will just uh, run through this corridor without attacking anything. They'll just literally bounce, bounce through, activate the door, and then jump around. That's that's the speedrun. But, you know, if you're not speedrunning, then no need to uh, do anything too crazy. Nice. So, again, sticky. If you can get the sticky crit, it's awesome because it's one sticky bomb that will kill all the, de all the fodder demons that are around it. All right, cool. So, Rocket Arena. I like to call it the Rocket Arena because it's where you get the rocket launcher. Pretty tricky arena, right? Not not super easy, but we're going to make it a little bit easier for ourselves. Uh, I need some bullets. Damn, Daniel. I've only got 11 bullets. That's okay. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to kill... There's going to be three manks. Three, three manks, one Kaka demon, and then a bunch of gargoyles. So what I like to do is I like to kill the mank on the left first, and then I like to try to get rid of some of the gargoyles if I can, because what happens is, right, is all the, at the start of this fight, all the gargoyles are in one spot which is perfect because then you can pretty much just frag grenade sticky bomb and you'll kill more than half of them straight away because what you'll find is it's not really the mancubuses that kill you in this arena it's actually the gargoyles that kill you they do a lot of damage on ultra nightmare so try to try to get rid of that first mank if you can and then get rid of the uh the uh gargoyles you can throw a frag grenade at that mancubus and the, the mank will be stunned for a little bit from the frag grenade that's super handy, but better to use the frag grenade on the gargoyles. So, let's grab this thing. Got no ammo for the precision bolt. Um, right, so I've got three chainsaw pips. See how they're all stacked up right now? Always a good idea. Keep that flame belch on cooldown if you can. So, I don't want to walk up to this guy, right? I want to chainsaw him, but I don't want to walk walk up to him. So, if I could redo this arena, I would actually try to have more bullets before the start of it for the precision bolt. We'd try to have a few more bullets. I only had 11 bullets going into it because having more bullets, if you if you know how to PB rocket, you can smash this arena just, just like that. If you know how to PB rocket, you can make it so much easier for yourself. But generally speaking... What you want to do is kill this mank, kill the gargoyles, and then kill the other stuff, right? Try to use the jump pads to move around the arena quickly. Try to try not to go down there. Just try to avoid that area, that area, uh, this area. Just try to stay, stay there or over here. You really want to use the platforms to stay alive in this arena. And you know, I, like Mayo says this all the time, the platforming in the game is to teach you to get better at the combat and it totally applies to this arena you should be either here well that's actually not a great spot if the caco demon is still alive try not to go there because it's it's there's not much room for you to move you get hit but uh, try try to use this to get across it's all about movement kill the mancubus kill as many gargoyles as you can and then kill the rest use your grenades keep everything on cooldown and try to use the jump pads to move around and that's the that's really the best advice i can give you is Try to get rid of those gargoyles. All right, cool. So because this is not a speed run, right? We're not super concerned about speed. So savagery and bloodfield, whilst very nice. Bloodfield is a really good rune, just in general. Um, I would suggest going with Chrono Strike. Um, I'm not going to take it because I, I don't particularly want to use it today. But if I was trying to just get this run under my belt, um, you know, maybe I had less than 50 hours in the game, uh, and I didn't really understand understand it yet. I wanted a bit of a wider margin of error, then you could take this. And it'll just, it'll just let you get rid of weak points very, very easily. Uh, like Mancubus cannons, Arachnotron turrets, Revenant uh, rocket launchers. There's a lot of enemies in the early game that have destructible weak points. So this can make the early game a lot easier for you because if you can get rid of those weak points, whew, it, it'll, it'll make the early game arenas a lot easier for you. Um, other stuff that's really good is DNC because uh, typically what you'll find is you might put a demon into GK, but they might be on the other side of the arena. Like maybe you just hit them with a precision bolt, right? If you hit them with a precision bolt, like a mancubus, but it's on the other side of the room and you, you just, you, you can't beeline it. You can't just take A to B route. You can't go in a straight line to the mancubus because maybe there's a caco demon in front of you or maybe there's a hell knight. And so you've kind of got to go around everything, right? Um, maybe, maybe it's just makes sense to glory kill that target and you just want a little bit more leeway in getting to that target. This is really good because it's going to make them, they're going to be stunned for a long time. Next level stuff you can do though is you can stun enemies. So if an enemy is staggered, 
but they're not that threatening. Like, you, you're like, oh, I don't need to kill this thing right now. Maybe it's a Caco Demon, right? And you just don't really care about the Caco Demon. Like, so you sticky bomb him, and then he's out of the game for 10 seconds plus, you know, a long time. This can be really good. You can effectively CC things with this if you really want to. Um, other good choices are EF, but this really only comes into its own when you've got the Meat Hook mastered because of the way that the Meat Hook mastery sets things on fire um, and reduces the cooldown of Flame Belch. So I don't recommend this early game. Plus, you haven't upgraded your grenades at all. Probably, you haven't upgraded the grenades at all. So Equipment Fiend, equipment isn't upgraded yet. Not really that good. So I would suggest grabbing D... I don't know why the game's volume is changing like this. I would suggest either DNC uh, or Chrono Strike, depending on how confident you are. You know, if you're not really feeling super confident, maybe grab one of these two. Saving throw, yes, it's going to save you, but it's probably, if you're, d you, you should really only be using this for late game stuff, Gladiator onwards. You know, try to, uh, you, you know, if you're throwing this away this early in the run, then you're probably going to die on Gladiator, right? So, yeah. Yes, Bavi, Bavarian is correct. Bavi is correct. If you see a gargoyle about to line up a hit, try to get line of sight or just shoot it straight away. Hit it with sticky bomb. Gargoyles are just, oh, they're terrible. They're terrible. They're up there with Dread Knights. Uh, all right, so we're going to take D and C so that we can CC enemies a little bit more easily. Give ourselves a bit of avenue to get to a glory kill. There's also a pickup here if you need if you need a bit more health and armor you can grab this. Can be quite handy. So we're about to get introduced to whiplashes, which are a real pain in the ass without the meat hook. Once you get the meat hook, once you get the lock-on burst, these things are trivial. But until you do, they can be quite challenging. So I would recommend if you are a little bit concerned, just charge this thing up, get it to three bars, just pre get it ready. Get the heat blast ready. Now, what I would suggest is trying to use the rocket launcher here. The rocket launcher will do quite a lot of damage to whiplashes, even if it sort of lands beside them. If, if it's not, even if it's not a direct hit, it'll still do a lot of damage. So try to use the rocket launcher. I'm going to use the PB sticky. So I like to. What I like to do is just throw a grenade at this one. That's gone. Freeze this one. Quite, quite annoying enemies, I have to say. See how useful DNC is? This shield guy is totally out of the picture while I'm chainsawing this other guy. He's just, he's doing nothing. So I don't have to worry about him walking over to me while I'm chainsawing and just shooting me in the face. That's how good DNC is. Uh, also, if you are a little bit low on health and armor after that fight, just the, the main thing is just try to use the frag grenades. Use keep the keep the grenades on cooldown. It's one thing you got to learn is you've got to keep your abilities on cooldown in this game. You should be as active as possible with flame belch, frag grenades, ice bombs. Just keep them on cooldown. But if you are a bit banged up, you can drop down here, and there is a, a full armor down there, which will just uh, set you up for the next big battle because that one can be quite tough. Oh, double C. I already did a run today off stream. 56.05. 56.05. All right, I'm ready. All right. Lock on burst. This is what we've been saving all those sweet, sweet weapon points for. So grab it. And this is going to make... Uh, this is going to make the whiplashes, the hell knights. It's just going to make everything so much easier. This is... This is... Uh, this, there's, there's a lot of opportunities the demons have to kill you in this game. Once you get this, that's like one big opportunity just gone for them. You know, you get this thing and fully upgrade it. So lock on burst, fast reset, quick lock. Boom, 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 boom. You are pretty much ready to go. You have just earned yourself one of the strongest upgrades in the game. I'm going to show you guys a quick little thing as well. Try to freeze, burn, and then blow everything up. I don't need any of this shit, but I just do it to show you guys. Uh, that combo is really strong, especially once the frost grenades are upgraded and they give you health for killing enemies. Really, really good way to restack. Freeze, burn, and then kill. Oh, nice, Papa. Very nice. Okay, so this arena. This can be a bit of a... This arena can be kind of challenging. So what you're going to get at the start is you're going to get a Mancubus, a couple of soldiers, and a shield guy, I think. 
And then once you kill that Mancubus and the, and the two of the shield guys, I think you only have to kill two, you've got a Caco Demon. The Caco Demon can spawn uh, on any side of the arena, really. It's actually a good way to show you guys. So he can spawn there, he can spawn there, he can spawn there, he can spawn there. Basically, he can spawn on any one of the four corners of the arena. Once you kill the Caco Demon, the, the arena really starts. Um, so there'll be a Revenant that'll spawn here on the left-hand side. And there'll be a Hell Knight as well on the left-hand side, up on the roof, actually. And then there'll be an Arachnotron and there'll be a Whiplash. So it can be quite a hectic arena. It can be actually really quite challenging. One of the things that will kill you in this arena is if it's not one of the heavy demons, it'll be one of the shield guys, right? So you just, you don't have to kill the shield guys. Like kill them if you get a chance. Uh, chainsaw them if you want to. It's actually not a bad idea to chainsaw uh, one of them if you can, but just be careful of chainsawing shield guys because they can kill you when you go to do it. So don't worry so much about killing them. Worry more about killing things like the Whiplash, the Mancubus, the Hell Knight, the Revenant, because uh, they can just catch you off guard. Um, but one thing you've got in your uh, up your arsenal in this arena is as a jump pad right here, which you can abuse. You can get, use this jump pad to get all the way from here to here. And uh, there's no, there's generally speaking, there's no demons that get in your way. Demons will generally be here, uh, sometimes here, um, sometimes down here on this ramp. But if you just use this, this jump pad, oh, you can just totally eliminate and mitigate any potential issues that might come out of that. So again, Mancubus is going to be here. And then uh, and then we're going to get a Kako Demon somewhere around the arena, one of four places, then a Revenant. And then we get a, Re a Whiplash and a, an Arachnotron. And there, there's a Hell Knight as well on the roof here. And then there's also a Revenant and a Mank at the end. So it's quite a long... Uh, it's quite a long encounter. Um, just try to, if you can, learn. This is an arena that's worth practicing because it's very important to know the order where things spawn from. So again, uh, Mancubus, Caco Demon, one of four corners, Revenant, uh, Whiplash, Arachnotron, and then uh, Hell Knight, Mancubus, Revenant. There's a lot to take in, right? Try to use the jump pad as much as possible. Get rid of the shield guys if you can. Um, usually there's a lot of fodder around here. So if you're looking for fodder to kill, if you're looking for health, if you're looking for armor, uh, usually there's a lot of fodder around here. But you've got to be careful as well because there can be um, shield guys. The shield, you have to worry about the shield guys. They're just, they'll delete your health bar. So let's do it. The base draws near to me, my brothers and sisters, but he is weak. Your hate must match his will. Only then will you be true. All right, cool. So we're going to chainsaw this guy just to get our ammo reserves up. Now the Kako Demon spawned over there. So again, like this Kako Demon can spawn in a number of different places. He just decided to spawn in that corner. Now what I'm going to get is an, a Revenant here. This is what we're going to use a Lock-On Burst. So get rid of him. Grab the rockets that are here. Freeze. Okay, that's unfortunate. But just get rid of the Revenant. Uh, sorry, the, the Whiplash. Okay, now we're going to get a Hell Knight up here. Wherever he is. Oh, he's over there already. Okay, that's fine. So, I'm just going to show you how you can abuse the jump pads in this game. So, this this guy has no clue what's going on. Like, he's now he's infighting for no reason. I don't even know where the Mancubus is. All right, there's the Mancubus. So, if you're up on the jump pads, you can do shit like this. You can just jump around like an absolute jackass. And the game, the game just can't do shit. Keeping Flame Belch on cooldown. There's some rockets in there as well. I, like, this this Hell Knight literally can't do anything. Holy shit. Get out of my way. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? He's, he, he thinks he's going to go up there, and then I'm just going to go over here, right? So, that's, that's where the meat hook becomes really strong. And DNC as well. I can wait for Flame Belch to come off of cooldown, and then Flame Belch this guy, and then Glory kill him. So, just try to... Try to abuse the jump pads in this game. Hold on, give me a second. I'm just going to turn off smart volume. All right, I think that'll fix it. Um, yeah, so just abuse jump pads. That one's kind of a shitty jump pad. That's a shit jump pad. Don't use that jump pad because it involves going down here, which is a good way to die. And that is pretty much all she wrote. You should really be abusing the rocket launcher lock-on by this point. It will make the game a lot easier for you if you abuse it. Very, very, very strong mod. Uh, especially for if you're doing your first runs of the Ultra Nightmare. Can be a very, very strong mod. Once you learn some more combos like PB Rocket, 
it becomes a little less relevant because PB Rocket becomes incredibly strong, but PB Rocket also requires you to be able to do PB Rocket. Whereas the Rocket Launcher lock on, you just lock on and you're good to go. I mean, to be fair, um, the lock on burst cancel tech, which is another which is another step up in terms of tech in this game, techniques in this game. The locket, uh, the rocket launcher, lock on burst cancel is very strong, uh, but that's you don't need to know that to complete this. Jason, how are we? Tag two is a prime example of jump pad cheese. Yep, yep. If you're on uh, Amora, the escalation encounter in Amora can be abused massively. It just trivializes the whole thing because they didn't put enough pain elementals in there. Lock on burst cancel. Yeah, so. There's a technique in this game where you shoot the precision bolt come into you and then as you're shooting the precision bolt you swap to the rocket launcher you shoot a rocket but at the same time you start executing the lock-on and you'll shoot like 12 rockets in a matter of seconds if you, if you get it right you'll shoot like 12 rockets it's totally cool it's, it does so much damage it's insane sick ass andy what's going on that new machine looks very clean mango what's cracking Again, like, try to use Flame Belch as much as possible. I didn't have to use it then, but it's always a good idea to use it. Just do a, just do a fat lap here. Try and rack up some... Uh, try and rack up some ammo before you start this encounter. Because this... This is where a lot of people lose their runs. Because this room... It's not so bad nowadays, but when the game first came out, when high frame rates caused the AI... Especially when AI were jumping down into an... Like, if the Mancubus jumps down into the arena... Back in the back in the days, um, like uh, they would sometimes they would jump down later. Sometimes they'd get stuck on an imp while they were jumping down, and it totally messed up the whole arena. So this has definitely earned itself a bit of a bad reputation. This arena, um, but nowadays it's, it's the, nowadays the game is a little bit better in terms of um, in terms of um, how do you say um, you know AI behavior at different frame rates. So. But the way that this arena works is um, there's, a, there's like four different waves. I think the first wave is soldiers. So there'll be a mix of soldiers and shield soldiers. Once you kill all of... I think if you kill all of them except for one, you want to kill all of them though. You get rid of all of them, especially the shield guys because they'll reduce your mobility. Uh, get rid of all the soldiers and then you'll get a whiplash. You want to lock on burst the whiplash, but there's a bit of a trick. You've kind of got to wait for the whiplash to... Because if you do it too early or too late, the rockets will just hit the ground and not hit the whiplash. Then you'll get an uh, Arachnatron. And then, and what you want to do, this is going to make it a lot easier for you, okay? This is this is what's going to make this a lot easier for you. Is kill all of the Gargoyles and Imps before you kill the Arachnatron. Kill all of them. And then kill the Arachnatron. Make sure you're fully stacked as well. You want to try to Flame Belch a Gargoyle and Imp before you kill that Arachnatron. You want to have as much stack as possible. Because the last wave is the, is the trickiest, right? It's not even hard. So, like, don't beat yourself up if you die to it. It's not even hard. It's just tricky. Because um, <clears throat> what's going to happen is there's going to be a Mancubus from there and there's going to be a Mancubus from there. And so what I usually do is there'll be a cue ball here. I usually get out the plasma rifle and say the, the cue ball is, like, right here. I will just sidestep and I'll kill the imps. So there'll be an imp, maybe two imps, that'll drop down with the mank, but they'll drop down before the mank. So kill the imps and then just st step left beh behind the cue ball and then shoot the cue ball into the Mancubus. And all things being equal, you should be sweet. There will be another Mancubus, right? But don't worry about that Mancubus. Just, just try to focus on one at a time. Because the moment that you stop focusing on one and you get distracted by the other, that's that's like where you start to die. If you have full health and armor, hopefully you have at least uh, 50 armor and 100 HP, you should be able to survive just about anything they do. So, again, restack, kill the Arachnatron, stand here, plasma rifle the imps, and then plasma rifle cue ball into Mancubus. Yeah, and hope the cue balls behave. If they don't behave, you have to have your grenades ready. Always have your grenades ready for the last wave. Don't use them on anything else. Save them. If they're on cooldown, if, you're, if your grenades are on cooldown, just don't kill the Arachnatron. Just do laps around the room until, uh, until you're ready. <clears throat> Again, I'm just going to use a Sticky Bomb crit. So Sticky Bomb crits and it kills everything around it. Now we're going to get the soldiers. try to get rid of him. I'm low on bullets, actually. Get rid of this guy. So now this, this whiplash is coming. So just lock on. Okay. 
So now the Arachnatron's going to come, right? But all I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of the Arachnatron's turret. So that option is gone. And now it's pretty much just me and the Arachnatron, right? So I can run around the room. I can collect resources if I want to. I can just run around here until my grenades come off cooldown. What we might do, though, is we might just um, get this fully charged. He's stunned from DNC, so I can just go over here. Let's just flame belch him. Let's get some armor beneath our feet, right? Just in case anything shit happens. So the armor's there. There's armor there. You got heaps of armor. So if anything touches you, you're going to be sweet. Okay, so we're just going to get rid of this guy. Okay, just being debated by the game. There is meant to be a cue ball there, but this is what happens, right? These are the memes of this game that you need to be ready for. When the cue ball just straight up does not work. Just like that. Like, that's how... That, don't be frustrated if you die in this room, because that's just the game. Oh, they only recharge if they're both gone. Yep. Thanks, Doom. So just make sure that you kill, get rid of both the cue balls before you kill the Arachnatron. Pro... Pro tip. So that's what you have the grenades for, right? Is just get rid of the fodder. Leave the don't kill the arachnatron first. Get rid of the turret on the arachnatron, and then just kill the fodder, and then just run around and restack, right? Just restack. Make sure you've got full stack, because sometimes bullshit does happen, right? Maybe the maybe the other cue ball's still alive, and you're like, oh, I'm waiting for the cue ball. What's going on here? Use your grenade. You know, use the heat blast. Just just have everything. Have the heat blast ready. Have the grenades ready. Just everything, right? Um, just get rid of that one. Don't get distracted. Just kill... Once you pick a Mancubus, just stick to that Mancubus. Don't worry about anything else. Um, we're going to get Quick Draw Belch next, but I would recommend getting health. Health is just easier to get. It's just e it's just simply easier to get in this game than, in, than armor. You, for a glory kill, you'll get like 30 HP or 25 HP. Um, you'll be lucky to get that from, uh, from a flame belch sometimes because, you know, unless you flame belch multiple enemies. Literally just health is easy to get in this game. Um, this encounter is not too hard. But basically what happens is... And have I got DLSS turned on? Fucking hell. Um, basically, uh, a dude's going to drop from here. So you just grenade here. And then a, a cue ball will spawn here. Use the cue ball. It'll blow the revenant up. Sticky bomb the Arachnatron, and then just get rid of the other shield dude and the cue ball. So you just want to go from right to here, pretty much. So again, get rid of this dude first that drops down here. So he's gone. Sticky him. Now because of DNC, he's going to be stunned the whole time. I don't have to worry about him doing anything. That's all it is. That is all it is. Yeah, I do have DLDSR turned on now, and uh, I can notice the difference. I'm on 2.2 .2 now, Hannibal. Let me just double check, actually. Let me just quickly check that. NVIDIA control panel. Manage 3D settings. Hopefully this is on the right monitor. Yeah, cool. So I've got DSR set to 2.25. And then DSR smoothness set to 33%. So I don't know if that's changed the resolution in-game. Oh, shit. There you go. Is that what I'm meant to do? Oh, my God. Holy shit. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Just relax there, big fellow. I'll fix it up in a second. Give me uh, a moment. OBS is playing up. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Give me a moment. Just give me a moment, guys. Yeah, that's... That's awesome. Taking a little bit of a hit, though, on the old performance side. Let me turn ray tracing off. Yeah, that's better. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Let me just fix this up. There we go. Boom. Yeah, that's that's awesome, dude. That's brilliant. That is that is brilliant. Okay, uh, so here just again. 
At this point, you really want to just start abusing the, the, lock, the rocket launcher lock on burst. So we'll just uh, get rid of this bloke and then chainsaw this guy. You use 75%. It's not too bad, actually. Yeah, the sharpening is, it's not too bad. There's not much noise, like a little bit, a little bit of noise there. But anti-aliasing in this game is really, really good. Like you don't even really need anti-aliasing. It's just so strong in this game. Um, yeah, so you just want to abuse the shit out of the rocket launcher at this point. If you, if you don't really know too many early game weapon swaps, PB Sticky, PB Rocket, then the lock-on burst will be your friend. It'll instantly kill Hell Knights, Revenants, Whiplashes, and it'll put Mancubuses pretty close to dead. Um, so it's basically your best friend because it just deletes all of the threatening enemies in this level. Oi, Drakey, what's going on, man? Appreciate the raid, sir. Thank you so much. Time zone's working out by the looks of things. Somewhat. You guys want to see some uh, speedrun tutorials? Drake's the man. He's, he's the mad scientist of the video game, coming up with all of the uh, new strats and routes and whatnot for the game, uh, for a number, ca number of categories, actually. But uh, thank you so much, dude. Appreciate that. We're doing a bit of a UN tutorial, just, uh, you know, casual playthrough kind of explain some different things that maybe hopefully some people will benefit from so and just trying to get the doom 64 event unlocked so yeah yeah he is the mad scientist of the of the of eternal mute you little cutie you little cutie <laughs> um but yeah appreciate that raider man they really boosted revenant jetpacks for jeez louise Anyway, yeah, there's nothing to really explain there. You just, you know, point and click. All right, finally. Finally, we got the, sh the super shotgun. Now we can do all kinds of abuse. We can commit all kinds of AC-130 abuse upon these fools. And there's not a damn thing they can do about it. Did I miss a pursuit token? Where the fuck is this in the game? No, nah, I don't think I did. No, nah, I didn't. Um, yeah, so now we've got this. It opens up a lot of opportunities, right? We can really abuse the living shit out of this. It, it trivializes stuff. You, you guys saw what I was doing with the jump pads. This is on a whole other level. You can just meat hook off of shit, jump up in the air, and nothing can touch you. Except for uh, ground attacks from a whiplash it, while you're in the air. I don't know how it works. It's just because Doom. All right, but basically, this is going to make uh, the, the game a lot easier for you. So, um, again, by this point, you don't have to take bigger boom. I like taking it. I like that six points early game. If you can get some sticky crits, it can make things a lot easier for you. Um, obviously, we've got this fully maxed out now. This is kind of following the speedrun route, but also just generally speaking, lock-on burst is so strong, so you should just have it. If you're not super confident, take that. Um, and obviously, we're going to start dumping points into this. Now, I would suggest... Uh, me personally, I would take the three-pointer. Um because once you start weapon swapping, fast hands is a little less relevant. So just take this. What it do? What it? Wow! Well, what this does is it turns this game into a giant meme. Okay, so a couple of things before we kick things off. In battle mode, uh, one of the things that a lot of people in battle mode do is they will, they won't actually, like you can meat hook and then you know you can shoot this dude with a super shotgun, right? But you only have 18 shells. You only have 18 shells. So that's only nine shots, which is not many. So it is always better if you're not trying to level up the mastery. It is better to meat hook and then while you're meat hooking in, swap to the precision bolt and kill them with that. Because you have 90 bullets with this gun and one precision bolt shot only takes six shots. So way more shots, right? Um, so if, you, if you're if you not leveling up the mastery, just swap to a different weapon and just kill them with that. It's going to be way more efficient and it's going to save you a lot of ammo. Again, I'm not doing the most complicated strats in the world. Just trying to show you the best way to do things. So you can do this one of two ways. Um, but I would suggest if you have full health and armor, just go and get rid of one of the bigger demons. So I'm going to swap to the ice bomb here. Actually, let's just let's let me just show you some stuff here. Oh, I know his Drake must be very late for you, sir. So 
you know, you can sit here and dash around on the ground and shit, you know, that's all well and good. But it's way better to be up in the air above an enemy shooting down on them. You know, you want to become the AC-130. You want to be the AC-130. It's like, yeah, you know, I can strafe and shit, but I can also just dance around like this. So way better way, way, way better, much better way to do things. All right. Now, I reckon the only really threatening box in this entire room is probably this one right here. So what I would suggest doing is just break this one. Wait for your ice bomb to come off cooldown. Okay. Freeze all that. And then make your way back over there and just yeet the cue ball in. And then all that leaves is these ones. So you've got uh, Arachnatron and a Hell Knight behind this one. Just get rid of that. You've got a cue ball here as well. So just do the same thing. Get rid of those guys. Might as well just get them out of the picture. Wait for your ice bomb to come off cooldown. Obviously, you could use a frag grenade as well. If you're feeling really confident, you could use a frag grenade because the frag grenade will um, <clears throat> cause the demons to effectively be stunned for, you know, momentarily stunned, which might give you enough time to get over there and, and do what you need to do. But because we're trying to do things as with a higher rate of success as possible, we just stun these dudes. And that's all you need to do. So again, coming back to this whole sentiment of this level is, yes, it's got combat. Yes, you need to have good mechanics, but a lot of it is just, you know, a bit of a puzzle. Attention. All right, this room here, you can just literally yeet yourself through this whole room and it's not even an issue. You don't need to actually do any combat here. If you know how to meat hook, just, you know, find your favorite uh, little dread demon bot zombies cyber obi looking thing and just, just meat hook off of it. Thanks, game. Uh, there is a speedrun skip here you can do if you want to. You don't have to do this skip, but it just makes it a little bit quicker as long as you don't bounce off of shit. Thank you. To do that skip, you just take a couple of steps back from the wall where I was standing and then just dash and press forward. And then um, and then you'll just be straight up. Straight up top. Cool. So, um... I don't have as much health as I'd like for this next bit because I'm going to do the secret encounter, uh, which is not hard if you know how to do it and if you have the rocket launcher fully upgraded, it's quite easy. But if you're a little bit low on stack, um, you know, just come over here. Get rid of these dudes. Um, just freeze these boises. Burn them up. Wait for that environmental hazard to go away. And you want to have... You want to have... You want to have at least... You want to have at least six rockets for this, but more is better. And what we're going to do is we're just going to kick this... We're going to kick this barrel over here. You, you could skip this if you really wanted to. This isn't... You've kind of got enough... You've got the ball rolling a little bit with the weapon points. But this is just, you know, nice little... Icing on the cake. But essentially what's going to happen is there's going to be a whiplash here and there's going to be a whiplash here. Now, depending on certain elements like the positioning of the mecha zombies... Uh, and the positioning of the barrels. Sometimes some of one whiplash will take longer to get down than the other one. So you, you kind of have to just react. You just have to react to what you see happening. If you see that one coming down, shoot that one first. If you see that one coming down, shoot that one first. Nothing much to it. Uh, do, fr do try to throw a frag grenade from here to here. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to nestle myself in the sweet warm bosom of this little hole in the wall. And... I'm going to look and see which which whiplash is going to hit the ground first. And that's the one I'm going to kill. I am going to try and throw a grenade at that barrel regardless because that will kill the mecha zombies and it'll probably do a shitload of damage to the, the whiplash that's over there. And then probably, hopefully this one comes down first, kill it, and then kill that one. And then obviously you're going to have the mancubus here. You want to freeze this mancubus and then just, just kill him. Not much to it, really. So pop this. Go backwards. Throw the frag grenade. Okay, that one's dropped first. Okay, I'm going to have to do a little backup plan here. Sometimes shit happens, you know. Sometimes a mecha zombie gets in the way of your lock-on burst volley and the rocket launcher locks onto that thing instead of the whiplash. And you've just got to react. It's just one of those things. It's usually, if you follow a strat, it's going to go perfectly. But, you know, three times out of ten, the game just does a shit in your lunchbox. So you just got to respond. Sometimes that means freezing the whiplash. Sometimes that means, you know, not being able to CC this dude as easily. 
And that's where it's just got to come down to mechanics. You just got to be able to turret, you know, get rid of the cannon, cannon, and then SSG, PB, SSG. It's just one of those things sometimes with this game. You just got to be ready to respond to anything, any possible meme. Also, you do not have to kill any of this stuff. If you're quick, you can just run through and nothing will be able to hit you. But considering we're trying to, we're not really speed running, we're trying to have a high degree of success. I would suggest just just killing just killing stuff. All right, so um, this bit's not too hard. We're just going to kill the first revenant, then the mancubus, and then we're going to clear out the soldiers, and then obviously kill the caco demon. So nothing too crazy. That one doesn't work out. Just use that one. Yeah, you just wait for the flame belch to come up cooldown. Again, you're trying to keep that flame belch on cooldown as much as possible because you want to have as much uh, armor as possible it's not the hardest bit in the world you just gotta if you, it's, I think the trick with this is to you've got to nail that mancubus very quickly with the cue ball normally uh, what you'll see most people do is they'll, they'll use this first cue ball against the revenant and then they'll go left here and then just shoot this one at the mank. But sometimes this cue ball bugs out and he just like falls over and, and you know, funny because Doom basically. And so you just got to delete this mancubus quickly. Um, if you're worried about, if you can't kill the mancubus quickly and the caco demon spawns, I'm pretty sure the caco spawns after the mank dies, but just, you know, if you're worried, just put a sticky bomb in the caco demon's mouth. You've got days to confuse. He'll be stunned forever. Uh, how does DLDSR look? It looks really good. Yeah, it does look really good, Hannibal. I don't think it's quite as good as 4K, um, but it does look like there's no, there's not, there's no noise on the screen. The anti-aliasing, there's, there's no jag, no, no aliasing anywhere. <laughs> Just generally looks really good. All right. Hey, Zenny, going on? Uh, so when you activate this door, there'll be like two or three imps here, and there'll be a hell knight here. What I like to do is I like to activate the door and then stand here and then shoot a couple of the imps just so that they don't have free reign and do damage. And then while I'm shooting, I'll just flick over here and I'll hit this lever and it'll kill the Hell Knight. Usually it works. So just head over here. There we go. And just get rid of this dude. Cool. That is pretty much all she wrote, I believe. Change over to the Frost Bomb. Start level, getting that heat blast ready to go. Silly bitch. Very nice. Yeah, I just you don't have to freeze those dudes. I just like to do it. You've got you've got you've got all these tools in this game. You've got all these abilities, all these mechanics. You just gotta use them all when when you when and where you can. Right? If you keep them on cooldown, keep the flame belt on cooldown, keep the frost bomb on cooldown. Obviously, there's some things that, you know, you should hold out for, but most of the time, generally speaking, you just got to stay in control in this game. You got to CC stuff. You got to kill it before it can do anything. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, that's just a little dash boost. If you just dash into a certain part of the geo, it'll send you straight up. And then you can just, you don't have to do all the platforming stuff. You can just kind of skip that if you don't want to do it. Very easy, easy dash boost. Obviously, we are going to do the Slayer's Gate. Ah, we also should be upgrading our suit. So the next upgrade, once you've got Hot Swapper, and then once you've got four tokens, you want to go ahead and get Faster Dasher. It's really, really, really good. Very, very strong. Um, if you have bedded down single single dashing, you're just you're going to be nearly untouchable. You know, your ability to move will be... Uh, the demons won't really be able to keep up with you. See how, much, see how quick it is. So fast. So fast. With luck, this guide will help me lose my virginity. You'll lose your virginity and your sanity. Don't you worry. If you have any sanity left, it will be gone. <clears throat> All right, so this gate. Pretty tricky gate, to be honest. This My first playthrough, this caught me up heaps. I was pretty stuck on this for a, for a while. But um, <clears throat> basically, you're going to get two manks, another mank, and then you're going to get prowlers, and then you're going to get caco demons, and then you're going to get arachnotrons. You really have to know where stuff spawns from and you have to kill shit very fucking quickly in this arena. If you get caught in the loop of restacking in this arena, oh my gosh. 
it, you can do it, right? Obviously, you know, anything's possible, easy enough. Just get your stack back, blah, 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 blah. No problem, no sweat, right? But I swear, if you get caught restacking in this, it is not much fun at all. It, it's like you're up shit creek without a paddle. So the key to this is knowing where, where everything spawns, knowing the combos to kill things quickly. So Mancubus, lock on burst, precision bolt. And that will put him in a GK or to kill him every time. So that's a great combo for them. You really want to use the Precision Bolt and the Rocket Launcher in this arena for that first wave as much as possible. Then, of course, you're going to get Respawning Prowlers and you're going to get two Kako Demons. Now, uh, what I would suggest is in this in that middle wave with the Kako Demons, kill one Kako Demon. Don't kill the second one until you're ready. Get yourself, get yourself some armor. Get yourself some stack. Get yourself three Chainsaw Pips, right? Get your, get your Chainsaw Pips fully restacked, right? You want three... So you can just delete one of the Arachnotrons ASAP. Because I find the biggest problem in this arena is the moment that uh, there's an Arachnotron just running wild in this room or two or three. There'll be three. So if you let them be three, it's going to be really hard uh, to do anything. So you need to kill that first Arachnotron ASAP. So to do that, we're going to chainsaw him. So use the middle wave as your little buffer wave. You know, use that to restack. The, the, especially with Dazed and Confused, you don't have to kill the Kako Demon, right? Just put a sticky bomb in his mouth and just forget about him. Go around, you know, use Flame Belt, restack, blah, 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 blah. So we're going to spawn and then we're going to get rid of a couple of uh, soldiers just so that they're not doing free damage. So there's going to be one dude here, one dude here, one dude here. Okay, he's going to jump across. We're going to lock on burst him. Use this for cover. Okay. Freeze, burn, blow them up. Right, very good. So again, all I'm really trying to use here is is PB sticky as much as possible. Obviously, the ammo management is not uh, very good here at the moment. So we're just going to kill this dude, right? So I don't have any ammo. I've got none. Nearly none, anyway. There's a lot of pickups in this, in this arena. There's some shotgun ammo over here. This is a good corner to go to. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to sticky bomb this guy, right? Now, the arena is pretty tame pretty tame at the moment you know i can just run around and do anything i want so he's gonna come out there's an imp down there let's get rid of this guy because he's annoying me so i'm just gonna cc him and I'm, I'm just gonna forget about him i don't even have to worry about that guy at all all right so i've chainsawed cc him so i'm just gonna wait i'm gonna wait for my first chainsaw pip to regenerate cc him just keep him cc'd Okay, so it's nearly regenerated. All right, it's regenerated. Now I just go here, grab this, grab this. Re-CC this guy. <clears throat> Make sure there's armor pools on the ground. Now the first Arachnotron always spawns here. So just bang, chainsaw. Then the next one, just turn around. Drop a frag grenade, SSG, PB, SSG. And then freeze this dude, blood punch if you've got it. PB, SSG, PB, SSG. And then just clean up the scraps. So all I did was I used I used that wave in the middle as a buffer. I just CC'd all of the demons. I CC'd all the demons. I try to pick up and try to leave that with two chainsaw pips as well. When when it's getting down to like two imps, one imp left. Just do a lap of the room and pick up all the petrol that's on the ground because you'll be able to abuse that later on to insta-kill more demons if you really want to. No, I don't have DLSS enabled right now. I'll turn it on. Yeah, my frame rate went up by about 20. But the only thing with DLSS is like the this stuff starts to get a bit noisy. Like you can see the noise on on those bits in particular. Like see this stuff here. Just noisy, noisy, noisy. Oop. Yeah, that's another good point as well. Yeah, CKS2 made a really good point in chat there. Uh, barrel immunity will make that room a lot easier. Uh, where is it? <clears throat> this guy right here. You can use that to... Because there's, there's a barrel right behind you where you spawn. There's a barrel in the area with the three shotgun shell pickups. Um near the portal above uh below uh above the portal so yeah that's a really good pickup as well so yeah good point CKS. yeah if you're not too concerned about faster dasher then yeah just uh grab thicker skin because it'll you'll get faster dasher not long after anyway so not to worry about that 
big thing, big news. <clears throat> we can get this going. So if there's anything you want to farm in this game, it is the mastery for this. You really want to get this mastery done. It's so strong. This is so, so strong. And paired with Equipment Fiend, it is, it's amazing. You can get your Flame Belch back really quickly. Really, really quickly. Grilled cheese, it's going on. Oh, oh, totally. Yeah, no, CKS for sure. I think it's, I think it's, a, I, I even just for people who are just trying to get that run under their belt, trying to get the Ultra Nightmare clear. I think that's just such a strong um, perk to pick up. Such a good one to pick up. Grilled cheese, thanks for the resub. Thanks for the eight months, you beautiful baby boy. Hopefully uh, you are now more awake than you have ever been. Grilled cheese, you absolute sex machine. Right, so super shotguns fully fully decked, right? It's it's good to go. Uh, don't worry if you have any sort of reservations about uh, dual lock. Don't worry about dual lock. Um, it's a, it, it's more trouble than it's worth. Um, I, I wouldn't recommend going out of my way to get dual lock done. Uh, on the other hand, flaming hook, you 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 need you, like that's just that's bread and butter. Like you gotta have that. It's so good. So. You can take your you can get it mastered in DHB if you really want to get it mastered in Doom Hunter base, which is the level after this, because you can do it during the Doom Hunter boss fight if you feel comfortable. And it's worth it. It's worth doing. Um I'll show you I won't spend time doing that. I'll show you how to do it, but I will let you guys, if you decide to do that, do that. But um I won't do it. Because it'll just take up time. So this arena is gonna be two revenants, Hell Knight, uh Arachnatron, Whiplash. Arachnatron, Revenant, Mancubus. I'm pretty sure that's the order. <clears throat> and so with this arena, what you want to do is you want to basically kill... You, you just want to use the you just want to use the rocket launcher lock-on burst to get rid of um, the Hell Knight. You could use it for one of the Revenants if you wanted to as well. Um, but you want to have at least one rocket. You want, you want to have basically four rockets uh, by the time you get to the Whiplash because you want to use that on the Whiplash and then you want to have one rocket pick up the Overdrive and then use the overdrive infinite ammo with the lock-on burst to delete everything. The lock-on burst with the overdrive, really strong. Super, super strong. You've just got to stay alive long enough to be able to take advantage of it. So <clears throat> I'm going to lock-on burst one of the revenants, and then I'm going to PB SSG the other one, and then I'm going to lock-on burst the Hell Knight, and then uh, I think it's an Arachnatron and then a Whiplash. So I I'll just use Sticky Bombs and Precision Bolt to get rid of the Arachnatron, and then I'm going to beeline it for the overdrive, use the Frost Bomb, and just, and just start cleaning up. So that's all we're going to do here. Get rid of these dudes. Get rid of these dudes. Just get them out of here. Uh, little known uh, tip as well. Well, it's actually not a little known tip. It's pretty common knowledge. But just in case you don't know. Uh, if a Revenant is locked onto you with their missiles, you can just dash to get rid of the lock-on. So again, just kill that guy. Come over here. Probably shouldn't have GK'd then. So we're just going to go over here. Swap over to the Frost Bomb. Pick up that Overdrive. Get rid of the Heavies. God damn. Bit of a shit one, but that's all right. So the lock-on burst does uh, bring Mancubus pretty close to dying, but it doesn't quite do the job. You'll need a little bit more damage. I'm just going to get rid of this shield guy. So just wait. Just wait. <clears throat> Keep it. One thing you can do in this game, you'll see a lot of people do this when they play Horde mode, is you'll just stack everything up, basically. So I'm just going to stack everything up here, and then I'm just going to drop a Frost Bomb. You really do want to try to leave this... Uh, this level with as much stack as possible. You really want to start the next level with uh, a decent chunk of armor. Animosters, what's going on? So we're just going to do a little lap here. I kind of uh, messed up the rocket launcher phase then, but that's okay. One thing I probably would have done differently if I could have is I would have tried to kill more of the shield soldiers before starting the rest of the encounter. Because the shield guys, they're just like, they'll just catch you off guard. You won't expect them to be there. And then you'll just take a million damage and it's not very much fun. But 
On the plus side, we have finished the level with three chainsaw pips, which makes the start of DHP DHP significantly easier. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me play it, actually. So uh, Mick Gordon uh, posted... Um, he posted a, um, a video on Instagram uh, where he was playing the SGN riff on this new guitar. And it's just awesome. It sounds so good. I won't show you guys because... Uh, oh, actually, no, I think I can. No, uh, I think I can show you. Just don't want to fucking dox myself. Uh... So good. Man, that guitar sounds so good. Oh, that's filthy. So good. How good is that? I'll put the link in chat. Uh, I think I can post links. Yep, thank goodness. So yeah, there it is. There's the link there. Just, just awesome. Just so good. He's got to stop teasing us like this though. You know, he's got to stop teasing us like this. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair, Mick. You can't do that to us. Come on. Come on, it's like, come on, mum and dad, put your disputes aside. Let's get back, let's get the band back together again. You know, come on, Mick. Come on, Bethesda, let's go. Let's do it. How amazing would that be? It'd be pretty amazing. Anyway, the way this encounter works, right, is there's a mank there and there's a whole bunch of bullshit up top. Go up top, get rid of a couple of the fodder, freeze the mancubus, chainsaw the mancubus, and then just clean up the rest. So, sticky bomb, sticky bomb, sticky bomb, cheeky little... Ice bomb, flame belch, chainsaw, boom, and then just clean up the rest. That's all you. That's all she wrote. That's all you got to do. King Dime, what's going on? Good to see you. Make sure we get a shout out for King Dime, legend of OG Dune speedrunning. Legend, multiple GDQ appearances. Thanks, Porky. Follow King Dime right now. Or I will abandon you. Yeah, yeah, feeling a heaps better now, King Diamond. Thanks, man. Feeling a million squidillion McDollars. Yeah, so just go up top. Um, if you, okay, you, you, you can still do, this is still a better approach, even if you don't have three chainsaw pips, but just go up top and just start deleting everything. Especially here, the mank pretty much can't shoot you when you're here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Easy peasy. Um, now you can also chainsaw another heavy demon in the early part of this level because there's a chainsaw pip in the next room and then there's a chainsaw pip in the room after that so um, definitely you can you can chainsaw a couple of demons here um, now there is a little shortcut here that the speedrunners do alright time to start leveling up the meat hook I think so if you basically just meat hook this dude and look up, you can get up here. You don't have to do all the platforming. And then meat hook him on the way back. And you can just skip all that shit. No need to do that. Don't bother yourself with such platforming memes. Um, you can pretty much take anything you want here. It doesn't really matter too much. Speedrunners will take micro missiles because they, you know, that's part of the route. Um, but if you've already upgraded everything, Everything else, don't worry too much about whatever you take here. It doesn't really matter that much. All right. Pinky Demons. Pinky Demons, super interesting in this game because of the meat hook and the faltering system. But you can use... Re remote debt might not be a bad choice because with remote debt, you can stun them. Otherwise, you can use a single charge of the heat blast. So one out of the three... If you have one out of three charged up, you can stun them with that. You can use a frag grenade. You can use um, uh, 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 the ice bomb, obviously. Um, but you just want to... The best strat is just that single charge heat blast. So just get it charged up. Start going across. Flame belch, drop the heat blast. Get behind him. 
kill this dude. We we wanna we wanna be meat hooking, killing and killing stuff as much as possible now because we have got the mastery going, so we wanna get it upgraded as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, unfortunately the precision bolt does not work. You do have to use You do have to unfortunately use uh See that? Just that just that single one out of three bars. It'll make it so easy. You can just get straight behind him. Flame Belch. Keep Flame Belch on cooldown. I think there's a Arachnatron spawn over here. Okay, again. Just drop that single charge. Get behind him. Just like that. Really, really, really easy. Feels juicy, guys. Oh! Look, shit happens sometimes, guys. You've just got to be ready for the worst. Make sure that heat blast drops. Get rid of this guy's turret. Now, if you're at this point, you're thinking to yourself, God, I've only, I don't have much ammo. I could chainsaw a little baby boy demon and just get all that ammo back. Well, just hold on, all right? Because we're going to do a loop-de-loop, shoop-de-whoop of this whole room and get all the ammo that's on the ground. All right? Bang. Fully maxed out. We've only got one rocket, though, so rockets aren't really much of an option. So we're just going to PB sticky this guy. Okay, now get rid of this jabroni. And then just chainsaw this whiplash. Get him out of here. One day, I will learn to play this video game. God damn. They really went ham on this room. This room this room's actually cool. This room is actually cool. If you're having a lot of trouble with this room, I would recommend just doing loops, right? You just want to do loops of this room. You want to do what the, the Spud Hunter calls a circulari, a circular motion. Just going around, just going in circular motions around the room. Using the meat hook to just keep, keep going in the same direction as well. You know, if, just keep doing just keep doing circles. And if you see an enemy, do some damage to them and then just keep moving. Use the jump pad, bang, 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 bang. You know, kill this bloke, shoot a rocket at him, even though it's not required. Just, just, just do it anyway. And that's it. Just keep doing circularis. And try to keep killing stuff with a super shotgun to get that mastery done. Mastery is really, really important. You've got to have that done ASAP. Circular motions. Well, it's different when you're doing that, sh Tall Shade, because preferably a bit of variety, you know, is sort of spices things up a bit. So we're in Doom, Tall Shade, you go in the same direction. Sometimes when you're on the rim, you should change directions. You know, just go the other way, other, uh, maybe up, down, uh, clockwise, uh, counterclockwise, um, maybe do a handstand while you're doing it um, to get a different angle. Maybe, you know, just different things, you know, different things spice things up in the bedroom, mate. Whereas in the arena, you need to keep things simple. Yeah, I'm, I'm here to offer advice, not just Doom advice either. You do you do want to be 100%ing the mission challenges as well, uh, because that'll just make getting the upgrades easier. So make sure you're doing the mission challenges. Um, now, if I'm uh, doing this for the first time, I'm just trying to get you in under my belt. I would suggest going down the Frost Bomb route because the Frost Bomb is very, 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 very strong. Right, especially when uh, you've got this, you've got this. These two are really, really good. Um, this is pretty good too. We'll grab this actually. Maybe we'll grab this for uh, grab this for the Doom Hunters. What do you reckon? Because on the latest patch, you can freeze the Doom Hunters in the actual boss encounter. It's very cheesy. It's very strong, indeed. <clears throat> ah, cheese metal. Cheese mutt. A cycle. A cyclari. You can skip this as well. You can do a little jump where you just go straight to that platform and it causes these caco demons to not spawn. But that's all right. Again, just even if you don't have to, just just flame belch them. Just just put, just get into the habit of getting of listening to that cooldown come up. Trying to get that meat hook mastery done as well. Now you can get it. Try and get this done here, so you can get that three demon kill done there if you want. Otherwise, you can just do it in the next room. Again. Where is this guy going, mate? Just drop that heat blast. One charge will do the trick. And then get behind him and just go ham. Just get behind and just go ham. Just 
Like all you sexual Tyrannosaurus Rexes in the chat, just go ham. Just get in behind and just go ham. All right. There we go up here. Carcass. Kill this motherfucker. Kill him. Just get, just delete him. Just get rid of that freak. Straight away. Now, just don't worry about these guys. Don't worry about the revenants. Just worry about the giant flowing lava. Because that shit will kill you almost goddamn instantly. This is a really good place to get some more ticks on the meat hook of mastery. So we're just going to do a bit of that. Right, normally I wouldn't do this kind of shit. I will just let it organically happen. But because it's so strong, because I'm trying to make a point, I'm going to do it anyway. Bam. Leave one dude alive. Kill this guy. Now, depending on your frame rate, sometimes the second revenant doesn't come in. And that's just, that's just doom. That's just doom. Sometimes that, sometimes that it just won't come in. So now you can do the normal platforming way. I just do this because it's a little bit quicker. Just kill this guy. And now we wait. Yeah, it depends on your frame rate. If your frame rate is a little bit higher, uh, sometimes you'll only get one revenant and the other one will just stand there. And eventually he'll get despawned and you just have to wait. You just have to wait, meddler. That's all it is. So he's just been despawned. Now we come down here. You can shoot through this thing if you want. Just get that one coming down. All right, so last um, route. Now, you might be a little bit nervous, so maybe you could take saving throw. I think if you're using saving throw this early in the game, it's kind of a waste. You really want to use this for, you know, Taras Nabard and onwards. That's when ST is going to be probably the best time for it to get used. Like, uh, you know, Gladiator, TN onwards, Final Sin has some gnarly stuff, Necrovol 2 has some gnarly stuff. You really want to have it for that. For that. So, um, <clears throat> probably the best choice right now is either, if you're not feeling confident, take Chrono Strike. Uh, otherwise, Blood Fueled or EF. Um, and considering I haven't really upgraded the, uh, the grenades that much, EF isn't really giving me that much of a benefit. Once the grenades are upgraded and they're, I've got two frag grenades and, you know, everything's popping off, the damage from the Frost Bomb is there. EF is awesome, especially with the Meat Hook Mastery, it's awesome. But probably the next best choice is probably Blood Fueled because this benefits the Chainsaw. A lot of people are like, oh, Savagery's awesome, s and D's awesome. The thing is, Blood Fueled benefits both Glory Kills and Chainsaw. So it's like, it's the two for one special. So this is the way to go. It's going to save you from one of those embarrassing moments where you get turned into a pancake by, uh, by a Hell Knight while you're chainsawing something. All right. So, just get rid of this dude. So, this is a perfect example of where um, having having armor on the ground is good, right? Because these guys are going to hit me. Oh, oh, oh. oh, maybe not. So, you just got to have armor on the ground. So, if you do get hit by that mank, You can just you can just walk over the armor that's already behind you. You'll get that armor back, and then the flame belch is going to come off cooldown. So you, you just stay back in that one. Just stay back. Use the rocket launcher lock on. Use the plasma rifle against the shields. Yeah, it's all Gucci. You don't have to worry too much. Um, now, if you really want to de-risk this encounter, just chill. Just sit back here. Run out of ammo. Um, contemplate uh, what, what your life even means, and then go across anyway. Because what is life if we don't take a few risks? No, oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh my god, I got no ammo. Now, if you're in a bit of a shit situation here, just come around the other side. Like, I, I didn't have any ammo for the rocket launcher. I just had nothing, no bullets. So you just come around the other side here. But I think the trick is just to stand over there and get rid... If you get rid of that dude's um, arm cannons, you are going to have a much more fun time. You're going to have a lot more fun if you just get rid of those turrets. I uh, can't get the quick swapping down right. I think the number one thing, Metal Art, is... Uh, 
if you take um think about the combos that you do the most right it might be um i don't know pb rocket might be pb rocket or it could be pb ssg and try to put them on the same finger basically if you can so for me the way it works works for me is i have pb and rocket on my index finger so i don't have to think about i'm just the same button you know it's it's the same finger for the same combo basically and then pb ssg is on my ring finger so i'm not having to cross i'm not having to think about using two fingers to do the combo it just makes it a lot simpler so take take those combos and try and put them on the same one the only one that i use different fingers for is probably pb sticky uh, but that helped me it, that helped me a lot with pb rocket is having the same finger for the same combo now oh, pb pb ballista is is, is 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 different fingers but usually it just it just works and just practice just practice 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 turn on the infinite ammo cheat and just go into a level and just shoot lots and lots and lots and lots yeah exactly what spank said just load up a level with infinite ammo and just go ham all right uh so I'll, i won't do a big skyhook skip here burn these dudes get rid of his turret and then ignore him and then just get rid of this dude a lot of doom is about changing what which changing which target you're focusing on an arachnotron turret is more threatening than a caco demon but an arachnotron without a turret is less threatening than a caco demon so get rid of that turret change targets get rid of the caco then finish off the the uh arachnotron and just keep playing beltron cooldown you know walk into when you're setting up a fight if you see a group of three fodder demons, an imp, a soldier, a gargoyle, or you know whatever combo it might be, just um just flame belch them before you start doing combat. Yeah, exa exactly. You got to annihilate their strengths. If you're a little bit weak as well, just go in, burn this dude, sticky crit, job done. Lots of lots of armor, loads and loads of armor. You should be trying to put armor pools on the ground at the start of a fight, and you should be trying to restack at the end of a fight when you know a fight is on its last legs you know one or two demons left start start burning stuff start glory killing stuff think about maybe chainsawing just set yourself up for the next fight because that is a huge thing in this game you know compared to 2016 you there's it's easier to recover in this game so you should be trying to make a habit out of doing that you should be trying to make a habit out of restacking at the very end of an encounter this applies me here so might as well just you know get that fully charged and grab the ammo there's no no loss there now this pinky's going to spawn i don't want to use the heat blast though i really don't want to use the heat blast so yeah just use a grenade but yeah like a lot of um a lot of learning all the different combos is just practice it's literally just practice. And then when you get really good, you can start doing stuff like that. Where you just, you go bang, 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 and you swap between targets. So you freeze them both and you go bang, 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 bang. It's it's a lot of fun. PB, that's why PB Rocket is really strong, because you can just do some really crazy shit with it like that. Yeah, exactly what Spank said. You should really aim for rhythm and not speed. Rhythm, not speed. Just uh, take it, take it slow. Once you learn the rhythm, um, then you can. You want to get to a point with a you, when you start learning a weapon swap. You want to get it to the point where you don't even have to think about it. You can just. It's just a tool that you can just whip out and use in the middle of combat. Because once you're really good at the weapon swaps. You can just worry about movement. You can worry about positioning and the weapon swaps are just muscle memory. Now, these guys, um, we're just going to meat hook them and kill them. Cool. Funny game. Dash didn't work. Um, all right, cool. So whiplash on the right, prowler on the left. We're just going to freeze the whiplash. Actually, we're just going to we're just going to lob the lob it and then get rid of that boy. Now, at this point in the level, if you don't have three three charges on the heat blast, just get three charges. 
Heck, you can do it in this room. There's some plasma ammo right there. There's some shells right there. You basically just want to have three charges on the heat blast to help set up the beginning of the Doom Hunter fight, pretty much. It's just going to help you stagger the Doom Hunter and do boatloads of damage to the Doom Hunter. It's just generally going to make the start of the fight a lot easier. We're setting up for the Doom Hunter. Just going to grab this here because I'm a little bit low on armor. Over here. Just mosey on over here. You can skip a lot of these if you stretch your dashes and jumps out. Yeah, it's the skateboard man, the ice mobile man. If you don't, this actually, getting around this, this catwalk is a massive pain in the ass. So what I recommend is just get to the top of this climb of a wall, look up and just jump. It's it's as easy as that. It's, it's, so, it's, it's, it's that simple. Now we'll, we have enough token points to do a couple of upgrades. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab Frostbite because in the latest patch, you can freeze the Doom Hunter. So we just want to increase our DPS a little bit and then we'll go Permafrost. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Totally spanky. Yeah, it's like you can easily die on this catwalk. So just, just do that. Just again, I'll, I'll show you. Just get to the top, look up, look up, push up and like press forward, look up and jump and stretch that first jump out, like really stretch it out and then just do a little jump at the top again and you'll mantle over. And it's it's really that easy. Jocko, how are you? So easy to die on this catwalk. Ow. Yeah, no, you couldn't freeze it before Sutton. You could freeze all of the other ones, but not that first one. Kind of silly. I think I should... Oh, I didn't collect the... Uh... Okay, I should probably go and get the collectible. There's a, a mission challenge. So if you have missed anything, you can FT in a moment. And I will FT. Make sure I go and get that uh, that collectible. Which I think is uh, a Tower of Baphomet. Yeah. I'll just go back and get it quickly. Funny game. Do this little... Skippy, Skippy McGee here. There we go. Nice. Oh, isn't it? Uh, oh no, is it down here or is it? Oh, I can't even remember. Okay. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Hold on. Uh, laser generators. Laser generators. That skip is a game changer. It can speed thing things up a little bit for sure. And make things a little bit quicker. What did I grab this thing? Yeah, I did. What am I missing? Where is the musical? Ah, uh, ah, uh... oh, right. Okay, it was in that area. All right, cool. I'm glad they added it as well. Um, yeah, because it just didn't make any sense. The play conditioning for dealing with the Doom Hunter made no sense. You couldn't freeze the first one, but you could freeze every other one. So people just straight up were like. Wait, you can do that, you know? Made no sense. Ah, that's where it is. Okay, cool. But yeah, that's a really, really easy skip as well, Jocko. Um, if you just stand in front of it and just dash into it. It's not it's not super precise, but it does require a little bit of an angling. There we go. And then you'll just, uh, yeah, up you go. All right, cool. Let's grab this secret. Normally, I wouldn't bother too much with that on a run like this, but because it contributes to a mission challenge, I kind of have to grab it. It's an Antarctica base. Made sense you couldn't freeze him here. My goodness. Realism in my Doom game? What is this nonsense? Um, yeah, so we just want to walk into this fight with... Uh, the heat blast fully charged there is ammo above this room you can go and get it if you need plasma ammo but we just want to go into it with this and then all i'm going to do is i'm going to drop the heat blast i'm going to blood punch him and then i'm going to just ssg pb drop a frag grenade ssg pb get him through that first phase nice and quickly or as quickly as i can then i might freeze him i don't know just we're just going to delete him pretty much that's all there is to it Once uh, you're kind of out of stuns, once you're out of stuns, like once you're out of frost bomb, once you're out of frag grenade, once you don't have plasma rifle, you can just use the plasma rifle primary fire. It is pretty strong. It is actually quite strong. 
to uh to use this is also a really good place to farm meat hook mastery ticks because the doom hunter's like yeah he's kind of threatening you know he's a little bit dangerous but he's not that dangerous so you can use this as an opportunity to get some more ticks done if you really want to so just mosey on around the arena make sure you've got ammo So I'm not going to do this. Like, I'm not going to sit here and do this because it's boring. But just so you guys get the idea that you can do this if you want to. So just getting a few more ticks. I'll just get one more. All right, cool. You just want to use the lock on burst, that's all you want to do. Cool. So the the only resource you won't get back when you jump down the portal is uh or down this hole is you won't get um armor back. So you'll get everything else back, um, just not armor. So <clears throat> do a little bit of a loop, you might find some more armor floating around that you didn't pick up during the fight. You know, like this stuff here, just pick that up. And just start just start getting the, the heat blast uh sorted in again dialed in again just get that dialed in and then you're pretty much good to go you've got as much armor as you're ever going to have um you've got your heat blast oh, let's do it now these guys have less health than the first one but there's obviously there's two of them right so just uh drop a grenade ah oh, that's unlucky he went across That's not good. So if you can't if you can't get an opening, just um start winding up the plasma rifle. You, you can even do damage with it. It's actually not bad damage. It's actually not bad damage to just shoot the base of the, the snowmobile thing that he's on. Don't kill this guy yet. Just kind of get him a bit weak. Just get him both weak. So one tip I can give you guys with this fight is you want to if you're trying to play it if you're not trying to go fast if you're trying to play it safe what you should do is you should get them both very low and then kill them in quick succession because the extra ads spawn after you kill the first one once you kill one of them you get the prowl or the carcass all this bullshit and it's annoying to deal with so you want to minimize that time that you have those chess pieces on the board so once you've gotten one rock on lock on burst ah shit on a stick once you've gotten that guy down roughly uh to pretty much nearly dead just start working on this, dude. All right, he's nearly done. In fact, he is done. Um, also, this is a good opportunity to get some more ticks if you want to. That guy's nearly dead. I can I can tell by the... Oh, no, it might be this guy, actually. Okay, it's that guy. All right. Cool. So... Again, just try and restack... We're going to put one lobby into this bloke. Try to meet, try to stay in the air as well. You'll see me doing that a lot, just in general. It's just a general, generally good thing to do in this game is you really want to be in the air as much as possible. Okay, they're both pretty much nearly dead, right? So this is what, this is a good place to be. You want to have them in this kind of position where you can just quickly dismantle both of them. Just keep restacking. That's all good. Maybe kill this dude. Well, uh, why am I doing it? Ah, oh, just, I don't know. I guess, uh, yeah, maybe uh, people might find the strats a bit more believable. So they're dazed and confused. Quick succession. I'm pretty sure DNC affects these guys. Yeah, it does. Just like that, right? You want to get them both into glory kill or as close to glory kill as possible and then just bang, bang. Because you don't want to deal with this extra extra wave where there's, you know, uh, shield guys and prowlers and car carcasses will make it so much harder. So you just want to minimize that time by killing them both. Bang, bang. Quick succession. Yeah, I've got, I've got a lot of hours in this game, so I should be able to do a UN run and do a tutorial at the same time. Hopefully. Hopefully all those hours are worth something.
Cool. So this is pretty much where the game begins. You get access to the blister. Um, you'll get access to two more uh, two more crystals. So you can increase your stack by 50. So the game really starts to open up here. We can talk a little bit about blister boosting as well and how to how to uh, take advantage of that. So grab this bad boy right here. So I don't know, like a lot of people know about this, but I might as well just go over it for those who maybe haven't never done this before. But essentially in this game, this, gu this gun has a lot of recoil and you can use the uh, recoil to get a lot of backwards momentum. So if you just like jump, if you run backwards and jump and then shoot, you'll go backwards really far, which is pretty fucking cool. But that is handy because it gives you a lot of mobility options. You can use it to get away from things really quickly. You can use it to get lots of vertical distance. You can combine it with jump pads to go up really high. It's just a super, super, super strong uh, mechanic in the game that you should definitely learn and take advantage of. A lot of speedrunners use it, uh, obviously, to get uh, lots of speed, which is required for speedrunning. So just an all-round awesome technique and mechanic in this game that you should, uh, that you should learn. You'll see me take advantage of it heaps now that I have access to this gun. So once you've done Doom Hunter base, you'll have enough batteries to, assuming you've been um, close to 100%ing all the levels, you should be doing all the mission challenges. You should be doing all the combat to get as many upgrades as possible. You'll be able to come in and uh, unlock these. I think you might even be able to unlock, uh, you might be able to have, you might have three batteries if you haven't been 100%ing the game. So... Yeah, anyway, uh, at this point, you just want to grab health. All you need to worry about is health because health is the easiest resource and the most plentiful resource in this game. You know, you can glory kill like three demons in a row and that's, you know, like 110 HP or something like that. Whereas Flame Belch is going to be on a cooldown. Um, it's great, right? Flame Belch is awesome, but health is just simply easier to get. If you kill, if you're on low health and you kill three demons quickly, you freeze them maybe, you know, you freeze them and then you get the freeze health drops from the upgraded frost bomb just an easier resource to get so go health just get get health as high as possible get it to 200 hp as quickly as possible and it will make your time a lot easier in this game once we've done that we'll start to uh dip into armor um but ammo gets deferred to the later part of the game <clears throat> because um uh getting ammo upgrades in this game gives you bfg ammo back so we're just going to head over to the super gore nest. Ah, cheers, Spank. Yeah. I mean, um, I don't put a lot of content on YouTube. I might, maybe I'll export this VOD and put it on there. Who knows? I should do that. I should do that. Problem with Twitch VODs is uh, the quality is always shit when you export it. <clears throat> All right. Super Gore Nest. So, a little bit of a step up in difficulty, but you also have access to more mechanics. You've got, you should have 50 more HP. In the first third of the level, you'll get another 25 HP. So you'll have 200 HP pretty early on in this level. Um, you should also start getting access to more suit tokens to allow you to upgrade your grenades. So in this level, you should be able to, your, your objective effectively should be to max out the frost grenade um, and get 200 HP. So you should be trying to focus on having those uh, um, you max out pretty much. Re-encode it to 4K. I don't know if uh, if uh, I don't know if Da Vinci will uh, do that. Wootsy. Please calm. Now this level, if you haven't been abusing the meat hook, you need to start doing it in this level. There's all a lot of the arenas in this level have a a huge amount of verticality to them. So Vermilion Canal, which is that big open arena halfway through the level. The opening arena with the big uh, gore nest kebab thing in the middle. Um, that's massively vertical. There's like one, two, three, four levels that you can be on in terms of height. So you really want to do start abusing uh, the meat hook and abusing the jump pads. So I'll show you a, a couple of things in this first arena you can take advantage of. Um, again, we're just trying to get the meat hook mastery. We're halfway there, so... Just trying to get that maxed out as much as quickly as possible. Save your weapon points here as well. We're going to upgrade uh, the Destroyer Blade on the uh, Ballista when we get access to that. So you're going to get a mank over here. So just get rid of him. Man. 
And this uh, DLDSR is really messing with my frame rate. It looks good, but goddamn. Maybe I will turn DLSS on. I think I need a little bit more frame rateage here. Once you've killed those Mancubuses and once you kill enough soldiers, there's going to be a carcass that spawns over here. Oh, sorry, I forgot about this Mancubus. Once he dies and the man the carcass dies, the Revenant spawns here. So just come over here and uh, kill him. Get rid of this dude. And get rid of this dude. And then the uh, Kako Demon, I think a Hell Knight actually spawns over here. So he'll be probably down here. You just want, you really just want to keep moving around the arena. Really focus on the Circularis. To CC this guy. And watch out for the Whiplashes. They're going to spawn once this guy dies. Flame Belch, use it if you've got it. Keep it on cooldown. Whiplashes are going to spawn. There's going to be one over here. And then one over here. So just get rid of them. Feel free to chainsaw a lot. You know, if you're not speed running, just chainsaw. If you feel like you're running low on uh, on rockets, just do a chainsaw. Just throw one in. But the biggest thing is, you see, I've stayed up top the whole fight. I've been here. I've been here. I've been here. There, bloody everywhere. The only places I haven't been is down here, down there. You really need to think about how to use the environment to stay high up. All right, 36 out of 50. One, two, one, two. Okay. This, this, this guy will instantly die, I guarantee it. He won't even stagger. Oh, what a pleasant surprise. Now, there isn't a much easier way to get them to stagger and it involves doing uh, three, three PB rockets. I think you can also do three PB ballistas, but I might be wrong about that. You can get access to this secret as well early. If you just, uh, at the at the apex of the jump from the, from the monkey bar, if you just do a shot, bang, and up you go. So yeah, you just, with this first arena, you just want to focus on staying, get, get, get rid of the, 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 these two mancubus, especially this one. The one that jumps up here is super problematic. So you want to delete him as quickly as you can. Just get rid of this guy. He, he generally doesn't shoot at you. You can just annihilate him and then kill this one. And then uh, come around here. Don't go down there. Try to avoid landing on that ground at all. Just stay up top. Kill this one. Kill the carcass. Kill the revenant. Um, kill the hell knight. Kill the prowlers. Kill the caco demon. And then kill the whiplash. Just make sure you chainsaw plenty. Ch chainsaw plenty. Use your rockets. Abuse the rocket launcher. And just try to stay up top. That's the best advice I can give you. Um, yeah, you really don't want to be down. You don't want to be down there at all. You don't want to be down there. You don't want to be down there. Because that is that is where you die. Cool. So... Get some... Uh, get some... In between fights as well, use them. Use that as an opportunity to get get armor, get ammo, get armor. Just restack in between arenas. That's why they put all the fodder demons there for you. So we're gonna grab Destroyer Blade because Destroyer Blade is. Oh, maybe we should go Arbalist. Graphic settings also on Ultra Nightmare. Damn straight, motherfucker. Damn straight. Um, maybe we'll go Arbalist. Maybe we'll make the game a little bit easier for ourselves. D Blade's awesome for speed running. So is Arbalist, but I think Arbalist just is a little bit more useful in terms of killing demons quickly, especially pain elementals. So the thing with the Arbalist is it's very strong against aerial enemies. So it does extra dam extra damage against Kako demons. It, it insta-kills a Kako demon. And two Arbalist pings will kill a pain elemental. So very, very strong, very efficient in terms of dealing with those enemies. Because it's, it's, it is a projectile, but it's virtually hit scan. So it, it moves so quickly. So I suggest picking this up if you have trouble with... Um, if you have any trouble with uh, aerial enemies, that can be a very, very strong mod. Again, just trying to get the meat hook mastered. So just taking my time. And, you know, just abuse the chainsaw. It regenerates. It always regenerates. It's going to be a Dread Knight here, so it's going to kill him. 
And then there's going to be one that spawns behind me. I don't know if he spawns straight away. No, I think he spawns after you kill the Kako Demon. Now, what you can do here, you can literally just sit here and do jack shit. You're allowed to do jack shit if you want to. I think he's spawned now. Yeah, cool. So when, obviously, when the Arachnatron enters the room, another Dread Knight will spawn from here. So you just turn around and, and just get rid of him there. And then just funnel everything into this little bit here. So again, first Dread Knight, and then you can just jump out here. Jumping through here will trigger the uh, Arachnotron to spawn in. Then you just double back, kill this uh, Dread Knight, and then you just, everything else is going to funnel into this little corridor here, and you just kill everything there. If you have the Destroyer Blade, you can basically just kill everything using the Destroyer Blade. But we're going to use Arbalist because uh, it's going to give us some strong, op stronger options for later on. Always thought that I need gas to chainsaw, and if I remain without gas, I'll be left without option. Thankfully, the, that one pip regenerates constantly. Unlike Doom 2016, you always have one. All right, so we'll get this all sorted. Yeah, because if you run out of a certain type of ammo, it means you just you lose that weapon as a as an option. One, three, four, five, six. Dude. Funny video game. That happens. What does the Sentinel armor do? It gives you all your armor back. So in in Nightmare and any other any difficulty other than Ultra Nightmare, Jocko, uh, instead of a Sentinel armor, it'll be a extra life. So all the extra lives get replaced with full armor. Full armor pickups. Just come through here. If you're a little bit low on ammo, you can come through here, grab all this stuff. Very handy. This room. This room can get out of control. What I would suggest is getting rid of the mecha zombies to your left at the start, and then getting rid of the shield guy, and then getting rid of one more soldier, and then getting rid of the prowler, and then going through the teleporter that takes you to the buff totem. It's always the same portal, and it is the... It'll be... When you drop down, it'll be the second on your left. If you think about it as a square, where the bottom of the square is the side you enter the room on, and you've got one, two, one, two, three, four, it's always this one. So Doom Guy comes in like this, right? So you got your grid of portals. Doom Guy comes in like this. It's the one down here. It's always this one. So I'll come down. I like to just get this ready. So it is always this one here. Always this one here. Slow down there, Sunny Jim. So I just go through. Bang. Yeah, so you, he drops from down here, and it's all it's always this one. Always. Ah, no worries. No worries, Jocko. Yeah, probably will Hannibal. I reckon the performance is worse than native 4K, to be honest. Let me just uh, drop this down a little bit. Go to high. All right. Make sure you're restacking as well. Like that group is really good to uh, chainsaw if you need the ammo. If you're planning on doing this uh, secret encounter, that is. This secret encounter is not too hard. You'll have, I think, two mecha zombies, two manks. It's pretty straightforward. Just, uh, you know, use the ballista, use the grenades. Um, try to get rid of the turrets. Try to get rid of the mancubus turrets. Um, and focus on one mank at a time. Right, just get rid of this one first, and then get rid of this one. Sometimes uh, the there will actually be some line of sight. So if, you're, if you push to this point here, get to this pool, you kill this mank, come to this pool. Sometimes the mancubus over there can't actually hit you. So that gives you a bit of room to... Um, to do some damage to him without him doing damage to you. But you try want to leave one of the mecha zombies up. Try to leave a mecha zombie alive because you want to chainsaw it for the next arena. So I'm going to go Mancubus, Mancubus, one mecha zombie. Well, I'll try to kill the mecha zombie last, basically. So we'll just uh, come through here. Throw the grenade, PB Ballista, PB Rocket. And then just chainsaw. So again, like, you know, trying to use the mecha... 
trying to use the mecha zombies to get myself up into the air, right? Because mancubuses have a lot more trouble hitting things that are in the air than they are on the ground. So you want a meat hook up, jump at the top of the meat hook, and then bang, 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 bang. Oh, really? Yeah, that's making a big difference. Holy shit. Cheers, animal. Legend. Wow. Yeah, that's made a massive difference. Okay, cool. So at this point, uh, don't hesitate to grab uh, ST. Our, our grenades are not upgraded enough yet for EF to be really all that great. It's an awesome rune. It's so good. This is an amazing, amazing rune when you're doing content that has lots and lots of demons. Like if you're in a room that's got, you know, loads and loads of small demons, Equipment Fiend is amazing because your grenades, your flame belch will just constantly be coming off cooldown. It's really, really strong. But it's just in the base campaign, it's just not quite good enough in the early game. So pick up ST. Just give yourself that little backup plan if you need it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 100%. Rekthan, you, you want to keep... In Doom 2016, you could kind of disrespect... You could disrespect all over the demons, right? Just You could just disrespect the shit out of them, walk up to them, do whatever you wanted. But in Doom Eternal, they really made it so that long-range hit scan was the meta. You know, your precision bolt, your ballista is, is definitely the safest options. Keeping a distance from the demons and just smashing them with long-range options. Lots, okay, so lots of cool shit you can do in this next arena. I'm going to keep it nice nice and basic, all right? Nice and simple. I'm going to abuse all of the options that I've got available to me in this arena. You'll see speedrunners just absolutely smash everything in this room using the quad damage. We're going to play it nice and safe, right? We're going to use the jump pads. We're going to try and get rid of weak points, keep our distance, blah, 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 blah. But obviously, we're going to um, we're going to get rid of the weak points first on the on one of the manks, and then we're going to kill the arachnos, and then we clean up the manks, and then we're going to clean up the uh, the cacos and the carcasses and the revenants, all that stuff, right? Um, but basically, all I'm going to try and do is try and stay at the top levels of this room, and I'm trying to avoid going down. There's a reason they put that um, supercharge down at the bottom of the of the arena. Super shit place to go, but it's like I want that supercharge. Oh shit, you know. So try to stay up top. Um, and just try to get rid of some weak points. So, let's get rid of this dude. And then we're just going to come over here. Get rid of that guy's weak points. Get rid of that guy's weak points. So, you see how I'm using the, the jump pads? I'm just abusing the jump pads. That's all I'm doing is I'm just abusing the jump pads. This guy has there's no way he's ever going to hit me. It's just not gonna it's just not gonna happen. It's as easy as that. You just try to try to get rid of the weak points and then you've got free reign to do whatever you want. Uh how come my camera is black and white? How old are you, Jocko boy? Were you were you old enough were you born early enough? to uh, play a wrestling game on the uh, Nintendo 64. Get rid of that jackass. You don't want to you don't want to have gargoyles having free reign. All right, cool. So now we're at this point in the game, we don't really need to use the sticky bomb all that much. We can just get rid of Kako demons using the Arbalist. Much, much better. Might as well use this just for a bit of fun. Oh, sorry, man. You actually... I'm sorry, dude. I really am. Uh, but this is an 18 plus channel. So... And you can't even joke about that stuff. So... I'm sorry, dude. I don't... don't I don't take this personally. I just have to... I just have to follow the terms of service. Sorry, man. That really sucks. That really sucks. I hate doing that. But unfortunately, that is... That's how it is. Seemed like such a nice... It, for 14 years old... He see, sure seemed a lot more mature than a lot of cunts who were in their 30s on this website. I wouldn't have picked him for 14. Yeah, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm sorry, Jocko. It's just I have to do it, man. It's just how it is. What's going on, cat? Nice ballista boost. Current goal is to beat Tag 2 Ultra Nightmare on the PS4 Mute Mind. Nice. Watching Sim Verba tip so far. I've beaten the SGN Master level. Wish me luck. Good luck, man. Good luck. Keep at it. Yeah, you're never going to get it if you, if you quit. So, yeah, just got to keep chipping away. Does Arbalest deal extra damage to flying demons? Yeah, it does, Abominator. Works for both Pain Elementals and Kako Demons. It'll... One Arbalest ping will instantly kill a Kako, and two will kill a Pain Elemental. Yeah, he can watch, but he... Yeah, he can't chat. 
can watch but can't chat but yeah arbalist that, that's why i went with arbalist for this playthrough just to show you that it it can be really strong and one of my tech the i tend to focus on the you watch you'll, the way i play this game is i tend to stay in the air a lot so for me arbalist is really useful because i can get rid of the pain elementals and the cacos which stop me from being up in the air but if you're speed running this game um the, uh, destroyer blade is way better cool so there's nothing really to upgrade at this point um we could upgrade the frag uh, the frost bomb though which we will do So we'll go ahead. We'll just make our way through here. Um, little tip with Spectre Pinkies is if you hit them with... There's a lot of combos you can do to put them into a stagger. But I usually just do two Ballista hits. So just bang, bang. Works basically every time. Nice. So with Carcasses, just don't even get close to them. Like, just literally keep your distance. If there's one unit, if there's one unit in this game, if there's one unit in this game that you should just keep your distance from, it is carcasses. You have to stay as far away from them as possible. Use Precision Bolt if you've got... You, well, yeah, obviously you'll have Precision Bolt. Use Ballista if you have Ballista. Try not to use rockets unless you're really confident in, you know, you and you understand when you can use the rocket launcher. Because when you shoot a rocket, they'll just instantly throw up a wall. Um, they're a massive pain in the ass. If there's one thing you can get rid of, if you if you're if you've got three barons right but there's two caca, uh, two carcasses kill the carcasses kill the carcasses just get rid of them because they will ruin any kind of damage that you're trying to do against uh barons anyway all right cool so obviously we'll pick up the last health upgrade because health is king in this game yep yeah 100 percent heartbeat it's yeah it's um they're, they're just a, they're, they're, they're honestly they're so strong if they know that there's a demon that you're that is staggered, they will literally they're they're programmed to put walls in front of demons that are staggered. That's how they work. They will just cook you at every single turn. Yeah, it's unfortunate, Dismia, but uh I just I have to follow the rules. I don't want to be a party pooper, but it's just how it is, I'm afraid. And a, a primary fire from a ballista will instantly stagger a prowler. Super handy. Alright. Oh, oh, shit, I've got the Meat Hook Mastery. Nice one, Gary. So, now that the Meat Hook is mastered, I will not be killing anything using the Super Shotgun following a Meat Hook. I'll be swapping to the Precision Bolt and using the Precision Bolt to do the kill. All right, let's just freeze this bloke. You, you can kind of, like... You can use rockets here if you're really quick. If you're really quick, because while the carcasses are jumping up onto these ledges, they can't put shields up. So if you drop a couple of quick uh, quick rockets, it'll make things a bit easier. And you should really be trying to flame belch this pack and get armor from them before uh, before uh, moving forward. Again, just ballista boosting. Just to speed things up a little bit. How crucial is the rocket launcher lock-on mastery? It's not crucial at all. In fact, it's it's it can be detrimental because uh, sometimes what'll happen is like it'll start locking onto some other shit that you don't want it to lock onto, and then you'll end up wasting six rockets. It's it's actually it can be detrimental in some situations. All right. So I don't have uh, I don't have any any plasma ammo, <clears throat> so we're just gonna have to rely on th this mank's gonna pop right. I'm just gonna freeze him. And then I'm just going to do lock-on burst and get rid of him. And then we'll come down here and we'll just uh, use the frag grenade and PB sticky the carcass, basically. Once the carcass is dead, it's, it's no bueno. It, 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 I mean, it's all good, basically. That's a really strong combo you can do against... Uh, against... Uh, what are they called? Ma uh, mancubuses. Is if you freeze them. Uh, especially if you have uh, the Frostbite upgrade for the Frost Bomb, you can freeze a mank and just walk up SSG, PB, SSG, and they'll just instantly die. They don't even get a chance to do anything, which is kind of sad, but it is what it is. All right. So we're about to come across another uh, pinky. So I am going to use the P PB rocket combo to 
What do you mean to stagger? Hopefully I can get around behind him. Ah, oh, shit, I already did that one. All right, so I've done left-hand side and from the back. All right, cool. But that's a really reliable combo. If you want the upgrade, if you want to get the mission challenge done and get the upgrade point, you can do PB, PB rocket. Uh, just three PB hits, three rockets will put him into uh, glory kill. Um, don't worry too much about grabbing this. Like, it's not really that strong in this level. Uh, if you decide not to get it here, you can get it in arc complex. And you can also get it in Mars Core. Um, not, not super important. Yeah, Spank's, Spank's pretty much spot on. Um, you pretty much, you always want to do the um, Meat Hook Mastery first. Meat Hook Mastery is, is, is king. Um, D Blade is really, really good. Arbalist is really, really good. Um, Precision Bolt is okay. It's not super crucial. It can make a small difference. Uh, but definitely meat hook. Um, yeah, energy shield can save lives. Um, we'll grab it. We'll grab it. We're trying to do this the uh, highest success rate possible. Just freeze this dude. Just freeze him. It's a small enclosed space. You don't want to be dealing with uh, a demon with a lot of mobility in a small enclosed space. I've already done that. Really wish I had Destroyer Blade right now. Also, I don't really have one rocket. Meat hooking a shield guy as well can stun him effectively. So if you want to get up close and personal with one of them but you're worried about taking damage just do that nice actually wish i could do <laughs> yeah true yeah true yeah the, the the headshot mastery is kind of annoying in tag too with the screeches um so obviously we're going to pick up the energy shield this thing is massive it's so good um, it's so strong. You really can do a lot of, a lot with this thing. It can take you quite far in terms of survivability. It also can be quite handy for uh, dealing with pinky demons because you can do a technique where you combine the shield with single dashing and you just bump into just bump into a boop, 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 boop. And it'll just stun them over and over and over. It'll just stun lock them. All right, this bit. Um, there's a, f a whole bunch of different things you can do here. Um, if you're confident with your meat hooking and your use of air control to get around... You can do a little shortcut here, which will make this area actually quite a lot easier. You don't have to be a speedrunner to do this. You just need to know how to use the meat hook to get height. Um, so I'm going to meat hook the gargoyle that jumps on the platform, and then I'm going to move over to the left. And it's, it's actually really easy to get up on this area. And it's going to save me having to go through the whole area and get risk of dying. So just meat hook that guy, double jump, and then straight across. It's, it's really, it's that easy. Okay. And we're just going to skip most of this. To do that as well, if you're not sure how to do that, um, you just meat hook the target and then you press left or right. Depending on what direction you want to go. If you want to go right, you just press strafe right. You want to try to like sort of keep them in your line of sight so the meat hook doesn't detach. The meat hook will detach if you go out, if it goes off of your view. Um, so you kind of want to look at them a little bit, but not too much. You mostly just want to focus on strafing around their body. So I'll do it again. Just like that. Wait for him to come out. And just do it again. It's just, it's just strafing. That's all it is. It allows you to pretty much bypass most of the content and combat in that area, which is which is quite handy. I don't really know how to do this skip. Maybe they, maybe they patched it. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, you need to, yeah, you need to jump. So, you know, if I don't do anything, if I, it just pulls me into him, right? It just pulls me into him. But if I just go, if I jump, I can get heaps of height. See you, dude. Let's 
just get rid of this guy. Paid sixty dollars to do this combat. Yeah, I mean, I think we all got good a good value for money after doing that combat two hundred times. You guys don't need to know how to do that if you don't know how to do it. It's basically just ballista boosting and then swapping to a different weapon and then ballista boosting again to get across really large gaps. You can you can do that. You just shoot, swap, shoot. Nothing too crazy. Streamer skipped this arena clearly. He's never done it once in his life. Why do people buy? <laughs> That's the YouTube commentator speaking for you, isn't it, Bloodshot? All right, I think I need to do this side. Yeah, nice. Right. Cool. So again, if you just do three rockets, three rockets, three PB shots, they will basically always get staggered. <laughs> How'd you guess? I see all those comments that uh, yourself and Bowser post on Twitter. I see them. I see him. They make me laugh every time I see him. How dare you skip a game that you've invested 20 times more time into than me? How dare you? How dare you? I have every right. I, p I played this game for 20 hours. I have every right to criticize you for how you've played it after 2,000 hours. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Um, we should be able to do another upgrade now, I think. Yeah, nice. So... Um... Faster cooldown is nice, and I do, I like, you know, I'm talking a lot about how good the Frost Bomb is, but I think at this point, we probably want to start thinking about having two frag grenades. Very juicy. Let's get that on the go. Um, and we could potentially start upgrading the energy shield, but I don't know, I don't, know, I don't see the point. I don't really see the point. Um, I guess maybe the recharge time. Probably the recharge time. Because we're talking about trying to uh, have the biggest... Uh, the, you know, most amount of success possible. D-Blade is awesome, but D-Blade is only really awesome when you know what spawns are going to, what's coming. You know, when you know where enemies are going to spawn in from and when they're going to spawn, so you can set up in advance. If you don't know all this stuff off the back of your hand, then D-Blade is not as great. Like D-Blade was, when the game came out, people kind of wrote D-Blade off a little bit. But once, once you know, Zero Master and lots of other speedruns, especially Zero Master, I think he was kind of like the first to really uh, show how good it could be when you knew what was coming. Then it became really, 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 really good because you can set up the angles and everything and just delete everything straight away. But because we're new at the game and we're trying to give ourselves the most, the greatest uh, chance of success, we'll we'll grab uh, the shield cooldown reduction. Oh, cheers, Spank. Yeah, yeah. I I I enjoyed putting those updates together as well. Having flashbacks to when people used to complain about skipping that one arena in 2016's Res Ops. Yeah, sometimes when I, you know, I like to do that arena sometimes. Just back in the day, Heartbeat, I used to just be like, you know what, I'm just going to do it just to show you guys I still got it. And then I die. Oh, definitely Mute Mind. Yeah, Ballista Boosting is really important in battle mode. Really, really important tech to be, uh, to be able to chase demons down, as well as get away from demons. Uh, really, really important tech. Sorry, it was a question about spawns. Septic, is learning the spawns crucial for UN or just something that is really handy? Ah, uh, it's yeah, it's pretty crucial. Like Bloodshot saying, you you don't you don't have to like you do have to you still have to be able to react to, to things as unexpected things happen. You know, it's doom eternal. Things unexpected do happen. So you need to be ready to react. So you've got to have the mechanics and quick thinking to change tact when things go wrong, but the best starting point I can offer you is to know the spawns. At least know you need to at least know when what kind of big demons are going to enter arenas especially late game knowing where the arch files are spawning from massively important because you can basically kill them before they summon anything and it just you can just get rid of them like that get them off the board because if you let them run free oh man they make your life so hard they can spawn a pain elemental or a hell knight or a, a mancubus or it's yeah they, they're really not not fun to let run around so knowing where the arch files spawn is is one thing i would spend a lot of time on septic we're just gonna get rid of that shield up. We're fully stacked here, so. But let's just let's just do this. We don't have to do it, but we'll just do it anyway. No worries, mate. All good. As you play the game more, you'll learn. You'll just memorize where everything is. But Arch Vols is a big one. Some 
Okay. Burn this dude. Yeah, so, you know, like, you can combine the meat hook jumping with killing them. Um, you know, kill the enemy and get a bit of height. Set yourself up for the next one. Oop, look out. We'll grab the little secret down here. Um, one little tip as well with this arena is all the fodder, the fodder stop respawning. So when you kill the Arachnatron, nothing respawns. But it actually it actually goes one step further. They just all die instantly, which is kind of shit because you need to set yourself up for the Slayer's Gate. So instead of killing this Arachnatron straight away, just do a, just chainsaw some stuff. Uh, kill it that way. Again, not you don't use the super shotgun to actually once you've got the mastery, use the meat hook in and then use the precision bolt. You can do some cool shit on this jump pad too. You know. Move around the arena really quick if you uh, so desire. Teammate. Alright. Unless they fixed it. No. Nah. So see how that guy died? There'll be no zombies in this arena anymore. Nothing. You won't be able to chainsaw a damn thing. So chainsaw before you kill that last Arachnatron. Again, just abusing that technique to get up here. You don't have to do it this way. You can just go the normal route from uh, the opening area of this level to get the key. But I just uh, I just like to do that. It's just a bit quicker. Save the last fireball for himself, Stanley. Something like that. Something like that. He certainly did not want to live in this world anymore. Um, yeah, it's it's just not all arenas work that way. It's just that arena works that way. Everything gets just dies straight away. Now, if you do have D-Blade, this arena can be really fun um, because the walkways are quite narrow in this room, which is really fun for D-Blading, but I don't have D-Blade. So we're just going to deal with things how you know, without it. It's just fine. Um, so the way this works is there's lots of soldiers and lots of carcasses and then eventually it transitions into hell knights and uh, prowlers and pinkies i think there's even maybe a, there's one dread knight um but it's one of those it's it's like every other arena in this run just try to stay up top you know third level if you can try to avoid being stuck down the bottom if possible and just keep doing laps around the room keep doing laps and stay up high so gonna freeze and burn all these dudes get some armor pooling going now i'm gonna start looking for the carcasses and just getting rid of the carcasses make though make them your number one priority there'll be more carcasses they do tend to spawn around here so just keep moving around this this walkway here just keep moving around this walkway Cool, 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 cool. Again, keep Flame Belch on cooldown. You know, I've got full armor. I've got full armor, but at any moment, some demon could just do a bullshit attack and do damage to me. And this will just give me all of my health back. So that wave's over now. So we're going to get a Dread Knight here. So we'll just get rid of him. Just keep meat hooking. Just keep meat hooking. Keep moving. Keep meat hooking. And try not to stay in one place too, too long, right? So this is kind of getting a little bit spicy. So, you know, come over here. Really need some ammo. See, I'm just... There's just armor everywhere. There's armor everywhere, guys. And it's all because... I'm just meat hooking as soon as it comes off cooldown. Just constantly meat hooking. There's always armor everywhere. is a very very strong way to play this game is just constantly meat hooking and you see how I'm, I'm on the top floor constantly constantly on the top floor like most of the time you know if i was playing this game you know a year and a half two years ago i would have to move around this room a lot more but because i can do a lot of high dps combos nowadays i can just kill everything before it can do too much to me but you guys will need to like if you're doing your first un runs 
You'll need to keep moving around that room. Keep doing laps, keep doing laps, keep doing laps, because otherwise, yeah, you'll die. And just keep meat hooking. The, the soldiers there, you just want to meat hook and then precision bolt kill them. Meat hook, precision bolt. Meat hook, precision bolt. There'll just be armor everywhere. You won't be able to get enough of it. Hey, Zen. It is the, the Spud Hunter Circulari strat as popularized in Doom 2016. Just keep moving around in circle, circular motions. Don't turn around and go the other way either because everything will be behind you. It was a big cheese in 2016, getting, every, getting all the demons to funnel in behind you and follow you. And you can still sort of do it in this game to an extent, but they, they definitely dialed the AI up a little bit more in this and you can't do it to them as, as much. Cool. Pretty straightforward if you know the way. Get rid of these dudes. Get the frost bomb ready. Just freeze this guy. Do a little chainsaw if you want. You've got plenty of time. The timing is very generous on this section. You don't have to rush. You don't have to kill these dudes either. You can just skip these manks. You don't have to kill them. You don't even need to B boost to avoid them. You just dash through and they, they, they're so slow. And then here, uh, you can throw a grenade here if you want to slow this guy down a bit. And then just on to the next level. Pretty easy stuff. Cool, 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 cool. So, um, we uh, we can go and get another mod bot or another suit token. So we might do that. You're trying to give yourself, obviously, if you were speed running, you wouldn't uh, bother doing this, but you want to give yourself every chance of success. So we'll come back here and we'll grab these suit tokens. There's also a couple of other suit tokens we can grab. So this will be four batteries, but uh, I've got enough for three. Okay, cool. So we'll just grab these two that are here. You don't need to rush through here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they give you so much time. They're relying on you to get lost. Am I going to beat the entire game? Yeah, I'll do a full run today, Bominator. I want to get that uh, Doom 64 skin unlocked. Should be uploaded to YouTube, Raquel. I'll, I'll upload it. I'll export it and upload it. I wish I was doing a local recording, to be honest, because then I could uh, have a really good quality. But I shall uh, should put it on YouTube. So yeah, you just want to give yourself every chance to success here. Um, give yourself an extra couple of to suit tokens, and then uh, we'll go and grab another one in a second. And then we can upgrade another another grenade uh, ability, which we'll probably upgrade the frag grenades. Oh, if you type in exclamation mark YouTube, a link will come up, Septic, which will uh, you'll be able to sub there. I don't put a lot of content on there, but um, this would probably uh, be one to put up there for sure. Now, that's all of the uh, batteries, I think. I don't have any batteries left, so we'll just grab this. Especially with Arc Complex, having your grenades upgraded is really useful because most of the um, incidental combat, that is the combat that happens between arenas, uh, is in narrow areas like you know, hallways, corridors, tunnels. So having your grenades upgraded is is uh, super, super handy. It's going to make some of those fights a lot easier to deal with. Um, we'll probably uh, we'll probably get the deep. We'll probably hold out on the points and get the destroyer blade going just for funsies. But at this point, I probably want to take this combustion concussion because that's going to give you more faltering, more crowd control. which is really, really useful um, in this level. Having grenades, again, just... There's not... Like, I would say Art Complex is probably one of the more densely packed levels in terms of just enemy... enemy density. Um, and also just the, the way that the whole environment's set up is it lends itself very well to... to Equipment Fiend usage and to grenade usage. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get Equipment Fiend in this level. In fact, do I already have it? I do, I do already have it. All right, nice. So probably just take, um, get rid of Blood Fueled. Keep DNC because you want to have, Blood Fueled is great, but DNC is probably a little bit, just a little bit better. So uh, yeah, we'll get EF going because because the reason I'm changing to Equipment Fiend for this level is because there's a lot of enemies all packed into a very small space, which means I'm going to be killing more demons that are under the influence of equipment because they're all packed in nice and tightly. So I'm going to benefit more from it. Cool. So, I don't know. There's not like 
If you're going to take a break during your run, probably a good time to take a break before this level because this is one of the longest levels in the game. It's got one of the best soundtracks. It's the Slayer Gate. If you're not feeling confident, probably just skip the Slayer Gate because the Slayer Gate here is actually quite... Uh, it can be pretty challenging. Um, even for me, it can catch me off a little bit sometimes. Um, but the whole thing, the whole shtick with this level is... Um, like the incidental combat is usually in very tightly packed areas um but the are the arenas are pretty hectic so like the berserk arena can get out of control pretty quick but we'll go over that arena when we get to it um what else is there i don't know this is kind of like this whole level is just the culmination of everything you've done so far it's just the main difference is that, that it's very uh claustrophobic oh shield shield challenges yeah Shield challenge can be, uh, you can manipulate the AI into doing what you need them to do. So with the shields, right, what you want to do is you want to get an enemy into GK and that will cause the car the carcass will prioritize protecting that demon. So that's what you'll force them to, effectively force them to spawn a shield. Now, most speedrunners would start upgrading Precision Bolt at this point and they'd start leveling that. Um, but we're just going to hold out and get, uh, get D-Blade going because the Precision Bolt upgrades are sort of not that good. If you're doing, if you're weapon swapping, it's really, they're not really that good at a set of upgrades because you just don't really benefit from them. You know, if you're quick scoping and fast and doing weapon swaps, you're not really benefiting from either of these. Like this really only matters if you're hard scoping and that is you're like zooming in and staying zoomed in. Whereas, uh, and this is only useful if you're not weapon swapping and you should ideally, if you're trying to do ultra nightmare, you should know a few weapon swaps. I think that's like a pretty reasonable expectation so we're not going to upgrade either of those we're going to probably uh we'll get we'll get this now makes sense to grab this now and then we'll get d-blade later on d-blade's just really fun mastery yeah it can be useful crit stickies are just as good though So this um, Mancubus will only spawn once you actually get close enough to the to the glass. So just clean up the other stuff. Freeze him. SSG, PB, SSG. Now, just chainsaw one demon. It really, it can be quite helpful to uh, be somewhat frugal with your use of ammunition. You want to save your ammunition. So just get rid of this dude. Get rid of this bloke. Magnacore! <laughs> Thank you for the 23 months, sir. Appreciate that. How you doing? Good morning. Alright. So again, guys, you really want to use that technique of meat hooking and then swapping to the precision bolt and just bang. It's going to save you a lot of ammo because you will feel it when you run out of shotgun shells. You will feel it straight away. Everything will stop working. You just The game will feel weird. So, yeah. Um, okay. So, just freeze these guys. Get rid of this guy. Try to save your ammunition, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna tr we're gonna chainsaw the um the mancubus that spawns here. We're just gonna chainsaw him straight away. Well, not quite straight away. We want to get rid of some fodder around him, just so we don't accidentally chainsaw the imps that are next to him, and then we're gonna chainsaw the mank. You don't get how the ballista books work. Ballista works. You try to do it. It doesn't move that much. Uh, if you give me like two minutes, Shitty, and I'll uh, I'll go into a bit more detail. Obviously, we want to get rid of those turrets. Really good pack. That's a really good pack to flame belch. Just drop a grenade here. Because it'll sort of kill the imps, but it'll also stun him. Which means when you're walking up to chainsaw him, he can't just shoot you in the face. Just clean out these clowns. Let the whiplash into the room. Lock on burst the first one. Okay, just wait for this thing to enter. There we go. And then, and that's it. Again, meat hooking, precision bolting. This is going to be a, a pretty long level, I think. Doing great, even late as it is, de-rusting you in. I just thought we might as well do a bit of a tutorial stream. Maybe explain a little bit some of the mechanics of the game. Um, so, shitty in the way, the way I do ballista boosting is I start walking backwards, jump, and then shoot. 
So backwards jump shoot. Walk backwards, jump shoot. And that's 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 all there is to it, really. It, it, it is a little bit different if you don't use air control, it feels different. So if you have air control, uh, you'll lose momentum if you use strafe while you're bouncing backwards. But just, just all you need to worry about is just walk backwards, jump shoot. That's all there is to it. So you see how the carcass will always try and protect demons that are glory killable? So to manipulate them into throwing the shield down, and the speedrunners do this, is you just you put a few of them into glory kill and the carcass will pretty much always try to shield them. And that's all she wrote. Do you let go of the back button? Uh, no, I don't really let go of the back button. I just keep pressing back. I just keep, I just keep holding back. Now this this corridor can be a bit gnarly, so just sit back, just take your time. The carcass just clear out the fodder, and then the you know the carcass will pop in when you get close enough. So just grab this this, this token first. I think I have enough. Okay, I only got two. All right, yeah, I've only got two. So the carcass will pop in. get rid of him and then big boy's gonna rock up just all the time all the time be trying to meat hook stuff especially especially when you know the the, the fight is about to finish especially when you know the fight is nearly over just keep meat hooking just keep it on cooldown even if you don't need to just do it how do you switch to different weapons without opening the weapon menu? Um, if you're playing on mouse and keyboard, then it's very easy. You just move all of your weapon binds closer to your directional keys. So for me, it's WASD. So I have all of the weapons on keys next to or really close to WASD. But if you're on a controller, then the best way to do it is to just tap the RB button. So like, uh, if I just grab this controller. Uh... What? The best way to do it is just tapping. So you can just tap like that. Um, but yeah. Otherwise, you can use the weapon wheel. Whoa. Thanks, Xbox Game Bar. There we go. Groovy. So this arena right here, uh, you want to obviously avoid the goo, right? So one strat you can use, and I'll show you on the map if I can. Yeah, so one strat to make this really easy is just to go over here. So you just get rid of the Mancubus turrets and then go over here um, and just kill everything from here because there's no goo, there's nothing like that. You're, you're really safe. So I'm just going to chainsaw one of these blokes. Get rid of this guy, get rid of this guy. then just come over here and then and then just get rid of everything from a distance basically but if you don't want to do this then just stay up in the sky just like that we're gonna keep flame belching and then just uh yeah just um get some more stack so once this okay he's already gone Just, just try, just try and avoid being on the ground, basically, if you can. So with DNC, he's gonna, this Kako demon's not gonna be moving for a really long time. Same with this dude, this revenant. I can just ignore the revenant now. So just don't be here, basically. That's the best bit of advice I can give you. Is once you get into this room just get on this jump pad as soon as you can and just get over here try to stay over here if you can and just dismantle the arena from a distance
you just really don't want to be this this whole area is really bad you know it's just a trap thing here because as soon as you touch this shit, it's it's gg it's really not very much fun uh if you go down to the panels papa smith i'll have some inf there's some information there about my sensitivity dpi um you know how long it takes me to do a 180 in terms of distance and stuff like that i think mouse and keyboard gives you more power with convenient weapon sw switching yeah totally bongo uh i think there's oh, like it, it, i think it's harder I think it, the skill, the ceiling, it's much harder to attain the same level of mastery on a controller than it is on mouse and keyboard. It's much easier to do this stuff on mouse and keyboard, but it is still doable on a controller. There are some really fantastic uh, content creators on Twitch and on YouTube who do weapon swapping and it just blows my mind. I don't know how they do it. I really don't. All right. Um, there's going to be a pinky demon that pops through there. I don't want to use grenades on him, so we're just going to use a single charge of the heat blast. To deal with him instead because i want to save the grenades for some other stuff just keep it nice and safe so just let this boy come through simple as that just drop the heat blast and then bob your uncle so we're going to prioritize this revenant just try and get rid of him as quickly as possible loads of demons here you should be just spamming flame belts like it's going out of fashion like you really should now you want to save the you really want to save the um the frost grenade because obviously we're going to use it for the cyber mank so make sure you've got blood punch and just take care of him like that All right, now there's a couple of ways you can get into this room. You can go up this way if you want, or you can go up this way. If you if you can meat hook off of an enemy, you can get in this way. And it's just a better angle. It's just a, it's just a way better angle um, because you're not, you know, if I'm trying to get up these stairs, I can't really see the Arachnetron, right? Whereas if I'm coming from there, I can see so much. Again, just keep Flame Belch on cooldown. With, see, I've got Equipment Fiend. It's just coming off cooldown really, really fast. You see how... You see... So, I'm going to put it on cooldown again, right? And just look at it. When I'm meat hooking stuff and PBing it. You see how... You see how Flame Belch is flashing every time I kill something that's on fire from the meat hook? That's where Equipment Fiend is really good. If you have the meat hook mastery and Equipment Fiend... Oh, man. You can literally... You can get that thing off cooldown really fast. So, I'll do it again. Just freeze these guys so they don't move. See how quickly that thing is coming off cooldown? Oh. You'll have Flame Belch just constantly ready if you if you do what I'm suggesting, which is just meat hook to everything and kill it with Precision Bolt. Uh, we'll pick up the D-Blade, because D-Blade is fun. Yeah, I agree, Pimp Yuigi. Really, really awesome music. Really, really good music. I think it's it's not my favorite song, but it's definitely the most hyped music in the game, that's for sure. I think it's definitely uh, something that the younger generation of Doomers enjoy thoroughly because it's so hype. Yeah, Metal, Metal Hell's definitely up there. BFG 10,000, World Spear, Reclaimed Earth, um, SGN, it's all good stuff. All right, this fucking gate. If you decide to do this gate on Ultra Nightmare, you've got the big balls, all right? You've got the big cojones. You literally are duck walking everywhere you go. You're going up the street, mate, your legs are fucking, your feet are three meters wide apart because your balls are so big, they don't fit between your legs properly. Two tyrants, barren, and then there's a mix of, of heavy demons. So it's either like, it can be, it's a mix of whiplashes and manks, but it's total of three of those types of demons. And then at the end, you have to deal with the Doom Hunter. So there's a lot going on here. You want to start the fight with ice bombing one of the tyrants and just start unloading you know drop rocket launch a lock on just spam that into him but don't spend a lot this is an arena where doing circularies is really important you need to constantly be moving around the room as much as as much as possible just moving 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 don't with the mancubuses uh if you get three manks don't sit on one too long just get rid of the get rid of the hand cannons and then move you find the next one get rid of the hand cannons keep moving get rid of the hand cannons you want to think of this arena as like, I don't want to commit to killing one demon. I want to commit to killing, uh, doing damage to lots of demons and doing loops. Loops, 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 loops. Uh, Cody62, thanks for the tier one. Appreciate that. Thank you for the support. I hope you enjoy the emotes and the stream. I had you at duck walking. Yeah, I, dude, your balls have got to be swole, watermelon, tight, titantula nutsack. 
to do this um you know oh, i can do it now it's not a big deal but when you're starting out in the game this is the sweat fest this gate is easily like one of the hardest combat if you can do this gate you can probably do the whole game legit what about dlc on you in do i even have do i have even bigger balls nah i reckon this is harder than a lot of the dlc content to be honest because you're not you're not fully geared up you don't have much ammo if you're following the health crystal routing you don't have much ammo so that makes things hard because you've got to stop and you've got a chainsaw a lot and that's not much fun so you know obviously if you want to like optimize your runes maybe go blood field just so you've got that little bit of extra mobility uh ef there's plenty of demons but that's you don't want to be set in this arena you don't want to be setting up big fodder kills and shit and take advantage of equipment fiend you know you just want to be moving so you could probably take blood field here instead D dnc is really good here dnc is going to be huge because uh you know if one of those tyrants get get stuck if a tyrant is ready for glory kill but you can't get to him really quick like say he's literally in front of you but there's three demons between you and him dnc is going to let you go around all that stuff and he's still going to be standing there so yeah um abuse the chain gun shield use d blade all right use d blade really really good especially against whiplashes if you freeze the whiplashes and use d blade that's awesome i would strongly suggest trying to uh um trying to use the frost grenade here on that first tyrant if you can uh, when you do official UN runs, do you do the Slayer Gates? If I'm doing a speed run bongo, if I'm doing 100% Ultra Nightmare, you do everything. You do all the Slayer Gates, all the mission challenges, all the upgrades, everything, pretty much. Uh, okay, cool. So I'm using Slobs, which is a tech that you can use in this game. He's dead. You don't see i can kill I, the reason i'm sticking to them is because i'm killing them really quick if i didn't get that slobs the lock on burst cancel against that tyrant so i basically did uh two volleys really fast i would have just moved on plus that whiplash if i missed a shot on that whiplash i would just forget about it and just keep moving i need ammo so ballista boosting really handy in this in this level So I don't want to stay on that platform with that tyrant. You don't want to be on this platform for very long. Uh, let me show you some more cool shit. So you can use this jump pad with the ballista boost as well to do some really big movement plays. You know, if you're worried about, oh shit, I'm going to die or I need to move somewhere really fast, then... You can use that if you're like, oh shit, I need to get the fuck out of here right now. Oh my god. Okay, bang, do that, right? Alright, this guy's nearly dead. Nice. And I'm just gonna use uh I'm just gonna use the slobs against this this uh baron. I got ten rockets. So it just uh, it just shoots a million rockets basically. It's a it's not it's not the hardest tech in the world to learn, but you basically just do a precision bolt shot and then you start while you're swapping to the rocket launcher, you start you hold down mouse one and then you let go after it comes out and then you start lining up the lock on burst. It's it's a really overpowered tech. You can just delete shit with it. It's awesome. Cool. So now all I've got to deal with is is this guy who's gonna die. And that's how you deal with the Doom Hunter. If you want to see the most efficient way to kill the Doom Hunter, that's how you do it. You just get him wedged in, in the void of, of marble and brick and stone and he just dies. That's what it is. Sometimes that happens. He just, he'll just do that randomly. So again, just always meat hooking, always moving. Never really staying in one place too long is sort of, is the key. Oh, I don't think that's true, Bongo. If you complete the game on Ultra Nightmare, you know, you, you, you know, without cheating, then you complete the game on Ultra Nightmare. It doesn't really matter whether you uh, do all the gates or not. Again, D-Blade. Really strong, but only strong if you know what's coming. I knew that there was a Revenant there. I knew there was a carcass there. I had the Frost Bomb ready. It's that simple. Like, if you know it's coming, you can make mincemeat of, uh, of stuff using that. I don't even know why I'm 100%ing the game right now. 
Getting all the codex entries, getting all the secrets. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, explain why the Doom Hunter is dead. He got so sometimes demons, especially Doom Hunters, will get stuck in the geo, so they'll get stuck in parts of the level. And what happens, Abominator, is when an enemy gets stuck in geo like that, they just die instantly. They literally just kick the bucket straight away. Hey, no worries, Papa. Hopefully, you got something out of it. Uh, you take care, mate. Be good. And if you can't be good, then um, be an absolute menace to society. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. Useless machine. Juiceless machine. Attack. Yes. If the Doom Slayer had a, a gun that could just spawn random bits of geometry, he would win every fight. How to beat ancient gods on UN when? Uh, maybe for another day. Maybe for another day. Uh, at this point, I like to grab the AFB armor um, because AFB is really good. Uh, so the way HFB and AFB work, health for blood and armor for blood work, is when you have an excess of health or armor on the ground, what it'll do is, in, is it'll reduce the cooldown of uh, blood punch. So if you've got full armor and you pick up armor, it'll reduce the cooldown of blood punch. Uh, AFB takes less armor to reduce the cooldown than HFB does. So HFB, you need to pick up more health to reduce the cooldown further. AFB, you can literally like flame belch two enemies and if you're at max armor, you'll have blood punch back. So it's really good. So we're going to take armor here now because in Mars Core, we're going to pick up this ammo because it's part of the BFG routing of the game, which is going to be really interesting to share with you guys how the BFG routing works. So when you pick up an ammo upgrade in this game, you get BFG ammo back. You get all of it back. So it's good to push ammo as far back into the game as possible. These upgrades, push them as far back into the game as you can because you can take advantage of that to abuse getting the BFG ammo back. So we're going to pick up this and then we'll get ammo in uh, Mars Core. Silly duffer. Damn, these boys are hungry. Cool. Nothing too crazy. Just, uh, you know, trying to CC stuff as much as possible. Again, just, uh, you know, really trying to focus on keeping our abilities on cooldown as often as possible. Just keeping Flame Belch on cooldown, keeping the Frost Grenade on cooldown, keeping both grenades on cooldown. Because uh, if you don't use it, you lose it. You definitely don't want to hoard in this game. You want to, uh, you really want to keep those things on cooldown. Make sure we've got enough ammo for this bit that's coming up. Like all these sections, they're all opportunities for you to get resources. All this incidental combat. Great opportunity for you to get ammo, get armor. Just set yourself up for the next fight, basically. So, now, this, this arena is actually kind of cooked. This arena can get kind of cooked. Um, you need to be really careful of the prowlers in, in this area. I don't know why, I don't know what it is, but the prowlers that enter this arena after a while are kind of cooked. So, just want to kill the carcass. Keep killing fodder. Keep, meat, keep flame belching. Don't hold on to your cooldowns. Get rid of this dude. This guy's a problem. Try to save your uh, frost bomb for that guy. All right. Try to prioritize the gargoyles as well, as always. If you see one of them starting to line up and attack, just get rid of them. Hmm. Ah. Where is he? This happens sometimes. Uh, if this does happen, don't worry too much. Eventually, the last demon will will come through that wall and you'll be able to kill him. 
but the AI in this game can be a little bit funny. Hmm. Well, while we're waiting, maybe we'll just do this. Oh. There we go. All right. Oi. Hey, Shaz. Doing good, mate. Doing good. That happens sometimes, guys. You know, sometimes the AI will just be like, eh, we're just going to not enter the arena. Now, if you decide to do this one, just make sure you've got the Arbalist. Ping this guy twice. He'll die. Uh, if you have DNC on, this guy won't come out of GK and you'll be sweet. Human being! Thank you so much, sir. Appreciate the 23 months. Two, two years, almost. Almost! Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. How you been? All right. This is kind of bothering me. I'm not going to alter for. I probably will just do a kill AI uh, because it's soft lock. Serena went banana. Yeah, this happens. Nah, I think I'm going to have to uh, do a cheeky killage of the AI. Oh no, there we go. Ah, right, sweet. Very good. Let's have some fun, eh? Let's have a bit of fun. Bit of fun, eh? There we go. I don't recommend using D-Blade unless you're, you know, unless you've done a few runs and you know where all the spawns are and you're pretty confident. Uh, because it's very easy to get caught out by the game and take lots of damage. Like, this game basically punishes you if you don't keep your distance between the AI. If you don't set yourself up with positioning properly, the game will punish you. So that's where D-Blade is kind of just a, just a little bit more difficult to manage. So, you know, don't worry too much about, you know, doing crazy D-Blade hits and stuff, you know. The D-Blade ASMR skills will come, guys. Don't you worry. You too will be able to cause people to have a visual ASMR-gasm with time. It just takes practice. For now, just worry about trying to keep your stack high. You really don't want to take a lot of damage going into this next arena. Um, we're about to do the Mario's Restaurant Arena, which is where the Berserk is. It's basically the, this game's version of uh, Dead Simple. Pretty tough arena, so I'm really working hard to try and avoid taking damage going into it. I want to have as close to full health and armor as possible, and preferably ammo as well. Really want to be fully stacked going into this Mario's Restaurant Arena. So... Just get rid of this dude. Freeze him. There'll be an imp here. Yeah, nice metaler. Yeah, it's it's um it's a tough arena. It's very hard. You really want to go in with full stack. Um, Bloodfield is amazing here. Uh, Bloodfield is really, really, really good, right? Because you're going to get the berserk and you're going to move really fast. If you have seek and destroy. That's great too. Don't worry too much about savagery um, because when you're in a glory kill, the berserk time is, is paused. So it doesn't matter whether the glory kill is normal speed or fast. But seek and destroy is really, really, really good. So we might actually uh, pick it up here. It's going to allow you to snap onto things a little bit more easily. you got to learn to time when the berserk save it when the whiplashes come. Yeah, exactly, Metaler. You, uh, you really want to save it for when the whiplashes uh, arrive. So this is an ideal rune setup so you can destroy uh so you can hit things you don't have to get as close which can be really useful because a lot of the time you'll be walking to a whiplash and they'll do a ground attack and even with berserk you know you'll take damage which can really throw you off um blood fueled great because you get that speed boost <clears throat> so all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in kill a mancubus uh kill the arachnotron uh and then i'm gonna grab the berserk and i'm just gonna kill as much stuff as i can we'll go whiplashes Pinky Demon, um, and then we'll go uh, Cybermank, Prowler. Um, I, I wouldn't mind going into the kitchen as well. Kitchen's good to go into via the portal. The, the portal can be really good. Allow you to get into the kitchen and just get rid of some stuff in there as well. But it's 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 better to get rid of the Cybermanks and the Whiplashes and all that stuff. So, yeah, we'll get in, in there and we'll, uh, we'll get among it. We'll start off with the Rocket Launcher. Okay, and then this guy's going to come through. Just GK him. 
Okay, grab that. Now, one thing that's um, actually good is to drop grenades while you're under the influence of Berserk. Because what that'll do is it'll actually prolong the Berserk timer. So it doesn't matter if you kill them using a glory kill or if you kill them using a, a grenade. Because uh, either or will prolong the, the timer. All right, that's, that's all done. So now I need one Prowler, I think. One Prowler, and then this guy will spawn. Get rid of him. Go here. Go here. Go here. Go here. Go here. Go here. Nice. That's all she wrote. The greatest point-and-click adventure game ever made. Doom Eternal. Get rid of this dude. There we go. Yeah, that was that was good. So the the thing is, right? Seek and destroy makes that possible, right? Plus blood fuel. If you know the routing, you can you can make it very very clean. So again, I'll just run through it again. So you drop down. You basically drop down here. You rocket launch to this guy, maybe throw in an SSG at the end. Rocket launch to this guy, throw an SSG. Get rid of this Arachnatron. Grab the Berserk, jump back up, kill the Pinky Demon, kill the full Whiplashes, and then you want to look for a Prowler. And Prowlers will generally spawn either there or there. So you just want to kill one Prowler, and then once that one Prowler dies, the Cybermank will spawn here. Kill him. Take the portal. Kill the Pinky. Kill this Mank. And then kill this Mank. And then that, that's that's pretty much it. That's, that's all you got to do, really. It's a... To clear this room as quickly as as, uh, as as that. If you follow that that specific order with um with seek and, with seek and destroy and blood fueled on, you really can't go too wrong. Again, a bit more incidental combat, so always use the incidental combat to restack. I don't have to worry too much about this Arachnatron because he has no turret. And also, if you do two point blank super shotgun hits, uh, you can kill a Cacodemon that way. So you, if you want to, if you want to kill a Cacodemon that way, you just go bang, dead swap, straight back to the SSG. That's a, that's a quick way to kill a Cacodemon. Very expensive way to do it, but it is a way to do it. Um, you can skip a lot of shit here if you want. Um, there is a big like double ballista boost skip you can do here, where you just walk straight through that doorway from here. Uh, but we'll do the combat as though we were doing, you know, just a normal playthrough. Hey, Quarth, what's up? Yeah, I don't even remember a Revenant being there either. I guess we just skipped that that whole bit, right? Uh, bro, I think uh, you know, most people just walk straight through that. Quarth! Quarth! All right. But that's probably the hardest part of the level. Mario's Restaurant. If you can get that strategy down with the Berserk, it's a piece of piss, but... It can get out of control very quickly, um, mostly because of the whiplashes and the pinky demons and the manky. It's yeah, it's a really it's a tricky, tricky little arena. The the configuration of enemies is what makes that room so difficult. Grab the uh, grab that upgrade for the D blade. Have a bit of fun with the D blade. D blade's always good fun. Always good for a laugh. And it is a genuinely strong mod. You can use the D blade to insta kill uh, revenants, whiplashes. The D-Blade is very strong against Revenants and Whiplashes, so you can just delete them with the D-Blade. Uh, I've got about 1,700 hours, Bongo, but I've played lots of different content, mods, you know, done. I've done just about everything in this game in terms of single-player stuff. Yep, Carcasses too. Carcasses is a single charge as well, so very, very good to be able to do that to them. Heat Blast, really, really strong. <laughs> you want to use a D-Blade to mow your lawn? Nice. That would be... That would actually be... Just <laughs> just prone... Get the D-Blade prone down on the side of your lawn and just let it go all the way across. sure he's actually dead all right this arena this arena is not that tricky 
this arena is actually pretty pretty easy uh the thing that will get you is the pinkies because they are the main thing that will disrupt your flow in this arena especially considering that the pinkies get spawned in locations that don't have a lot of room around them so uh all i would suggest is you should try to take this fight over to a different area of the room when the pinkies are there or you could just delete them you know save up the frost bomb for the pinkies and just freeze them and then get rid of them with that use the frag grenades because it'll stun them and it'll let you get behind them um it's not a hard arena um it just it doesn't have that many tricky enemies in it i would suggest using the uh overdrive when the whiplashes appear you save it for the whiplash wave because they're probably the trickiest enemy in the whole room uh just about it's not a it's not a difficult room just come over here grab grab this doesn't really matter too much we basically got all of the really strong things just grab chrono strike doesn't matter too much hopefully you haven't tuned your d-blade to slice your house <laughs> um just get rid of the mancubus's uh arm cannons this is a good platform to be on because uh, a lot of the ai can't really hit you all right we've got a little bit of a lull so we're just going to chuck in a chainsaw here before things get really hectic again try to save uh try to Jesus. try to save the um uh try to try to save the frost bomb for uh the uh legit stuff like the uh pinky demons especially and we're just gonna keep doing laps we're just gonna keep doing laps meat hooking to stuff if you see the hell knight maybe throw in a bit of a shot on him but just keep moving keep moving get rid of him and then go back to moving okay another one use the rocket launcher completely whiff again keep moving and just keep keep doing laps keep doing laps keep doing laps okay so now this guy's rocked up so we're just gonna get rid of him okay now it's time for the whiplashes but we might just get rid of this guy quickly okay now the whip, whip now that the whiplashes are here i'm just gonna grab this gone drunk with power he's using the lock on burst to kill the fodder what a madman okay now we'll get some arachnotrons once i kill a few more fodder demons be one more spider let's get rid of that turret and that's all she wrote we got this boy so we'll get rid of him nice very nice and remember before we leave this room let's just chainsaw let's get some ammo because the, the last thing we want to have happen is go in the purple goo and then and then get wailed on by a hell knight <clears throat> now you can skip this stuff but if you mess it up just drop down here it's pretty easy to skip a lot of this stuff you know you just be boost backwards you can get to the end of this corridor without really aggroing anything but let's assume that we mess it up right let's assume that we get stuck in let's just jump in right just take your time no need to rush just use the chain gun shield it's no biggie freeze this dude and then just get rid of him it doesn't have to be stressful you can use the chain gun shield to not get not take damage from the projectile the fireball things on the walls um, if you get stuck in the drink here, let me just get rid of this dude. If you get stuck here, you can meat hook yourself out of it. So if you just meat hook and jump, if you meat hook and jump, then you can get out. So just let this guy come in and then meat hook and then just jump. There we go. And then, and then you're out. You can use that to get out of really shitty situations. Like say you don't want to fight that hell knight just freeze him whatever and then use a zombie and just meat hook up out of the goo cool all right now there's a really good opportunity to get another tick of the d-blade mastery here 
if you if you want to master the i think if you're if you're using the d blade you should really try to master it because the mastery is really quite strong it allows you to kill carcasses using like what is it 15 or 16 rounds of plasma just using that the one third of the of the uh oh you can't use weapon mods in that elevator for some reason uh you can use you can you can be really efficient with the d blade so it is good to to master it so we'll just uh start getting that done here now and then a cacodemon's gonna spawn so swap to the arbalist nice all right arbalist mastery is really really easy to do yeah totally boobs i think that typically uh ammo upgrades get put off until mars core for sure definitely the best way to go about it a uh, really easy way to do this encounter is just have the freeze grenade ready to go pull the gore nest drop the freeze bomb and just start winding up the d blade so we'll do that now pull the gore nest turn around throw it down swap to the frag grenade and that's that's all you need to do that's where d blade is really 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 strong you don't need more than 16 shells i beg i beg to dis i beg to disagree i beg to differ in fact but th that's a really really easy encounter if you just use the frost grenade combine that with the d blade you can clear it almost instantly yeah it looks effortless right yeah because it's just a puzzle it's just a puzzle you just gotta try out different 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 strategies and see what sticks the most bongo but uh that's that's usually how it gets done in the speed run is just to and that's another thing as well right if you're not sure how to do a certain combat piece watch how a speedrunner does it you know watch uh zai zamai if that ever happens to you just you need to press two keys one alt the other one f4 literally that's all you want to do <laughs> just alt f4 out. if the game stooges you like that there's no shame in doing it just alt f4 because this game does that sometimes imagine you were on a run right now i know right yeah imagine if you were doing a speed run but again what, what was the point i was making um yeah if you um if you're not sure how to do a certain piece of combat just go and watch one of the 100 un speed runs uh because it covers all the combat they do everything so you're always going to find what you're looking for just go and watch what they do and it'll give you some idea that's what i did with god of war 3 i was like how do they do this cerberus dog fight thing you watch that and that'll 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 clue you in that'll clue you in ah oh, shit sorry guys give me two seconds streaming is hard cool nearly done with art complex which again i think is probably the longest level in the game just about just a very very long level i think that crash gave you more fps be nice if it did you can land on the elevator you can fall down oh okay i i just didn't know boobs i didn't want to have the run go uh uh tits up no pun intended boobs right. it's like that plat it's like that elevator in cadenger sanctum again guys we just keep things really simple no need to do anything too flashy right if you don't have to do it then don't don't do it what can i say what can i say right i don't need any of this stuff so we're just gonna go in now if you got you should have three chainsaw pips because there's a lot of chainsaw petrol leading up to this oh not in cadenger in uh, uh titan's realm titan's realm so get stooged just gonna delete this dude with that okay i'm just gonna throw a grenade there because i don't want to accidentally chainsaw the soldier just get the soldier out of the picture. Alright. Now, I might try and save the frost bomb. Because I want to do some cool stuff. So, just wind that up. Man. Oh, look at the restack. Look at the restack. Look at this fool. What are you doing, mate? You alright? Maybe you need me to call the amber lamps, maybe? I'll call them, mate. I'll call them. 
There's also uh, a supercharge there. If you need to grab that, you can grab it. So you just want to drop down here, line this guy up. Bang, bang, bang. Get rid of this carcass first. Pull back. Just make sure the gore has fully disappeared as well. Sometimes uh, the rockets and the sticky bombs, when they collide with gore, they will blow up on the gore and not do any damage to the demon next to them. So like how that Mancubus's corpse was still here, just wait until it disappears and then then use the volley, right? Because otherwise it might hit the gore, the gore and do nothing to the whiplash. Yeah, it's in Titan's Realm. Titan's Realm elevator PTSD. Not a good feeling. You know, if you're not like super confident that you can get past all this stuff without taking a heap of damage, just, uh, you know, just de-risk the whole situation. And, um... Just grab yourself uh, the quad damage. Get rid of the mank first and then grab the quad. There's no shame in taking your time, right? You know? Just stay away from the purple goo. Stay as far away from that purple goo as you possibly can. Stay up in the air. Use the meat hook. Abuse the meat hook. Just whatever you do, don't stand in the purple goo. You can, of course, skip all of this stuff. You know, if you... Like, what I usually just do is just because it's the safe way to do it is I'll just stand here, get rid of some weak points, and then I'll go in. It's, it's you know, you can go ham if you want. You don't have to, though. And then uh, if you're feeling confident, though, just just grab, just meat hook one of the demons and just swing past everything. It's not the end of the world. If I was speed running, I would just skip all that combat. Everyone's favorite enemy, the Marauder. So, the best combo against a Marauder for ultimate, ultimate success is to always open with the Ballista. Always open with the Ballista. If you open with the SSG, sometimes the pellets won't connect and he won't get stunned. You're like, you need to do a minimum amount of damage to, call it, to get him to stun. And yes, you can do it with the SSG, right? But sometimes all the pellets don't connect and that's where you have problems, right? So I'm just telling the most, ba this is the most basic strategy, right? Is SS a ballista, SSG, ballista. That is the simplest thing in the world you, that you can do. There's lots of uh, other combos you can do. I personally, I do like PB Sticky. I really like PB Sticky. I think it's really cool. Um, but let's just do the most reliable thing that we can do, which is to just use the ballista and the SSG, right? So again, just wait for old mate to swing his axe. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. Typically the way it wor works is like, he will, he'll throw his axe and then he'll start running at you. When he's, when he's, once he's done those two things, he's definitely gonna swing his axe and his eyes are gonna turn green. So he'll, sorry, he'll throw his axe and then he'll start running at you and then he will swing his axe. And all you need to do is just manage your distance between you and him. Hmm, it, it appears that I'm leaving my flaming boots and flaming gauntlet behind. Yeah, it's, it's my, my, my flame's not connected to my body anymore. Oh. Anyway, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Oh, stars make the game of Looney Tunes? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. All right, guys, I'm going to take a five-minute break, stretch my legs, and then uh, when we come back, we'll do the rest of the game. Uh, you know, Mars Core, uh, Gladiator, Tarsnabard, Necrovol 1, 2, Buckle My Shoe, Erdak, uh, Willy Wally Bim Bam Eater, Tim Tam, Final Sin. So uh, don't go anywhere if you want to see the rest of the run because this will be a full run, and we'll get the rest of the game done, explain everything along the way, all the combat, enemy placements, tips for late game, all that sort of stuff. So uh, don't go anywhere. Just chuck some tunes on and uh, take a break because my legs are starting to get a bit, a bit cooked. All right, guys, enjoy enjoy some of Mick Gordon's greatest greatest tunes, and I'll be back in five.
All right, let's continue. Cool. So, only one of the best levels in the whole game coming right up. Uh, I'm certainly a big fan of Mars Core. I just think it's uh, such an awesome, awesome level um, with awesome pacing. The opening is just spectacular. Real sense of urgency right in the opening parts of the level. Just really, really, really good stuff. Um, so, yeah. Also, just amazing music, can I say. Really, really good music. Harry, what's going on? Uh, yeah, Doom 2016's multiplayer is really good. Good fun. Hey, Omar, what's up? Generally, not having flame connected to your body is a good thing. It is usually a good thing. Except when your, uh, you know, main jam with the skin is the flames coming off of it. Yeah, pretty much, Wodinski. It is a shame, but, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Um, cool. So, uh, what do you want to grab here, guys? We can... We can grab a couple of things. I'm not going to grab any of the survival environmental stuff. That's all good. Um, it might actually even be worth just holding out, waiting for that next suit token to come in, to roll in. And then I can pick up uh, both of these. I might, although, to be fair, I could just grab one now. Uh, we'll grab... Uh, we'll grab the faster frag cooldown. Why not? And then once I get another token, I'll pick up another frag grenade upgrade. Yeah, totally, Abominator. Totally. Like, battle mode is one of those things now where it's, uh, you know, unless you've been there from the start, kind of, or been doing it for a long time and getting crushed by a lot of higher skilled players, it's very difficult to get into. Can be difficult to get into. And the way you play it is totally different to the campaign. As Slayer, it's very different. What is there to say about this level? Um, what is it that's particularly challenging about this level in terms of the combat there's lots of barons that's tricky they can definitely spice things up a little bit there's a biggest pressure unit in the game they can chase you down you just you've got to have really good movement to deal with them um i don't know there's nothing there's no real uh there's no new real skills you need to take on board that you haven't already seen yeah i mean if you've got the uh ballista uh, the Arbalest upgraded, then you'll uh, need to put that to good use against the uh, paint elementals in the game. Again, guys, like, you always want to be burning. You always want to be using Flame Belch. Even when you've got full armor, you just should be using it on cooldown. You know, just, just bang. E either using it on cooldown or, uh, you know, meat hooking as much as possible. So let's just fix up our runes, make sure everything's good here. No, everything's good. Because I can get hit by stuff, but it doesn't matter. The armor that's already on the ground just co totally negates any damage I take. Nice. So PB SSG is really, really good against uh, against barons, but obviously you've got to be cognizant of how you're stunning them. It's a big part of the game I haven't really talked about much is staggering demons, uh, faltering them, staggering them, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you really don't want to PB SSG a Baron unless you've already grenaded them or frozen them or blood punched them because they'll just stand there and laugh at you and then hit you in the face. So you want to make sure that you've dropped a frag grenade at their feet or something like that. Make sure you're doing that. Make sure you're using the grenades when it makes sense. Barons, Mancubuses, Dread Knights. Uh, you really want to be putting those grenades down before you're going in and trying to do damage to them. Make a big, big difference. Also, make sure you turn the music up as loud as it goes. That's really important. That's the number one tip I can offer you guys, is turn the music up as loud as possible. Style on them. Styling on them.
Good opportunity to get another D-Blade tick here if it's usually so desire. Ah, oh, cheers, Ari. Yeah, that is correct. So with this Pain Elemental, he's going to pop up. Just ping him. Ping him again. That is the quickest way to get rid of Pain Elemental, is just use the Arbalest, just like that. You know, there, there's quicker ways, technically, if you know how to weapon swap. But if you're just doing your first runs, you know, if you're just trying to get your first run under your belt, the best way is to just use the Arbalest. So I don't have I don't have the frost grenade. That's not a problem. I have a, I have two frag grenades. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a blood punch charge. Drop the frag grenade, blood punch, and that's all you need to do. You gotta remember that all of the Doom Hunters later in the game have less health than the boss ones in the first wave, so they're easier to get off of their sled. And I think they have a Oh, um, no, I think they have even less health than the ones in the second wave. So, you know, if you don't have the frost grenade, it's it's not the end of the world. You don't have to wait for it to come off cooldown. You can just, uh, you know, use the heat blast to falter them, blood punch them, or use a grenade. Usually the heat blast or the, uh, or the frag grenade are the best options because uh, you don't have to get too close. And then going for the blood punch. And that should be, uh, that should get them off of their snowmobile. Again, guys, you, all of these sorts of rooms, this is where you restack. That's why rooms like this are here. If you don't want to do the platforming here, you can just meat hook one of these dudes. And if you haven't collected the chain gun already, if you didn't get the chain gun in Ark or in Super Gore Nest, I think it spawns over there. It spawns in this room somewhere. I think it's, I think it's there. But uh, yeah, you can collect it from here if you don't have it yet. Pretty useful. Now, there is a challenge to get rid of some Mancubus arm cannons here, so we just want to do that. And of course, now we're going to get the BFG, and we're just going to use the BFG straight away, but I'll see if I can get this. Damn it. Usually, if you're quick enough, you can get a chainsaw on that dude, which will just give you a bit of ammo for the next bit. Cool. All right. Um, I'm just going to do a little double ballista boost here to skip some of this. Nice. No need for me to do that platforming. Let's stack up for the next one. Again, all these incidental little areas, you should be using these to restack. Chainsaw, flame belch, glory kill, do all that stuff. All right. We're just going to go straight for the totem. It's always in the same place. Styling on him. Now, once you kill this dude, pretty sure that the mank should spawn so I'm just gonna get rid of one of his arm cannons and then we're gonna bfg the arena just because the way that the bfg ammo is is given to you the the, the areas in which you receive it uh it just makes sense to use it in these particular locations but the reason we get rid of that arm cannon is just so we get that mission challenge done so now i've got four suit tokens we'll go ahead and pick up scatter bombs and that's the grenades done now that the grenades are done, I'll pretty much just focus on uh, the, um, what is it, the essentials or fundamentals? I think it's fundamentals. We'll get these other two going, just focus on those. The environmental stuff can just come later. If you are, if you're feeling a bit, if you're worrying about barrels and stuff, then you can obviously go and get the thicker skin upgrade from uh, environmental. But you usually just want to go fundamentals. Change all this guy. You are probably, um, if you've gotten to this point in the game, if you've been doing most of the mission challenges and at least most of the Slayer Gates, 
you can start to take the foot off the pedal a little bit in terms of what you actually complete in the game. So you may not have to do the, the Slayer's Gate here because by this point of the game, you've probably got enough weapon tokens to get all of the, you know, really useful upgrades. You've probably got enough mission challenges done to get enough batteries and suit tokens and that sort of thing. So, you know, if you don't want to do the Slayer's Gate, you don't have to. Um, the Slayer's Gate is not hard. It's just difficult for all the wrong reasons because it's a, it's got a marauder in a room with lots of different points of elevation and stairs and narrow walkways, short walkways. It's just a really bad Slayer's Gate. So uh, if you do skip it, then I, I think it's, you know, if you just want to get the run done, it's probably wise to skip this one. see how much of a difference that equipment fiend makes to the uh, flame belt recovery every time i kill a demon with, with, while it's burning from the mastered meat hook you can see that cooldown just flash you can see how you can see how useful having equipment fiend is in terms of uh flame belch uptime oh totally string lord yeah completely agree it's a joke not a not a particularly uh, fun Slayer's Gate, that is for sure. Easy enough suit token to get. You should just come and grab this one. It's very, very easy to get. It's basically free. Just press the W key until you get to it. Yeah, the Dread Knights can make it a bit tricky. If you're playing at a pretty high frame rate, they can be quite uh, annoying to deal with. Not the end of the world, but uh, also not the most fun things. So the thing that makes this... This is totally optional. You don't have to do this. But if you do decide to do it, the thing that makes it tricky is the Whiplash. Because the Whiplash doesn't really have a spawn in animation. Like most demons in this game, they have like a sort of a flare that appears around where they're going to spawn. The Whiplash in this arena just appears. And it's also quite difficult to see, depending on your monitor settings. So just bear that in mind. Kind of tricky. Yeah, it just, it just appears. It just magically appears. So. I'm going to use this guy to get another Arbalist tick. Another thing you can do as well. So, you know, that Kako Demon, if you ping it with an Arbalist, if you get a meat hook on it before it dies, it will it will drop armor. So, kind of a little nice way to get some extra... Extra, am, uh, extra armor. Yeah, well, they don't give you trouble until they give you trouble. The Dread Knights in the Exalted Slayer Gate, they, all it really takes is one good hit from them, and then you're on the back foot again. All right, again, just trying to restack between encounters, so... Check your armor, check your health, check your ammo. Just make sure you're refueling in between fights. A big part of this game is just restacking between fights, using the incidental combat to get resources back. All right. Oh, uh, a while ago. Talk. I haven't played Classic Dooms for a while. Yes, thank you, Doom. Very cool. So I drop a frag grenade behind this guy. And then I get close enough to do something else. Uh, the blood punch didn't register, but that's okay. Now I'm nearly, nearly got another frag grenade. Just get rid of this guy. So that's unfortunate. Really, just trying to make sure that I'm not getting too close to the barons outside of when they're bolted. And again, see how see how I'm trying to restack now that the arena is basically completed. So I try to restack all my ammo, armor before before I finish the whole fight. I 
I think the, the biggest thing with pain elementals is paying attention to when they're about to throw uh, a lost soul at you. Because uh, if you can, if you know when that's coming, you can make your life a lot easier. A little bit low on ammo, so we're just gonna give this guy a haircut. Now, there's a few ways you can get across this thing here. You can uh, ballista boost across. You can probably, you could probably do this with double jumping and dashing. We'll do a ballista boost. As you can see, you can get quite far. Uh, up we go. All right, maybe not. There we go. Yeah, you should get some sleep, Lubas. I don't know how you do it. So this, this bit right here, another really great example. Like if you had flame belts ready to go, uh, you could uh, flame belt all these guys. Get it off cooldown. Huge restack, right? Massive. Little cheeky shortcut. Let's put B boost backwards around that. You don't have to do any of this combat. You can just skip all this combat if you want. The pain elementals and the soldiers are usually in fighting. Cranky, thanks for the raid. Appreciate that, sir. How was your stream? I hope it was good. What was on the menu today, sir? Um, with this thing, we'll come back to it later. Don't take this crystal now. Take it later. If you're doing the Slayer's Gate, but heck, even if you're not doing the Slayer's Gate, come back for it later. Just don't forget to get it. Nice. Oh, yeah, look out. All right, we're just going to quickly change to one of these guys. All right, so this Slayer's Gate. Um bit of a meme it's uh it's not difficult it's just tedious there's a few different things you can do with this slayer's gate uh you can actually bfg the marauder so if you stun him and then shoot the bfg at him straight away as long as you're about <clears throat> two meters away from him no more uh it'll hit him and kill him so that's one way to do it a much better way to do it in my opinion it's always worth trying you know, but you're generally speaking, the second wave, you don't really need to BFG the second wave. Because it's pretty, it's easy enough to kill those Hell Knights. It's not a big deal. So we'll just, we'll, we'll try to do this BFG thing. Uh, it's been a while since I've done it. So you just, I think you just kind of set up over here. That's all you do. So you just kind of set up roughly that far away from him. And you, you need to be about two meters. Because if you're too far away... Uh, he'll recover while the projectile is moving through the air. He'll recover and he'll bring up his shield. So you need to actually be like about two meters away from him. That works on the current patch as well. So you don't have to down patch for that at all. This is all on the latest patch as of uh, the 24th of January. That's all she wrote. If you uh, miss the BFG shot, you're just going to have to deal with him in the normal way, which typically involves fighting him uh, around here. If you fight him around here, this is, I, I think, the best spot. If you can get him to run through that uh, those armor shards. But try to land the BFG shot because he's just a pain in the ass to deal with otherwise. Anyway, carrying on. Um, another opportunity to get another D-Blade tick here. I still don't know why that uh, that's not fixed. D-Blade is kind of useful. It's nice to have, right? It can make some arenas a little bit easier, but it requires a lot of prior knowledge. You really need to know what you're getting yourself in for. Now, um, 
Oh, I'm gonna have to wait till I get FT, aren't I? No, oh, rip. I missed the crystal. Remind me to go and get the crystal at the end of level. What you should do is don't do what I did. Uh, what you should be doing is going and getting the crystal after you do the Slayer's Gate. And then you can come to this arena and you can just BFG the first wave of the arena. But uh, because I don't have that, I'm going to have to do this arena somewhat legit. Basically, if you use the BFG right at the start of this arena, um, there's a Baron that just doesn't spawn, which makes it so much easier. Uh, That's okay. <clears throat> One Baron ain't no ain't no thing but a chicken wing, as the kids say. Now we should get a couple of uh, could should get a Dread Knight and a Hell Knight. Yep, there's the Dread Knight, so just get rid of him. And get rid of this guy. And then what you want to do... Is just come over here, delete this bloke. Let's get Blood Punch. Cool, so... Let's drop that. Just taking that little bit of time to get Blood Punch ready to go can make this guy a lot easier to deal with. Cool. So... This is a really good opportunity to get ticks on the um, Arbalist if you want to. Otherwise, you can just volley, throw a BFG down this this, belt, this little area. The choice is yours. You control the buttons that you press, guys. All right, so make sure when we get to the FT point here, we actually FT back and grab the crystal. All right, there we go. So we're just going to go back to Meteor. Uh, I think it's Delta Labs, right? Doom 3 throwback. So just head back. The reason you get the crystal after doing the gate is so that you can benefit from the ammo refill from the uh, BFG. For the BFG. Also have a suit point in the BFG fan room. Mm. You're probably not wrong. But uh, I think at this point we're all Gucci. Yeah, I've pretty much got everything that I need. So I'm just going to get on down to the Temple of Sin and get jiggy with it. Damn, Daniel. Nice. Correct boobs, yeah. Yeah, so Gladiator. Um, when this game first came out, this guy was like a massive uh, brick wall to get through on UN. You know, he was he was really tough because he didn't really understand many of the metas of the game. So he was a super challenging boss when the game first came out. And, and many people kind of thought, well, if you can beat this guy, basically you can probably finish the whole run, essentially. Now we know a lot more. Um, we know a lot more about, uh, you know, using the meat hook to stay up in the air. We know uh, a lot more about different weapon swapping combos like PB Ballista, this sort of thing. We also understand there's one really important thing you need to understand with this boss is that phase one and phase two are very different in terms of how you should approach it as a player. Phase one is very much about uh, reacting to what he's doing. So, you know, you need to shoot him when his eyes turn green, that kind of thing. Um, but phase two is you need to un unleash a little bit more. You need to do more, be more proactive and hit him with more combos and, you know, just, just try to obliterate him as quickly as possible. Um, so phase one is more about, okay, I'm just, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Okay, he's done the attack. All right, now I can shoot him in when his eyes turn green. 
and then I can get behind him, and as he comes out, I can, you know, do a rotation or whatever, right? And you really need to focus on meat hooking and, and moving around the arena, using the meat hook, using the meat hook to go up in the air, doing different combos while you're up in the air. So, not... You don't, you don't want to be... You don't need to smash him too hard in phase one. Obviously, you need to smash him, but you need to react more to what he's doing. Whereas phase two, you need to be more proactive. You need to be just dropping dropping all kinds of combos on him as much as possible the lock the rocket launcher lock on used to be really strong so you'll still see a lot of speedrunners who are on an older version of the game use the, the lock on nowadays not as strong not quite as strong still really good but you're better off doing it, it, this guy's all about long range don't try to like ssg ballista uh don't try to use the ssg too much just use it for mobility use the meat hook and focus more on long-range combos like PB Rocket, PB Ballista. That sort of stuff is really quite strong. So... Oh, wow. My man just instantly came out. So... What you're going to want to do is really focus on uh, a couple of things in Phase 1. Meat Hook on cooldown onto Imps and other fodder demons. Meat Hook on cooldown. Try to get as much armor pulls on the ground as you can. Right? So, just try to meat hook as much as possible. There's no fodder, so I'm not meat hooking. I'm just going to wait for him to do an attack. Okay, so while he's like this, you can do this. You can, if you need health, do it, glory kill him. Otherwise, just get behind him. And then rinse repeat. Okay, he's dropped some bullshit. So, we're going to freeze all that stuff. Wait for him to go again. I think, I think because I've got Dazed and Confused on, he's taking a little bit longer to come out. We'll just leave DNC on. See, look at all these resources. If he hits me, I just walk over that and I'm good. So we're just back to... Okay. All I'm trying to do is meet Hook and kill everything as it appears. You want armor everywhere. He's going to do an attack soon, you can tell. Okay. Again, look at all the armor. Look at all the armor on the ground. He literally can't do shit to me. If he hits me, I'm just going to get it all back straight away. So I've been, been hit. Let's just drop a BFG here. Oh, well, there you go. So another thing as well, I can do that. And the BFG ammo will get replenished going into the next phase. So I should get all of my BFG ammo back when it transitions into the next phase. Yeah, exactly. Like Boob said, you can damage him while he is bolted or staggered. You know, when he's flashing to do the glory kill, um, he uh, is damageable, but it's just, it's a very small amount. It's almost not worth it for the chainsawing. So I've just gotten all my BFG back. When he's doing, when he's doing this bullshit, there's a few things you can do, right? This is, tends to be how, uh, this is the domino effect. This whole like shield bullshit. When he does this, there's a couple of things you can do. You can use the energy shield on the chain gun. You can time it. So you know when he's about to drop his shield and do a double mace swing, whatever. Just bring up the energy shield on the chain gun. Or you can also chainsaw a fodder demon because that'll give you iframes. So that's one way to do it. Uh, if you're good at ballista boosting, you can just ballista boost backwards. So he'll try to like push towards you and you can just ballista boost backwards. I'm not going to get too close to him in phase two. Just play it safe. Just stick to, just do long range stuff. Just stick with long range. So I don't have anything, right? I didn't have any plasma ammo, so I couldn't ballista boost. So you just walk in with the shield up. Just walk in with the shield up. And... Um... To do what you need to do, right? Just, just you just want to trigger him to do that ability. If you're not very confident with your weapon swaps either in that phase when he's doing the jumping ropes, <clears throat> just sit behind the chain gun shield and just pose him down with the chain gun. You'll still do a little bit of damage to him. Um, but uh, it's um, it's not as much as if you were doing, you know, PB Rocket or PB Ballista or whatever, right? I generally just don't really use the SSG very much in that second phase. I just stick to combos that 
work at range. That's the best way to avoid getting hit by him is just that long range hit scan combo. How do I do this on controller? What you do is you see that legend in the chat, Saint Animositus, named MMA Fro, is you click on his name and you click follow. And that is how you learn how to do this on controller. I cannot help you in that department, my good man. I mean, all the same stuff still applies, but it's just, it's just different. It's all very different. Yeah, Fro is the controller guard. All right, how close am I to getting this Forsaken, 60 Forsaken skin? Nah, not yet, Hannibal. I'm working on it. I'm working on it, mate. Come on, give me, give me a break here. Cut me some slack. All right. <clears throat> Any moment now. Hey. I've got to get onto the backs of my boosters. Got to get them working. All right. Cool. And that is Gladiator. So now we're into pretty much the final stretch of the game. Not really much to add to this particular bit. Just, you know, just cut sick, basically. Just like an absolute unit. Rip and tear all these demons to pieces. Where's this guy going? The Fortnite. He's loading in now. Queued up with 10-year-old Timmy. Cross-playing on Xbox. <coughs> I think it's per level. I think it's different for each level. Um, yeah, I get you get 30k for uh, for that one, but I think you get different um, different uh, amounts for different levels. Cool, Taras Nabard, the introduction of the Arch Vial. This is also a tricky level because it uses a lot of pain elementals, so. If you've gotten a good handle on how to abuse jump pads and use the meat hook to get up in the air and stay in the air, this level will definitely throw you for six because, like I said, it uses lots of pain elementals, but all you need to concentrate on is using the uh, the Arbalist. Just get, get him out of there and then go back to being up in the air and just being an absolute dominator. So, uh... Yeah, I think that's the, really the main thing with this level is is knowing when the arch vials the arch vials uh, are going to rock up. Pretty much what you want to do is just chainsaw this guy. Come down here. We'll grab the little battery that's down here, even though I don't particularly need it. All right, so we're going to get a Marauder here. Marauder's no big deal. We'll just deal with him how we should deal with Marauders, which is to disrespect all over them. Maybe we'll do some PB stickies. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling a bit of PB sticky action. In fact, actually, let's let's talk about this guy a bit, right? Because he's a bit of a scumbag. Get rid of this Kako Demon. So you see how, you see how he's getting shot in the back? What you're witnessing is one of the greatest uh, design decisions in this video game, which is to make Marauders react to friendly fire. So you're not actually, I'm not actually shooting him, but I'm getting punished because the uh, mecha zombies are shooting him in the back. So obviously that's a problem. We're going to get rid of the mecha zombies first. We're not going to kill the Marauder first. So just ignore this guy. Do a little, little bit of PB sticky action. Get him out of here. Get him out of here, Bavarian. I don't want to hear about it being a feature. It's not a feature. Not a feature. If it is a feature, it's a bad feature. And it should be deleted from the video game. All right. Very cool. Very cool. What do you know? Now, really important is to use this incidental combat to prepare for the first arch vial. Try not to use your frost grenade. Uh, if you do, just wait for it to come off cooldown before you go into this next arena. Uh, once I get the map to reveal the, the shape of this next room, I'll walk through it a bit more. But right, let's just come up here. Try and be efficient. Don't kill that. Don't kill that zombie because we're going to chainsaw him. 
Might even burn him. Cool. Alright, so... Can I see this room yet? Maybe I have to drop down. I'll drop down. We'll get the map revealed, hopefully. See how we go. Uh, hasn't really revealed, but that's okay. So the Marauder can basically spawn in, I think it's like one of three places. He can either spawn right here, over here, or over here. He'll be in one of those three places. And uh, your job is to identify where that arch file is. And usually the best spot to see from is either on top of one of the pillars here, if you can get on it. But if you can't get on the pillar, then just go up to the King Novik statue and just stand there and watch. Once you know where that arch vial is, I hope you've been practicing your ballista boosts. You just want to ballista boost straight to that arch vial and drop a frost, frost bomb right on his face. So that's what we're saving the frost bomb for. So we're going to head in. I'm going to ballista boost to the King Novik statue. Okay, so he's going to spawn over here. So I'm just going to head up. And that's all, that's all she wrote. If you can do that, that's that's what you need to do. Like just just literally get here and just look. Usually it's gonna be there or there, but sometimes you might get a bit unlucky and he ends up over there. <laughs> just use a BFG. Like if you really if you're really worried, just use a BFG shot. Just shoot shoot it up there. And then while the BFG projectile is moving through, just start just throw some ballista PB rounds at him while it, while the BFG has him stunned. Because uh, by the time you get to him, it, like he'll have summoned some stupid shit, which just makes it really hard to recover. So just, just delete him. Just delete him. All right, there's a bunch of secrets here, so we'll get those. I think this one gives you a battery. Nantrol, legend. You absolute juicer. Raft juicer, tomb raider juicer, doom juicer, Nantrol, the bong lord himself. Thanks for the raid, my good man. String Lord coming in with the five five pack. We get some Debo Smees in the chat for the String Lord dropping the big love on the channel. Thank you so much, String Lord. Appreciate that, dude. No worries, man. It's my pleasure sharing all this information. Thank you again, Nantrol, for the raid. Legend. What were you playing today? Prince of Persia. My goodness. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, Red Beard, Northerny, Tyke, Aliso, Gearhead, 1849, and the Llama Loose. The Llama Goose on the Loose. Enjoy. All right, so, uh, Mastery Token. Um, with this guy, um, I would suggest uh, putting it towards 5 Spot. 5 Spot is really nice. It's just going to let you clear out things a little bit quicker. Uh, you know, longer PB sticky combos if you've got the hang of that. It's just a it, pot's five spot is really, really good. Like, it's legit. It is legit. It's really, really decent. Um, we'll upgrade this now. Might as well get that going as well. Um, this jewel lock, no good. Don't bother with this at all. Like, it's actually not worth it. Um, this stuff will get mastered naturally. You'll just, you'll just get this. Um, same with this as well. The rest, of the, yeah, the, it, you'll you'll probably end up getting all the masteries that you need. We might as well grab a thicker skin and this. Yeah, cheers, String Lord. Thanks for that, man. And again, yeah, didn't have to do that, but I appreciate it. All right, so now you might want to get the mission challenge here done. Painkiller. It's a real pain in the ass. No pun intended. But one way to make it easier is to shoot three, do a lock-on burst volley. And then do uh, a normal uh, a normal ballista shot, and then precision bolt hit. I don't have much ammo, so this could be a little bit, a little bit funky. But we'll see how we go. So again, bang. That's all she wrote. Very nice. Just remember that that zombie is in, is involved in the secret encounter. But yeah, so again, lock on burst volley, uh, primary fire from the ballista, and then precision bolt will 
pretty much always put a pain elemental into glory kill you can use that for all of them it is a little bit funny finicky though it is the bane of uh 100 un uh runners existence neat little trick there you can shoot from that angle i just shot from you can rewind back get that angle you can just skip this whole uh whole little section very nice Do, 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 do. Again, we want to use the combat in between the arenas to restack. Nice. Yeah, less plumbing. Less plumbing, less fooling around. There's also a secret here. You can get this if you want. Doesn't really confer anything. You're, you've reached the point of the game where you have mechanically basically everything you need to finish the game uh except for the crystals of course but we'll get those you don't really need to be 100 percenting the levels anymore but there are some easy challenges that you can get done like uh if you need if you need more tokens or you need batteries you know this is an easy one this is an easy one Th these two are basically free this one's a bit trickier just keep picking up the codexes and freezing demons right this arena so uh, an easy way to do this arena is to use a BFG round. So we've got two BFG shots right now, and there's a there's BFG ammo in this arena. So what we're going to do is we're just going to meat hook this guy and freeze him and delete him. And then we're going to BFG here. They throw a frag grenade so that he's faulted, walk up, blood punch him, and then just finish him off with a lock-on burst volley. And that, that's the easiest way to do that room. No ifs, and or buts. That is the easiest way to do it. And, you know, why wouldn't you do it that way? There's a BFG round right there. Just use the BFG round. Yeah. And, and I mean, if you want to get the glory kill challenge, you know, you can always risk it for the biscuit and go for that pain elemental. He's not that hard to kill, actually. The pain elemental, if you decide to go for the pain elemental for the glory kill, he spawns pretty much right there. So you just come out the door, hang a left, and just bang, bang, bang. Do that same combo. Lock on burst. Uh, ballista precision bolt. Yeah, this is a pretty tough level on your first UN. Just the, the arch files make it tremendously difficult. Okay, there's another skip here. Uh, if you just kind of back up against this wall and aim, you sort of aim above the rad suit symbol and that'll unlock this door. You can just go straight through. You don't have to do any of the puzzles and anything like that. Nah, no DLCs tonight, unfortunately. I, Unfortunately not, Max. Nah, it's going to be a little too long of a stream. Uh, we'll get the Slayer's Key now, but we're going to use the speed run route, and we're going to come back and do the, the gate once we've got the Crucible. Just makes things a little bit easier. Oh, I don't have this upgraded yet. So you really want to get rid of a carcass. If you see a carcass... You really want to get rid of them as a priority because they'll just ruin everything else that you're trying to do and just generally be an absolute nuisance. So again, just trying to just trying to take advantage of uh, being up in the air. That guy's still under the effect of the grenade. So we take advantage of that and go in for a blood punch. Let's get rid of this dude. Now, if you don't have... If you don't have an ice bomb for an arch file... You can, uh, you can use a frag grenade. A frag grenade will allow you to set up some damage window, some uh, damage combos. You don't have to have the frag grenade for the arch file. It does make a big difference. But if you know how to take advantage of... Um, if you know how to take advantage of the frag grenade window and get in some combos, you can delete him that way. Otherwise, you can just use the BFG because there's a BFG around here. It's one way to do it. There's many ways to do it. Many, many, many. Many, many, many. Many men have no small me. Um, yeah, we can do this one. Just get rid of one of the mecha zombies here. Or maybe get rid of both of them if you get the chance. Because uh, they will just um, cause the Marauder to... Well, or even just regular Geo will cause him to not behave. Try to pull him into this corridor here. Where there's... Fewer things for his little peepo G brain to get stuck on.
So a lot, a lot of the marauders in this level are about positioning. The first one, you want to pull him as far away from the mecha zombies as possible down into that little circular platform before the bridge at the start of the level. Uh, that one, you kind of want to pull him into the, the corridor off to the side here because otherwise it's like a ring around the rosy. Literally ring around the rosy and he will get stuck on shit and it's just annoying. So just try to pull him over here if you can. Much easier. And then it's the same with the, the third one that's coming up. You want to pull that guy as far away from the stairs as possible, pretty much. Hey, Chebros. Hey, you going, mate? Um, so I'll show you what I mean with this, with this Marauder. Let's grab the, uh, let's grab the token. Got a lot of things that we don't really, we've got a lot of money, but what are we going to spend it on? Might as well just grab this one. Grab the Marauder toy, just because. Yeah, big giant oversized Oreos Bavarian. Massive. Swollen. Uh, so Frost Bomb this um, Cyber Obi. Cyber Mancubus. Just get him out of here. Lock on burst this bloke. Now, I'm going to bring up the chain gun shield because I can see the whiplash in the peripheral and I can see the Caco Demon right on top of me. Thanks to DNC, this Caco Demon will still be stunned, so I can just I can ignore him for a little while. So Marauder spawned now. So with this guy right, just ignore this Marauder for as long as you can. You know, use just kill a bunch of shit. And try to fight him here. Try to avoid fighting him on this mound or on these stairs. Um, just bring him into this area down here. Oh my god. Funny game. Yeah, I think I think Bavarian. It's a the battle mode uh, community really discovered a lot of techniques in this game that are quite useful for um, single player, and one of them is the the meat hook into PB because it's so efficient. Um, you know, managing your ammo in, in battle mode is, is a really big deal. So um, yeah, you really need do need to be uh, as efficient as possible. Um, with this bit, just um, ignore this pain elemental from the get go. Just get rid of this bloke first. Now, I'm pretty sure there's another one. You get caught, just um, whip out the chain gun shield. So I'm kind of a little bit banged up at the moment. So just trying to get rid of... Uh, you can skip all this combat if you want to. I'm just showing you guys how to do it. So you really just want to, you know, try to stay away from... Or use line of sight to not get whipped by this pain elemental. He's actually going to let me glory kill him, except I think I just did the same glory kill. Rip. But yeah, you can uh, you can just totally skip all this shit if you don't want to do it. It's up to you. Again, just trying to use grenades as much as possible to keep the pinkies faulted. Should really never try to approach a pinky demon unless they're faulted. Unless, you know, you have, you're you confident that you can just jump over them and use air control to get behind them. Generally speaking, you just always want to make sure you've got that frag grenade ready to go because uh, otherwise they'll give you a world of pain. All right. I can't even remember what spawns here. If you really want to disrespect a pinky, just do that to them. Bring up the chain gun shield, right? And uh, just start single tap dashing into their booty. They don't like it, all right? They just stand there and they, they can't do anything. It's great. Let's get rid of this guy. Oi! Oh my god, this game, bro. Where did this guy come from? Oh my god, this is going great. Classic Doom Eternal moment. All right. All right. 
<sighs> Alright, where's the fodder at? <laughs> Goes to show how many times I've actually done the combat in this area. I totally forgot it. Um, yeah, so... Sometimes if you if you want to get a pinky into a glory kill state, maybe it's for a mission challenge or something, you just bring up the shield and just single dash into them. And if it's upgraded, uh, if it's upgraded, then uh, you'll fall to them and then eventually they'll go into glory kill. The Spectres have less vulnerability or do you not have shield bash yet? No, they're, they're, I think it, I think they take less damage to get into falter. Thanks, Lee's paid. Oh, well, there you go. Bang, bing, baggity, boo. There's the answer. Um, yeah, it's it, it's quicker. Uh, but they both... You can do it to both. Normal pinkies and spectres the same. How much ammo have I got? Loads of BFG ammo. Could have, could have just BFG'd then. Uh, probably with this one, we'll come back to this one later at the end of the level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the BFG and then I'm going to use the crystal to get an ammo upgrade to get all my BFG ammo back. And then I'll take that BFG ammo into the Slayer's Gate. So we've basically got like two BFG shots between here and the end of the level, more or less. Every time I go into that now, I always think it's the master level and I think there's going to be a Hell Knight that's just going to gank me. Gets me every time, Bavarian. Not really too much to say at the moment. You know, it's just, you just go from one room to the next. Um, pretty much the, the stuff we've got left is obviously the final arena. And really the only thing with the final arena is you just need to know when the Archvile and the Pain Elemental and the Baron spawns. More so the Pain Elemental and the Archvile and just use the Crucible. The only thing is you need to make sure you've got three, well, you want to have ideally six Crucible charges left in the arena at the end because you'll want to pick up three for the Slayer's Gate and then you'll want to pick up an additional three before you leave the level and then you'll have, uh, you know, maxed out Crucible charges for Necrovolt. Just make our way through. Um, You can skip half the combat on the way to the end of this level. So I am going to skip that. Um, and I'll show you a little trick here. So if you just kind of land on this little ledge here and then aim at this... You want to aim at this little pool here, this this shape right here. But the most important thing is you need to be standing on or behind, like pretty much behind this brick and you just shoot there and then... Uh, and that's it. And then it basically allows you to skip half the combat. That awkward moment when you don't have a uh, blood punch. Yeah, I'm, I'm, they actually kind of temporarily, indirectly fixed it for a while, and you couldn't do that skip anymore. But then they they reverted it. It was actually totally unrelated. It was some battle mode thing that got into the single player game, Animositus. Cool. So that's all done. Um, we don't have to do the other side. We do that skip. That's just. I mean, you know, it is what it is, right? Like it's the combat doesn't contribute to the combat rating, so why do it? It's also just not that interesting. So we'll just um save some of the crucible charges for later on. <clears throat> Get rid of these demons. And then I think uh, our, our good mate, the pain elemental, is going to rock up pretty soon. Yeah, he has rocked up. Okay, we'll try. I'll try and get the glory kill on him. Might have already gotten that one. Oh no, cool. So at this point, um, I would just recommend using the crucible. There's loads of it. Ignore that guy. Go for the archvolt. Way more important. As soon as you see that archvile, drop a frost bomb on him, drop a frag grenade, and just cut him in half because he's way more trouble than the than the barons are. So again, what we're going to do is we're just going to get three crucible charges. 
And then we're going to go head down to the catacombs. <clears throat> and we're just going to go do the Slayer's Gate. But you put... This is huge, right? Do the Slayer's Gate at the end of the level. Once you have the Crucible. It makes it... It trivializes the whole gate. It makes it so easy. And, uh, you know, then you can say you did all the Slayer's Gates, right? This is the, the last one, so... Freeze this dude. <clears throat> Delete him. That was weird. Okay, anyway. Yeah, buddy. There we go. Nice one. Yeah, I don't need to glory kill this guy, so we'll just delete him. Um, do uh, feel free to get rid of that weak point. So now you're going to get Prowlers, and then after these Prowlers, you'll get Whiplashes. So, let's do that. And then the Tyrant's going to spawn. So, just do that to him. You can crucible. You, you can crucible the. Um, you can crucible the, uh, the the Manx if you want. It doesn't really matter. You should have heat. There's lo look down at the map down there. You can see all the crucible charges. There's loads there, so you can you can do more crucibling there if you really want to. So now that I've expended the BFG, I'll go and get the ammo crystal, which will give me all my BFG. Well, I don't really need to, but because uh, I'm going to get the. Let's say you didn't do all the Slayer's Gates. This would be really handy because it'll give you all your BFG ammo back. Um, but when I go back to the fortress, because I've got all of the keys, um, I'll be able to, uh, you know, uh, get some, get all my BFG ammo back by getting the Unmaker. Uh, so, because I don't really need all the ammo, I'm just going to take HFE. Uh, it doesn't hurt, so... If I needed the BFG ammo, I would take it. I would take the ammo upgrade, but it's kind of pointless because you get a crystal right at the start of Neck One, the uh, Necrovol One. So it's like, it's 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 like neither here nor there, and all I have are ammo upgrades now. So cool. So make sure before you leave, pick up pick up all the crucible charges. Just make sure you've got three before you leave, because it will carry over into the next level. Oh, hey, Kent Ninja, what's going on? All right, sweet. So, Neck 1, Neck 2, Erdak, Final Sin. Uh, Neck Revol's not terrible. I think Taras Nabard's probably easier. Uh, probably harder, sorry. Um, but it does help to know where the Arch Files are. You know where the Arch Files are? Uh, you, you can do God's work. Literally. Get him out of here. Yeah, good Kent Ninja. I think uh, just got the Marcher Gad. So, uh, about 30-something souls, and I've got the Marcher Gad, so doing well. Usually get the neck one crystal at the end of the level. That's a good idea. Uh, if there is a final sin, where is the first sin? Well, according to some random book, it happened in the garden in the Middle East somewhere when someone ate an apple they weren't meant to eat. That was the first sin. You could say things have escalated since then. We've gone from eating apples off of trees to killing giant demons the size of skyscrapers. All right. Um, cool. Pariah? Pariah Carey? Namaste, you bastard. Okay. Um, let's do it. So you don't actually need to do all the combat here. You can just kind of skip all of this combat. There's no, you know, wall stopping you from leaving. So just get rid of that turret, meat hook up. Just ignore all this stuff. Just skedaddle along. We'll go get the crystal later on. Straight through. Meat hook around. Grab the armor. There's not really a whole lot to say, except, you know, just um, when you jump down here, go for this monkey bar. And then just sort of hover around here till this bloke spawns. Drop an ice bomb on him. Delete him out of existence. And that's all she wrote. Just kill everything, basically. Just delete it all. Out of the game. Catch you later, alligator. Uh, one thing that's really helpful is if you can leave this room with three chainsaw pips. There's a pip There's a pip there. There's a few pips on the way to this are arena. So you don't have to worry too much. But if you can try to... Um, 
you could try to leave with a full, all three chainsaw pips, it's going to make Calabas a lot easier. And you'll see why when I get to Calabas. I don't lose any frames per second when I'm streaming because I have a two PC uh, setup. So I don't do any encoding on this machine at all. At all. Just give this guy the, the old fly swatter. Get some armor back there. Scrub tier speed run strats, as in not using strats at all. Obviously, another cha another chainsaw pip there as well. How is audio mixing? Oh, as long as you've got a mixer, you'll be sweet. <clears throat> are there any tricks linked to FPS count? <clears throat> Some B hops are easier. Some yeet hooks are easier to do at a higher frame rate. <clears throat> but it comes at a cost, you know, enemy AI or uh, the AI in the game are much more random, much more inconsistent. Okay, so we've got the three chainsaw pips, right? So what we're going to do is we're just going to focus on the eyeballs <clears throat> and we're going to do um, rocket. We're going to do, uh, I think it's Arbalist Rocket Precision Bolt. Arbalist Rocket Precision Bolt. So I'm just going to get the Arbalist out or the Ballista out now, start charging the Arbalist. Just holding down mouse two right now. And down we go. Just watch for the first one. So do precision bolt. So do arbalist, then precision bolt. Because the swap speed is just that little bit quicker. So there goes that one. Again, arbalist, precision bolt, rocket. Okay, now I need ammo. And I need this guy to die. So we'll just kill two birds with one stone. And that's, that's all she wrote. So again, arbalist. Precision bolt, rocket, and that'll do the job. And just chainsaw the first pain elemental and then just ignore the second one. And you just want, when you feel that platform going out from underneath you, just jump in the one in the back. It's no big deal. Just try to stay in the middle and alternate between the back platform and the front platform. As soon as you feel it going, you just, you just change it up. Pancaked. 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 My goodness. My goodness. All right, it's time to humiliate some some pinkies. Boop, boop. Uh, 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 uh. 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 <laughs> what am I doing to that spectre? I'm trying to create a Slayer, a Spectre Slayer, crossbreeding the Slayer with the Spectre, Spectre Pinky. All right. Anyway, let's go down and do this one, shall we? So you just basically want to pop this, have the rocket launcher out, get the rocket launcher out, right? Lock on. Goodbye. That's all she wrote. That's literally all you need to do. Yeah, it can, yeah, it can kill them. It's actually very effective against them, to be honest. It's actually overly effective, I would say. Okay, this arena, I have died in this arena. My, one of my first UN runs that went the distance, I died in this arena. Mostly because the Archvile ground attack actually came up and hit me while I was in the air, but that's besides the point. This is a really important arena to not fuck up. Um, it's very easy to die in this arena. So when you go in, uh, you'll make your way in and I think you'll kill a couple of demons. Maybe, uh, I think there's like one heavy demon and then a Dread Knight appears on the opposite corner from which, from which you enter. You kill that guy. Then you start getting uh, like a Caco Demon, a Cyber Mancubus, a Whiplash. When you get to that wave, when you see the Cyber Mank, you BFG. Don't use your Frost Grenade. Save the Frost Grenade for the Arch file, right? The Arch file can spawn either on the top platform near the gate, the exit gate, or he can spawn down with the two spinning pillars. So we're just going to go in, right? We're just going to start killing stuff. And then once I see the Cyber Mank, I am pretty much going to BFG. Okay, so Dread Knight appears straight away. Thanks, game. Now, it's not a bad idea to... Let's get rid of this guy. Just get him out of the picture. Okay, so this is the wave right here. But I'm just going to do something a little bit cheeky here because I want the extra tick done on the Arbalist Mastery. Okay, now the Archfile is either going to spawn here 
or spawn down here. One or two places. Oh, oh, he's over there now. Okay, that doesn't matter. Main thing is that we know where he is. So we just go in, freeze him, and just get rid of him. It always feels good when I kill that guy. So there you go. We'll learn something new every day. He can either spawn here, there, or over there. Before you go to the next arena, use it as an opportunity to get some uh, armor back. Pick up this BFG round. And you don't have to do any of this combat here. You can skip it, but I would suggest doing it. Because you can get railed from behind while you're trying to do this uh, little bit of platforming. Humans must be tortured. All right, uh, this room. So this room can be a little bit tricky, but you can make it quite easy for yourself. So just walk up here. Don't worry about everything being buffed. Just meat hook off of that guy. And then you can jump across here, double dash across. It doesn't matter. And then just drop a BFG around. It's that simple. Just because of the way you get ammo in this level, uh, you can BFG in the previous room, in this room. Heck, you can even do it in the next room. Well, not, not the next next room, but the last room of the level, the one through there. So... All right, so this guy is a bit of a hemorrhoid, this Marauder that's coming up, because he's paired with a Whiplash. So you really do need to be uh, kind of on your toes when it comes to getting rid of that Whiplash before she becomes a problem. So we're just going to head across. I'll just grab this on the way there. Why not? But use Ballista Boost to get Plasma Ammo. Seems smart. It's because it is. So old mate's going to mosey on down, and we're going to do a bit of damage to him. But we're just going to keep our eyes out for that Whiplash. Okay, the Whiplash has rocked up, so we just start ignoring him, and then we just get rid of get rid of her straight away. Just delete out of existence. Because ah. you just you need to really change your priorities when something like that starts happening. A Whiplash is, to me, can be more dangerous than a Marauder. Uh, I guess we uh, technically can leave, right? I don't have to do any of the extra stuff. All right. Can't believe I haven't got D Blade yet. Oh, wait. Maybe I'll just use a mastery token. Yeah, I'll just use a mastery token. So, um, this room is. Uh, holy shit. Holy fuck. Who's this guy? I think he is. Yeah, I'll get I'll get the crystal boobs. Don't worry, I'll get it. Um, the way that oh, I'm trying to think of how this room works, you start out with uh, like a Hell Knight or a Dread Knight and a carcass at the front. You've got uh, maybe two. I think is it two Cyber Mangs or one Cyber Mang? It might be one. And then once you clear that wave, you get two Doom Hunters and you'll get a Dread Knight. Uh, and you'll also get some Mecha Zombies and whatnot. It's not like a super complicated room, but generally speaking, what you want to do is you want to have it so that the, the only trick that and tip that I can offer you is you want to um, you want to BFG as the Doom Hunters start coming in, because that'll obviously get them off of their snowmobiles. So I'll just get rid of these fools. Now let's just see what happens here. I have a feeling that the Doom Hunters might spawn after this Hell Knight dies guys see how effective um, uh, armor pulling is just having the armor on the ground already okay let's do a chainsaw here so if you want to get the glory kill challenge you just need to get them off of their snowmobile and then send one volley from the rocket launcher lock on and then um, let the game just um, uh, do the wrong glory kill. It's pretty consistent, though, if you just do one volley. They'll pretty much always go into this state. There we go. And that's pretty much it. The, the, the key is really uh, you want to kill the enemies that are here. So Whiplash, Spectre, Pinky, Carcass, and then the Hell Knight that's over there. Once you kill those enemies, uh, the, um, the Doom Hunters will spawn in. So, cool. Now, a little bit of a thing here. You can skip this whole thing up here. You just come over to this wall here. 
and just dash into that and then it'll, it'll just send you straight up here and you can skip all of that so i will now go back and grab the uh crystal it's at the start of the level pain's basin sounds like a product you might be able to buy at ikea This was just a bit more optimal, just uh, given the way the ammo, you know, unfolded a little bit. So, uh, probably just go with um, Bell Charmer Boost. Yeah, a health theme sync. Maybe it's painted with fire blue from uh, Doom. Doom 2. All right, we're pretty much done here. We don't really need to collect anything else from this, from this level, so we'll just leave. Actually, really good idea is if you want to get the blood punch uh challenge done in the in an early part of the level leave this leave with full armor if you have full armor when you leave this level um i'll just have to do this skip again um it'll make getting the first like three or four or even five ticks of that mission challenge done really easy because armor for blood will be will be recharging blood punch so it'll make it really easy jeez just took that like a champion. Alright. Yeah, there's also that also that crucible charge underneath the Marauder fight. If you want to go and get that too. So just meat hook here. Blood punch. And then you you pretty much get you get your blood punch back straight away. AFB gives it back to you. So this punch by blood thing, kill more than one enemy with a single blood punch five times. It makes it quite easy. And then what you do here is you just kind of shoot this guy one, two, three, four times. And then uh, freeze these dudes. Do that. And that's... Like, it's four out of five. Like, it's nearly done, right? That's pretty good. Four out of five is not too bad. Cheeky little ballista boost off that ramp. All right, we're going to do some cool shit here. It's going to be... Hop through here, get that. Another boost. Kind of messed it up a little bit, but that's okay. Just do that. And then you get you get the mission chart, you get the uh, optional encounter done. I, I think it's done. Yeah, cool. And everything is done. That's usually what the speedrunners do. And then punch by blood is done. So you got that done if you really wanted to get that done. GG. I just felt like doing that. Just because I could. Alright. Um, we can probably come back for this later. Back in the old days, you used to be able to use the overdrive with the Unmaker in this arena. And it was a lot of fun, but they've taken that out of the game. So you cannot do that anymore, which is kind of sad. That's okay. That's fine. I understand. I get it. Uh, there's not much really to say about this particular fight. Um, you just really need to... Once you see that Baron spawn... Once you see this guy spawn... You just want to grab the overdrive and just delete him as quickly as possible. And then do the same with this guy. Hopefully you've got your chain gun shield or a frag grenade or something. And then just get rid of this dude. This is a very funny video game. Hey, Yondris, how we going? Way more fun when you could use the Unmaker. Way more fun. Okay, so I'm trying my best to just meat hook everything and then kill it because obviously I've taken a lot of damage here, so I really need to restack for the next arena. So I'll just freeze this guy, burn him. I might chainsaw this guy actually. Well, I probably should have chainsawed the. I wonder if there's a chainsaw pickup in this room. No, I don't think so. That's all right. Cool. So I've got one BFG shot. That's all I really need for this next little bit. Yep. 
yeah, it's been patched out of the game for uh, a while since since Tag 1 came out, pretty much. Oh, later this year, Mo, I'll do some speedrunning, yeah. All right, cool. So, Hell Knight, I can launch a lock on. Freeze this boy. And then just blood punch him and get him out. Cool. So this next room, uh, just use the BFG pretty much right off the bat because what it'll do is it'll just advance the whole room to a large extent. Um, you'll get arachn you'll get like a fodder, a fodder slash heavy wave, and then you'll get an arch vial, and then you'll get uh, a marauder at the end. So we're just gonna drop the BFG as, as soon as we get in. This. Cool. Just keep our eyes out for uh, where this arch vial spawns. I think he's gone downstairs. All right, he's out. Peace out. Ooh. Let's see if I still got the old uh, Arbalist double frag grenade combo down pat. Okay. Show you guys another little combo, hopefully, that you can do against Marauders if you're feeling keen. So just wind up the Arbalist. Ping him with the Arbalist, drop both grenades, and then... And then he pulls up the shield, even though he's not really meant to, because he's a really funny enemy and people love him. And he's dead. Okay. Cool. So, I think we're all Gucci. Haven't witnessed the glory of the world's greatest host speedrunner. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't the greatest speedrunner of hell on earth, if that's the kind of hoe you mean. Um, you can do this, of course, but there is a way to kind of bypass the last little ring of platforming there. If you ballista boost, jump from there and land on this thing, you can get up and skip a bit of it. But I'll just show you guys how to do it normally. Cool. So there's Necrovol 1 and 2 are pretty, both pretty short levels. They're not like, they're not the longest levels in the world. They can kind of cream them pretty quickly. Um, but they are fraught with perils. Archviles, Marauders, you need to know where stuff's going to spawn from. Like that previous room, just knowing the Archvile can spawn in one of four places, either down uh, down below, up top, or on either side of the room. And then, of course, the Marauder. But the Marauder is... The, the Marauder doesn't, like... He's not super challenging because he doesn't have annoying AI around him. You got me saved as King Ho on your phone. How did you get my phone number? There is a, a suit token in there if you want it. But we're just going to skip that today because we don't really need it. Head up here. There's a little arch vial toy if you want to get that as well. Kind of cool. Um, now, there is a trick here. So if you're not familiar with the speed run, there is a, basically a way to skip a good chunk of this little, little thingamabob. You just jump on this thing here, uh, jump on this little pipe, and then once it once it gets to the top, once it stops, if you just ballista boost and jump, you can basically bypass a massive chunk of that whole, like the whole corridor that runs around the perimeter of this uh, t uh, this tower. So you just skip all of that, and then just make our way around. Get rid of these eyeballs. Get rid of this bloke, because he's a menace to society. And obviously this eyeball. Obviously the 100% uh, the speedrun skips all that combat, because it doesn't contribute to the combat rating. So you can just jump on that little thing and then ballista boost yourself up and skip a lot of it. Cool. So... I'm going to try to do something funny here. It's probably not going to work because it hasn't worked for me in a for a long, long time. Um, but if it works, it could be kind of funny. I think I need to have the upgrades, though. I'll try it. It hasn't worked. for I haven't been able to do this for a while, but if it works, it'd be funny. Okay, so there's a there's a tyrant that jumps out off level. Out of, you know, he's out of bounds. He jumps in. If you catch him with the microwave beam, he just... It's a dumb trick, but you guys like it, so I do it. I do it for you. I do it for you, okay? I do it for you. Yeah, you can just get... You know, that's probably actually not a bad strat. You know, if you're just trying to casually complete this, just do that to him. 
it's great most threatening enemy in the game just catch a later alligator not much really to say at this point um you know just just kill everything get rid of the weak points etc um you can be uh yeah you can bfg here in fact i could probably do two bfg shots here because i can route back and get the uh crystal So we'll just uh, FT back and we'll grab the uh, we'll grab the crystal and get all the ammo back. Can I FT yet? No, I can't. All right, got to do this first. Ghostbusters beam for the win. Do you do that in the speed run? No, you have to glory kill that tyrant in a specific way, Mo. So you can't do that in the in the one hundred percent ultra nightmare speed run. Which is kind of a shame, but it is what it is. He's the only tyrant in the whole level. There's a reason this level is so infamous among speed speedrunners, and it's basically that. Back right, to soul extraction. We'll grab the crystal that's behind us here. Get all that sweet, sweet BFG ammo. Fully dick. Fully dick. You love to see it. Cool. And then we're on to uh, Erdak. Hey, hey, Desu. But for this, for that microwave beam thing to work, I'm pretty sure you have to have the increased range. Otherwise, it just doesn't reach him. There's also a suit token down there if you want to get it. You get it by going, dropping down there and then coming out there. But we don't need anything at this point, I don't believe. Basically got everything that you could possibly need in order to dominate this particular Vigi game. One more of those. I'll just grab this. Yeah, it's a pretty silly challenge. Like this level is infamous in the 100% UN run because um, there's you have to do an Archvile glory kill and a Tyrant glory kill, and there's only one of each of those types of demons. So if you mess it up, it's GG. All right, cool. So there's a couple of arenas in this that I'll go over. There's not a whole lot to talk about in terms of this level outside of those arenas. You know, knowing where the Archvile spawn is really helpful. Being able to do the platforming is also uh, obviously helpful. Um, but there's there's two arenas, and you guys probably know exactly which ones I'm talking about. If you just dash there, you can skip a lot of the platforming. You just go through the ring and then dash while looking at that platform, and you'll, you'll, you'll get sent straight there. Oh, uh, how do you do this again? It's really been that long. So, yeah, there's a couple of arenas that are a little bit tricky, but we'll go over them when we get to them. All you need to know is Yetus Deletus. And the rest will all become quite clear. Welcome. Now, in this arena, there's going to be a couple of Maker Drones, and then there's going to be a Cybermank and a Hell Knight right on top of each other. Then I think there's a Revenant and a Whiplash, and then there's like a whole other wave. Uh, once you get to that whole other wave at the end, you can pretty much just BFG at that point. So just get rid of these guys. Kill anything else that you can. The the demons will spawn. The two demons will spawn right here. Now, you can pretty much just leave at this point. If you want to leave, you can leave. This is that's just what you can you can do that if you're uh, speedrunning the game, for example. Just sit back here and just and once you see those extra ones spawn, you just drop a BFG. Just don't don't be in line don't be in line of sight because they will hit you. That's just a quick way to do that arena. Just the way the BFG routing works, uh, you can you can basically just do that. Cool. Actually, remember guys, in between combat, make sure you're restacking. All that incidental combat is all about is 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 there for that reason. It's there to allow you to get your health and armor back. I mean, I I, I don't I don't mind battle mode. 
I think it's it's in some ways it's a little bit inaccessible. Um, but I genuinely enjoy it. Let's uh okay, maybe let's not do that. Again, if you're having trouble with pain elementals, just use the Arbalist. Because it'll always it'll just about always put them into glory kill. I won't do the secret encounter there. We'll just get the show on the road. By this point in the game, you should pretty much have all the upgrades that you need to get the job done here, so you shouldn't need to do any of the optional encounters. There is a mastery token here as well, if you want to get that. If you want to get another mastery going. Now, uh, just um, just run past everything here and just go straight for this thing. Just, just, just get that done and dusted and then come back and kill everything. Just so much easier to do it that way rather than trying to, you know, big note and uh, kill everything while it's buffed. Again, just dropping that frag grenade down so I can blood punch him. And then staying up in the air. Biggest enemy is now just nerves. Yeah, you, if you get to this part of the run, right, um, you know, it, if you are, uh, if you get to, if you finish Necrovol, right, and what happens for a lot of people is they don't practice the end game. So what I would suggest is just load up a nightmare save and go into Erdak and just do it three, four times over. Just really bet in that muscle memory and knowledge of spawns, where things are, what you need to do in each arena, how it all plays out, get a handle on how that all works. And then load up your UN file and just blaze through it. And you, it'll it'll just help take the edge off. You'll feel more prepared. It's when you feel it's when you're un, unprepared and you're like, holy shit, I got this far in my run. I'm really nervous now. I hope I don't make a mistake, you know, and cost myself this run, because I would hate to have to do the early game again. So just exit out when you get to the end of Necrovol 2 and then go and jump in and do Erdak on Nightmare. Don't do it on Ultra Nightmare, just practice it. Get a biscuit. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. Hopefully, I'm able to share some knowledge uh, with you guys and give something back to uh, the community. Uh, I'm just going to take a break for like one minute. I'll be back in a moment. Yeah, Erdak can be quite difficult i think uh, uh like it's um <laughs> in some ways it's easier pardon me because you've got the maker drones giving you 200 health if you headshot them so you know pay attention to those use those uh because you'll find that you don't have to chainsaw as much and you've got lots of health all the time um but yeah final sin is difficult but if you know the bfg routing for final sin you can make your life a lot easier Again, just using the lock on burst cancel tech. Don't don't expect you guys to do that. It's just something if you learn it, it's quite useful. Uh, no worries, Miko. All good, mate. All good. I think an important part of streaming is being able to present a game. You know, you can play a game and you, and you can present a game and. If you can present a game, then you're going to be doing great guns. All the best. All right. So with this fight here, there's a Marauder in this fight. Um, there's basically a Revenant there, a Cybermank on the other side from the Revenant. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get in. We're going to lock on burst the Revenant, and then we're going to freeze the Mancubus and just delete him. And then what we're going to try and do is we're going to pull the Marauder out here. We don't want to fight the Marauder in here. Uh, because there's going to be A, it's going to be uh, really bad terrain, like ramps and stairs and shit. Also, there's going to be lots of zombies there, like mecha zombies, and we don't want them to be causing him to raise his shield. So, Revenant, Cyber Mancubus, Marauder. And then, like, pull the Marauder out. Uh, 
That's done, so we just come over here. Now, once once you get into that next cycle, right? Once you get into that next cycle, you volleyed him, you did some damage. You're going to find that the imps and the mecha zombies have moved to where you are, so you need to reposition again, right? Because the one thing that's going to kill you against a marauder is not the marauder. It's going to be all of the allies causing him to raise his shield. So you want to just pull him away, right? Move him away and then take care of him by himself. And that's pretty much it. So again, get into here, lock on burst the revenant, freeze the mancubus, blood punch, bang, you know, and then, and then just do a loop, pull the marauder out here, do some damage here. And then move again, like get rid of the fodder or move the marauder to an area where there's no fodder and then and do the rest of the damage there. And that's pretty much it. That is pretty much it, Bavi. Take some notes, get that Peepo G strength going. System acquired. Setting a course for the Earth dimension now. Yeah, exactly, Pimp, yeah. It's it's basically turned into Quake Champions. Where the skill ceiling is so high that it becomes a... In, battle mode becomes quite inaccessible for newer players. Then you die on the Icon of Sin. Not going to happen. I'm going to delete. I'm going to unleash. You're going to see some weapon swaps. The likes of which you've not seen yet in this run. He is going to get Yeetus, Deletus, dude. Okay, so the way this works, right, is you'll have a couple of Maker Drones and then you'll get an Arch File. So it, just chill here. Just chill here for a second and just wait for him to spawn. Okay, there he is. Drop the Frost Bomb. Lock on Burst. Get the Arbalist out because the Pain Elemental is going to spawn kind of soonish. I think, unless the Manx spawns first. Maybe the Manx spawns first. Oh, here we go. There's going to be a uh, Dread Knight as well. That's okay. Cool. So, Archvile, get rid of the dr Maker Drones. Archvile, get rid of the pa Mancubus, and then get rid of the Pain Elemental. Pain Elemental is more important than the uh, Dread Knight because the pain elemental can deny you access to the air. So just, you know, wind up the arbalist, ping him with the arbalist a couple of times and just get him out of there. So uh, what's this fight? Can't even remember what this one is. Oh, this one. Okay. This is actually kind of tricky. But what you want to do is you want to try to get over here, kill this guy, and then just go straight for this, right? Let this dude come in. I don't know why I just flame belched then. Get rid of this whiplash. You really want to abuse the rocket launcher lock on burst here as much as you possibly can. Okay, now a tyrant is going to spawn. I'm just going to chainsaw. And then we just want to cut loose on this tyrant a little bit. Actually, where is he? Oh, there he is. Okay, come around here. really want to get access to this tyrant actually you know what let's just i'm, I'm doing this like i'm speed running let's just take it back to basics right so again you want to be just doing constant circularities okay circularity circularity bookcase coming with the raid thank you so much bookcase sorry mate i didn't notice you there thank you appreciate that make sure we get a shout out for uh the bookcase please uh if i got any mods mod check mod check one two all right, doesn't look like there's any mods. I'll do one for you. Absolute legend, the bookcase, another Aussie streamer. What was the, on the Geo today? Uh, there we go. What was on the Geo today, sir? Celeste, the bread and butter of the bookcase. All right, so we just want to be doing circularities, right? So I see an opportunity like that. I take advantage of that opportunity and then I leave, right? 
same thing, right? Don't have Blood Punch, so the Cyber Mancubus is not really an option right now. But that other Mancubus, he looks like a pretty juicy option. Okay, so just leave, keep moving, right? That's the whole thing with this game, right? You just want to be doing constant circularis around the arena. Constant circularis. Bit of an opportunity to do some damage just to come up here. Get rid of this Revenant. So this is actually really good because basically none of them have line of sight at the moment. So I just have free reign. Once you've kind of done enough damage here, um, you can just BFG if you want to. And the BFG will finish off the, the old mate. Alternatively, you could use a Crucible Charge. I wouldn't suggest using it on the Tyrant though because the Tyrant probably has a bunch of enemies around him and they'll probably do damage to you when you try to do it. So the best bet is just keep... Just keep... keep don't use this monkey bar because you'll be out, out in the open. But just keep... um, Just keep doing laps. You see a, a Cyber Mancubus on his own or a Mancubus on his own or a Revenant on his own and just... Just delete it. If you're not going to get... The thing is, you've got to find opportunities to do damage without taking damage. And you just keep going around in circles until one of those opportunities comes up, pretty much. Yeah, this this room... That room is quite cooked. It can be quite uh, difficult, that one. But yeah, just circulari. Circulari. Like our friends at the bunker. The Spuddy Buddies. Constant circularis. That's one of the two arenas in this level that is pretty challenging. And it's just like a little snippet of what Final Sin can be like. But uh, you can route Final Sin in a certain way to where you don't really kill anything without using super weapons. So Final Sin is actually quite an easy level if you know how to route the Crucible and how to route the BFG. So the trick is to kill stuff without dying. Yes, the trick is you must keep your health above zero while d reducing the enemy's health to zero. There is a way to skip this little bit if you want to skip it. But uh, I'm just going to assume that most people doing this run aren't trying to speed run. Really should have chainsawed that guy. See, that's a bad thing that I did right there. I should have chainsawed that guy. Because now I'm going to have to either headshot a Maker Drone in the next room or I'm going to have to chainsaw something straight away, which is not good. So we'll just come out here. There we go. Okay, whiffed with the Ice Bomb, but that's okay. Just throw a frag grenade behind him. Once you notice that he's faulted, go in for the Blood Punch. Again, drop the frag grenade. I've got Blood Punch ready to go. Bang, bang. It's really that simple. Again, abuse the jump pads, get massive height. If you really want to, you can just abuse the jump pads in this particular video game. Keep headshotting those maker drones. I, I like to put a frag grenade down before I crucible because even though you're about to crucible something, sometimes things can still hit you and do a lot of damage to you. So generally speaking, it's not a bad idea to, to whip out the, uh, the frag grenades. And it's also not a bad idea to use Crucible in this room because you will get Crucible uh, in this room. Yeetus Deletus. Try and find that last Whiplash. So right now I got a choice, right? I can either try and shoot this dude or I can get rid of the Whiplash. Let's just do a little bit of both. Because Whiplashes are really annoying, we're going to get up in the air and delete it. And then glory kill this guy. Joe! So much love today from the bookcase. Joe, Nantroll, Cranky. All the legends coming in with the raids. Thank you so much, Joe. Appreciate that. How was your stream? What is going on? You've come to visit the Blunder from down under. You ever wonder where Doom Guy keeps all these weapons? He uses a strict protocol uh, of training involving a lot of deep squatting in order to develop the ability to go out into the deep, deep waters of the hell-infested landscapes, which has conferred unto him a unique physical benefit known as deep cheeks. He has the deepest cheeks, treasure trove, chests, a 
as a matter of fact, he can store all those guns in. Um, I've totally fucked this up, but... Ah, saved it! Saved it! Saved it! Yeah, so that, that arena, um, just again, use the jump pad, stay up in the air, um, use the crucible. Just use the, it's there for you, right? It's there for you. If you need it, use it. It's, it's for you, it's there. So, um, yeah. Whip that one out, use the crucible, delete the demons, stay on the move, use the jump pads. That arena is a lot easier than the, the other one that I did. I'm gonna be honest. Guns plus 10 batteries, Assassin Art. Yeah, you're actually not wrong. 11 even. 11 batteries. My gosh. Where does he put it all, Assassin Art? Uh, yeah, yeah, I've played, it. I've played DMC5. I wish I could play all the missions as uh, Dante, though. I really, really enjoy playing as Dante. The other characters, eh, not so much. Virgil is sick, though. All right. So, again, just keep moving through. Uh, for those who might not have been here earlier, uh, I'll go through this again. But basically, if you land a headshot... With a sticky bomb, it turns blue, like that. And if it turns blue, it will do more damage. Not only to the target that it's stuck to, but also to the targets that are next to it. So, again, like if I if I just sticky bomb this guy's ball sack, it's not going to crit. But if I sticky his head, he'll instantly die. And he'll kill the, the, the thing that's next to him. I wish they went further with this. This is such a cool little thing in this level. I, I really like it, but it, it didn't really turn into anything. A yeah, I think it does have a larger blast radius as well. You're right. I think you're right, CKS. I'm pretty sure you're right. Dante is great. A walking battalion. Yeah, it's just so much fun to play as. The game really... DMC5 really peaked for me when I got to Dante. I'm like, yeah, okay, this is, this is it. Now just give me the ability to do New Game Plus as Dante on every mission. All right, um, this is probably the easiest boss in the whole game. Um, to make it really easy for yourself, you can uh, use micro missiles and rocket launcher lock on. And if you use those two, you will just be sitting there asking yourself, was this even a boss? Like, it's a joke. So that's what we're going to do. Just wait for her to become attackable. Helps if you upgrade this particular weapon. Uh, but yeah, this boss is really, really easy. Make sure you grab the BFG ammo. I feel like they nerfed that. It feels like it's not doing as much damage as it used to. But yeah, if you just alternate between MM and Rocket Launcher, and then once you've done one cycle of that, you just go ahead and headshot one of the Maker Drones and get all your um, ammo back. Really, really easy boss fight. Oh no, they definitely didn't nerf it. Actually playing hurt me plenty. My goodness. Oh yeah, very, 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 very easy boss fight. Big missed opportunity there. Big, big missed opportunity, that boss fight. Just mechanically not very difficult. <clears throat> the one place in the game where MM is good. Yeah, it, it shreds her to pieces. Absolutely deletes her. It's cooked. All right, cool. So last level. Um, first arena, you, you will use a BFG round in the first arena. And you will use that BFG round after killing the carcass, I think. If you if you use it at the right time, there's a Baron that just gets cancelled out of the whole encounter and you don't have to deal with him at all, uh, which is quite handy. And then we're going to Crucible a Tyrant at the very end. Um, we should be able to leave the arena with three Crucible charges. So it's going to go across to start killing shit. Get rid of this dude. 
get rid of this dude. And then I think I have to get rid of these dudes over here. I think is there a prowler that I have to kill? I think there's a prowler that I have to kill, right? Oh no, I think it's this shield guy actually. Yeah. Yep. So once the carcass spawns, you just come over here and you just you, you drop a VFG around and it bypasses a whole phase of the arena. You should you also shouldn't need to chainsaw. Honey toast, thank you for the 13 months, you legend. Appreciate you. You beautiful baby boy. Thanks, mate. There will be a pain elemental at some point. Not sure exactly when. Maybe after this prowler. Alright, you should be able to avoid chainsawing and just chainsaw the pain elemental. And just do the rounds. Clean up the scraps. And then eventually a tyrant is going to burst through this wall over here. Yep, so once it goes checkpoint... I uh, just um, get a grenade out because what can happen sometimes like that zombie can sometimes get crucible which is obviously not ideal so we just do that to that guy and then a doom hunter will spawn so we throw a frag grenade right at his feet walk in blood punch ssg you really want to focus on trying to get those grenades down guys make sure you're dropping grenades on the doom hunters before you're trying to go in and do damage because the last thing you want to have happen is get whacked by one of them Cool. Um, you can skip this combat as well. Just do a little ballista boost back, meat hook that guy, grab this wall, and you can skip all of that combat. It also means that some stuff doesn't spawn here, which is obviously obviously a good thing. Get behind all these dudes, drop a D-blade, because it's fun. Nice. Very, very clean. Uh, don't worry about that. If you can't get behind these demons, if you, ha if you don't have uh, the frost bomb ready, you can't get behind them, uh, just try to focus on getting rid of the turret, getting rid of that turret on the Arachnatron, and then kill the Prowler, and then go back and kill the Arachnatron. And then, yeah, it's just incidental combat. You don't have to worry. It's, it's not too hard. Uh, these guys uh, at the start of this bridge can be skipped, so we are going to skip them. And then you're going to use another BFG round in a moment. So just skip that guy, just yeet hook past him. You don't have to fight those guys. There's no point. Okay, so once you enter this room, just beeline it over here. And uh, just grab this BFG round. He's dead. All right, and then just get rid of this. Kill this dude. And then head up the stairs. Okay, you can skip all this combat as well. You don't need to do this combat. There is no, there is no impenetrable wall stopping you. Once you get out here, drop another BFG shot. And then you'll have to deal with this Wally. This Marauder. Man, that is kind of hard to do nowadays. Sure. It's a very, it can be a very quick level, right? If you know the routing for the BFG shots and the crucible usages, you can do this very, 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 very quickly, right? So just restack before you go down, just restack because you're going to need it. And just go get on here. See that BFG round? We want to get that thing, right? Feel free to just get rid of these weak points if you really want to. Okay, then shoot that out that way. And then just finish this dude off. Okay, now just immediately start heading down here. Crucible this guy. Okay. I'm a little bit worried about him stomping me face, so I just want to get up in the air and use that to get close to him. And then we're just going to take this and then B-boost backwards. And that's... There's the, there's the pad. Just if... Like, I know I'm doing stuff quick and you're like, fuck, this is... I can't keep up. This is bullshit. This is the easiest way to do it. Legit. Drop in, grab the BFG cell, shoot it through the, wind, uh, the opening in the wall... And then finish off that torrent because the torrent won't get killed by the BFG shot. So finish him off and then immediately start he heading to where that second torrent spawns. Crucible him. 
and then the third one, Crucible him, and then get straight to the buff totem and get rid of the buff totem. If you can do all of that, you're literally good. Like, there's nothing that can stop you. Drop a frag grenade, bit of burnage. Very good. Bit of chain storage. There's one more pinky, I think. There he is. Nice. Nice, Toasty. Very nice. And that's it. Once you kill the pinkies, the arena is basically over. You can go around this way. If you go that way, if you climb over that rail there, uh, there's like a revenant that basically just doesn't spawn. So that's kind of handy. Also, these guys don't spawn either. There's more. There is meant to be a Baron, a Mancubus, and a Arachnatron here. But if you just climb over that railing when you're coming up, it doesn't trigger the spawns. So head into here, grab the BFG cell on the way in, and just immediately shoot a BFG shot. It'll kill basically everything. And then a Marauder is going to spawn here. So we're just going to take care of him. Try to keep moving away from the fodder. You really want to separate him from the fodder. Because if he's near the fodder, it'll just make your life a lot easier. But one thing you want to try and do is you want to try and kill him near where, near to where the uh, Archvolt... Archvolt is going to spawn here. So if you can do that, Archvolt will always spawn there. Just get rid of that Archvolt as soon as he spawns. Just delete him. And that's pretty much it. That's all of the arena combat done. It's just the boss fight now. So, I'll just run through this again. You should have no BFG ammo when you come into this room. You grab one cell here and you shoot it through that opening in the wall there. You don't have to wait. Just get a clear shot straight away and just send it straight through. And then the Marauder is going to spawn here. So, just try to move him away from the fodder as much as possible. Just keep him away from the fodder. Try to kill kill him in a, in a spot where you can see the archfile straight away. And then just freeze the archfile and then um, just delete him. That's, that's, that's all there is to it. Not with not with an attitude like that, Granatus, you won't. Trust me, get on the bicycle and get among it. Get among it. Grab this. And uh, yeah, we'll just start making our way over to the Icon of Sin. I don't know why I can hear a whiplash. Yeah, it's got to get among it. Just got to get among it. Um, if you have if you have 60 BFG ammo here, you can shoot all these dudes, but honestly, it's easier to just run past all of them. So, you know, just uh, do a ballista boost backwards. Meat hook off of something else. Maybe get rid of this guy's turret just so he doesn't shoot you. And then just make your way past all these guys. Ballista boost. Meat hook. Boom, boom, boom. You can do it however you want to do it. Uh, you can just run past all this stuff though. Grab this. All right, Icon of Sin. Icon of Sin. Uh, you just, you need to delete hard. That is the best thing I can, I can give you is just you need to delete as hard as possible. And use the crucible on the ads. Don't, you know, don't try and kill the ads with normal weapons. Save your save your ammunition for the icon of sin. As the number one tip I can give you guys. Um, you need to just delete as hard as possible. So <clears throat> what we're gonna do is to delete as hard as possible, we as soon as it as soon as it starts, we're gonna yeet a BFG right at his at his guts. Right at the belly, and then we're gonna go backwards, get another BFG cell, and then shoot one of his pecs. It's just the pecs are gone. He's not going into any, any Mr. Olympia competitions now. It's gone. No no pecs at all. The breast development, absolutely abysmal. It's going to be full 4th of July for all of his muscle tissue. It's just full Independence Day from his body when we're done. <clears throat> so <clears throat> get in there, get the BFG, go back, get another BFG, shoot that BFG, get another BFG, shoot that BFG, shoot all the BFG, everything you've got. And then what should happen is he should really only have his arms left, forearms and his uh, upper arms. You can just delete that by using the upper platforms and using PBSSG or whatever combo you want, really. You can do any combo you want. PBSSG is good. Uh, PB Ballista is good. It's all, they're all, it's all good stuff. So we're going to run through, get the BFG out. And then just shoot his belly. Grab this BFG ammo that's over here. 
through his chest. Try and get an angle on the other one. There we go. So because I've just destroyed three parts of his armor, he's kind of going to be stuck in a bit of an animation for a while. So because you do it, the key is to kind of do things in really quick succession. And it basically just animation locks him. <clears throat> so I need ammo. So I'll just grab a bit of ammo. Okay, cool. Again, like, if you, if you, like, that made sense to just use the SSG blood punch there. But generally speaking, you really want to just use the crucible to kill the, kill the ads. Running out of ammo. And then return down to the bottom when you need, you need to get fodder. So again, just grenade. Try to save the ammunition, right? For the, for the icon of sin. Okay. Now all I need to do is get rid of that. I'm pretty sure that's it. Oh, no. Nah, so you see how it's got all the red lightning coming out of it? That means it's about to break. He's just going to go through the animation cycles now. He's, he's literally just going to stand there and shit's going to explode. He's not going to do anything now because he's all of the uh, armor is breaking slowly. Again, just throw a grenade. Crucible. The crucible keeps respawning, so... There's no reason to not use use the Crucible. But generally speaking, if you BFG his torso, uh, well, like his, you know, his chest and his belly, and even his head uh, are really good because they're a bit more stationary than the arm. You can get the arms, no doubt about it. But it's, uh, you know, you can use the normal guns for the arms. Okay, so when he's about to leave, just um, just jump up and just grab, grab this uh, supercharge. Now, I'm going to do this because it's fun, but I don't recommend doing this. Oh, I fucked it up. <laughs> don't do that at home, all right? Or don't do it if you're me. But you can actually crucible his arm, which is really cool. Usually works. Man, can I get something other than Mancubuses? God damn. Never been this quick. Okay, so again, same thing. Just try to BFG the more stationary parts of his body if you can. When he does that... Oh, God, I'm nearly dead. I better grab this. All right, there we go. All right, we're going to get his belly if possible. Ah, rip. Oh, no, I think I hit something. This is a really bad second phase, but that's okay. Just keep deleting. Just focus on deleting. You must focus on deleting. Hard. Hard deletion is necessary at this juncture. I think there's actually another BFG round down the back here as well. So I just grab that quickly. Pretty average second phase, but that's okay. Nice. Very nice. All right, cool. Just got to get rid of this. That one's actually not too bad, all things considered. That actually wasn't too bad. The main things are, is, you know, don't worry too much about the ads. Just, um... Don't worry too much about the ads. If you have to, use the Crucible, you know, stun them, use the Crucible to kill them. Just really concentrate on knowing where the BFG rounds are and using them to get rid of the chest pieces, the, the belly, the head, and, uh, yeah. Uh, that's all I that's that's all you gotta do really is just delete him as hard as possible. We should be weapon swapping really hard on this. Throw the chain gun shield in, you know, negate all of the damage that he can do. Um and it should be a GG in no time. At all. Yeah, exactly, Pimp exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Strimus. I will now be able to beat the ultimate nightmare mode. <laughs> Yes, you too can have your virginity back if you follow these simple steps and instructions to a T. Nah, cheers guys for hanging out. Hey, Collie, what's going on? Really enjoy that 2016 stream? Yeah, I, I mean, I might do another 2016 run in the near future. Actually finish it this time as well. So yeah, that's pretty much how you beat Ultra Nightmare. 
Uh, I'll um I'll put this on YouTube and I'll put all the timestamps on there and stuff so you can navigate between all the different bits. Dolce, thanks for the 250 bits. Legend. Thanks for the good game, Mango. Yeah, cheers, Mr. Mister. Hopefully you guys uh hopefully that helped in some way. A lot of it became quite incoherent towards the end. But um yeah, you were able to take one little nugget of wisdom and uh my job is done. You see that Irish guy who proclaimed he was a virgin when he killed the icon? Yeah, I I, mean, I thought he was British, actually. Uh he sounded British. But um uh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Bavi, thanks for the 138 bits, mate. Legend. Legend. I may legit give the UN a shot in this game now. You should do it, Pimp. It's it's once you get a hang of uh where enemies spawn from and you have some mastery over some of the swaps in the game. Uh, yeah, you can you can demolish it. Like, Final Sin is not a hard level, as long as you know how to route the BFG and the Crucible. It's really important in this level to know how to route the, those two things. And if you do that, oh, you are good as gold. You are literally as good as gold. Congratulations on completing the game on the hardest difficulty mode. You are one true slayer. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Um, let's go and chuck someone a raid, guys. Go and chuck someone a bit of love. What do you reckon? It's been a long, long stream. It's been a good one. It's been a real good one, I might say. But I'm going to go and have some dinner and relax for the rest of the day. Oh, my goodness. Um, and just have a good time. All right. Bump -a -da -bump -a -da -bump -a -dump -a -dump -dump um, let's raid Breezy. She's uh, raided this channel loads. And I barely ever get to return the favor. So we'll chuck her a raid. She's a... Uh, Lovely person, plays lots of Doom. She's doing some classic Doom right now. Maybe, uh, I don't know, for the first time, possibly. Ribeye with Gooch Juice? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't thought about it. Yeah, Breezy Gaming. Let's go. Chuck her a bit of support. Um, chuck her a follow. Absolute legend. You guys have been awesome. Thank you so much for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Hopefully, you guys were able to take something away from this. I'll put this up on YouTube uh, if you want to know where I do the YouTube stuff at. I do it, but not very often. Um, I'll, I'll put this up there with all the timestamps and you can go and re-reference it and look at the specific bit. But uh, thanks again, everyone. Appreciate all the bits, uh, the raids. You guys are champions. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't know what we're doing tomorrow. Might not be Doom. Might uh, take the foot off the pedal there a little bit. And... Uh, it's not like, don't do anything I want to do. And... Uh... Bye for now. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a good, that's a good one, Hannibal. Bit of Bayonetta, maybe. I do lots of Doom, though, guys. So lots of Doom, lots of Soulsborne stuff, Resident Evil, uh, doing lots of God of War stuff. So go and look in the panel, see what I'm getting up to. If it interests you, chuck us a follow. There's some goals down there. You can see what I'm going to be doing for the next 12 months. This was good. You guys take care. And I'll see you tomorrow. GG's.